Shout out to the sponsor, T. Chanley. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin looks and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. That's right, family. Fill it to you. Let's get this show started. Let's just have a conversation. Yo, 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 welcome to La People. Let's talk. It's just the crew. We got Logic. We got Rilla. Anton. Lady. I am Courtney Michelle. Kayla. Kay. And me, myself. And La Peep J.I. Welcome to La People. Let's talk. What's going on? How are y'all doing? Hi. Hey, guys. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Uh, hello, hello. Good? <laughs> yeah. How's everyone feeling? Oh my god, this show that's going on over there. Uh, what's going on with the car action? Kaylee in the limo? Um, no, I actually <laughs> am in my car. I was personally invited to Marlon Wayne's comedy show tonight, but I can't finish because I'm here with you guys. So I love you guys. So here I am. Oh, Kayla. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's You're up. You're not funny, no way. <laughs> I didn't even get to see him. It was just his first act that was out by the when I time I had to leave. So Okay. All right. Well, ladies, you guys look lovely as usual. Thank um, you. Thank you. Lady, Thank glad you. to have you back again. Yeah. I don't Hi, think you guys. was here. You was here what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Weeks ago. It's been two weeks. Okay. I want you to tell us about that experience. How was it? I mean, it was cool. I I mean, you know, I I've learned last minute that I was coming on um and then I didn't realize it was like like you guys are kind of a big deal you know 
been doing your thing for a while on here. But what? I what? <laughs> but you know, um I, I kinda lived somewhat under a rock, so I didn't realize it. Um and the day I came, I was just kinda off. I was in pain. It was pre surgery. I'm here right now with my, my leg on ice. So it was it was cool, you know, but I'm back now. I know what to expect. Okay. So I take you not gonna be doing that. Hey baby, you're gonna be doing that dance, huh? <laughs> nah, not for a while. Okay. <laughs> I hear that. Gentlemen, y'all good? How y'all doing? No, nah, I just wanna um you got your bunion removed or something? No, I was in a, a, a truck what? accident. Man, fuck all that logic. Uh I got smoke for you tonight. It's on and oh, pop. Shit. It's on and pop tonight. I see you got your lights back on. You had a lot of lot of lot of heat. For the kids up today. <laughs> Your ass tonight, boy. Elijah <laughs> came with the smoke for me tonight, apparently. Oh, sorry, T. No, I'm messing with you, T. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you. Nah, it's okay. It's cool. Uh, okay. All right. Well, in case you guys don't know, we got a few tickets left. Only a few tickets um, left for live show April the 23rd. So make sure you guys come out, get your tickets, come out, have a good time. I have sent out an email to people letting them know. Uh, getting them a heads up. If you want to stay in tune, make sure you guys monitor your emails. Also, check your junk mail if you haven't received it, because it all depends on which uh, email provider you use, whether you, it goes to your junk mail or your regular mail. I know Gmail, for the most part, everybody's gotten it. So uh, if you do have any questions, f- feel free to reach out. Also, we do have sponsorship. A couple more spots left for sponsorship opportunities. Email info at lapeef.com. Uh, if you want to get a little bit of visibility, and that's just only because of the show, it's not uh, an every month thing. So if you want to take advantage of that opportunity, now it's your time because it's a once in a lifetime chance that you will get that opportunity. Also, shout out to the sponsors, Teach Hanley. Make sure you guys fill the Teach. Click that link. That link is posted in the description. Again, if you want the tickets, that link is pinned to the top of the chat. So click that link. Go ahead and get it because once they sold out, it's gone. And else we can do about it. All right. Man, yeah, Tom, what's cracking, man? You, you old now, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy belated birthday to oh, Mr. Anton. Yep, oh, absolutely. I didn't know. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It. Thank more you. More life, more blessings, yep, yeah. all that stuff. Yep. Appreciate yeah. it, everybody. Well, Anton hit the big 3 0. Yeah, three-o. right. <laughs> big 4 0. Nah, he was celebrating <laughs> what they call it the 19th anniversary of his 21st birthday. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do all that math, really. You know, I'm a C student, bro. Yeah, I had to think for a second, really. Really, you sound better, man. I know you was uh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm still fighting through it, man. We pushing. Nah, I want to hear that. So keep that same energy through. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Trust okay. me, I got it. Okay. Okay. We push. Sure, make, make sure you got it, all right? Because, you know, we can say a prayer uh, at halftime for you. Uh, please say you ain't got the P Ray. You talk Amen. all this. Amen. Who got Who the P Ray? Kayla, you got the P Ray? The who? <laughs> P Ray is a legend in these uh in the around these parts, man. All right. We got Mr. Oh, I'm, I'm not aware. You know what? Hey Kayla, your cell phone connection ban in your house internet connection. You know that? I'm just giving you props. I've been giving props all. I'm handing out all props. I'm finna be super, super simpish tonight. You know what I'm saying? Anton. Anton, Anton, Anton. I guess Uh, it's the hot spot. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you glowing and shit, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yo, because you know, you be looking kind of dusty in your house because your internet connection. I'm just telling you. I ain't never I saw can you. I always count on you to be paying attention. So it's cool. <laughs> we need to give a woman a compliment. This this is why we divide it. All right. You 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 <laughs> use the words dusty in a compliment. That's what that's you know what? That's what you do with the girls in Walmart, so that's all you know. But that's okay. He's okay. doing his best. He's doing his very best. And I see y'all keeping it cute, man. That's that's what's up, man. I like it, man. Elijah keeping it funky, huh? I hear you. I'll wait. Okay. If you guys just tuning in, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate y'all. I don't know what that is. You just turned the AC on? No, it's my cold packing compressor. Pardon me, guys. Oh, wow. You got a lot of shit. Fancy, okay. 
Girl, this ain't nothing fancy about this injury rec- this recovery process at all. <laughs> all right. Again, you guys hit that like button and welcome to a lot of people. Let's talk. Let's move on to our first topic. Our first topic of the night. Go ahead and pull that up. You're gonna probably have to mute in between though. Kind of kind of sound like you on a uh, oxygen machine or something. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, my foot. You look young and spry tonight, Kay. Why? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you guys, uh, like the news broke today. Well, it's supposedly right. It was supposedly a split between Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. Um, and I thought about this because Rihanna has everything, right? I think she's a billionaire. Right? Billionaire, billionaire. She looks decent. It's like she got a good head on her shoulders. It's like she has it all. Like every man's, well, a lot of men's dreams. So I've heard. But what, what keeps a man from cheating? What keeps a man from cheating? Because you got somebody that's like Rihanna. And she appears to have it all to most men. I won't say all because there are some that may not just like her. But what actually keeps a man from cheating? I'm just curious. And it's just the icebreaker, so. The man wanting not to cheat. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> the man not wanting to cheat. So that's what keeps him from cheating is the man not wanting to. Yeah. No, nah, that's a lot of factors that go into it. It's a whole lot of factors. A, for example. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on before you say anything. Oh, okay. You didn't, you didn't, All right, I was about to cook. Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts about it? What keeps a man from cheating in your opinion? Um, I think that uh, what T said, wait, we still call you T? Can we still call you T? Yes, of course you can still okay. call me T. That's my name, but you know, I figure out my name. So. The thing. Mm-hmm. So I was like, should we not? Okay. So That's I fine. agree with what T said um, about, you know, the man just that's on him. Like if he's a cheater or if he's not, or if he's going to cheat or if he's not. Um, I do think that there are some things though, I guess, depending on the person. Uh, but I don't know, it's still not an excuse to cheat. Like maybe the person is not getting what they want, but if that's the case, they should communicate that with their partner and, and, or move around. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's up to the person though. Like that person should either break up with their mate or let their mate know or do something, but you can be the best mate to somebody and they can still cheat. Like, I think it's, yeah, I I agree with what T was saying. It really is on that person. So there's no contributing factors from the, uh, from the other person that would, that would contribute to them cheating either. It's only because they just don't want to cheat. I'm just want to make sure that we all clear. Of they're course, they're contributing factors. Yeah, but, but you can't. No like what? It. Like, you know, a breakdown of communication, resentment, all those things, feeling unheard, feeling alone in a relationship. Of course, they're contributing factors. However, that there's the woman is not taking his penis and inserting it in another woman. So, again, that's a character flaw that he needs to work through on his own where he needs to sit and speak to his woman about that before he makes the decision to go out and do that. And if he has, as opposed to leaving, if he decides to cheat again, it's up to him. So my, my answer stays the same. I mean, I just just think that ultimately there can be all these different things that can contribute to you cheating, but ultimately no one can make you do anything. You're going to do what you're going to do. The biggest part about it is the lying, okay? Because things could go really different if people were honest, but people aren't honest. So the the part about cheating that I have an issue with is the fucking lying. Because now I don't believe anything you fucking say. I don't believe nothing you say. Like everything you say now, I think is a lie. So that is the biggest part of it. So if rather than do that, you should just leave or just be honest with your partner. You never know. It could go different. If you're honest. So, yeah, the biggest part for me is the lying. You can't cheat I feel and not that, lie. Kayla. You're a liar. So. I feel that, Kayla. I don't have a problem with that answer. The problem that I have is that they led with make cheat. He said, what are some of the contributing factors, if I'm not mistaken? 
to a man cheating, which is much different than somebody being made to cheat. Y'all, you are right. Nobody can be made to cheat. But that's why I asked the follow up question are what are some of the contributing factors that leads into somebody cheating? I think it's a completely different question. You can have other factors, but that doesn't mean that you made to cheat. All right, I'm gonna just lay it like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Liza. Let me get to the let me get to the ladies. Miss Courtney Michelle, what are your thoughts about it? What keeps a man from cheating? And, and this is in uh relations to like the Rihanna ASAP Rocky uh supposedly split. And Rihanna seems like she has everything. She got the bag, you know, she got the looks. Um she appeared to be, well, I don't know. I don't know what everybody think about it, but she's like she had it all for most men. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'll say ab- about the Rihanna. I think Rihanna is obviously a mogul. Um, I think a lot of women in her position can't take the time to really uh, cater to what men particularly want because it's time. So with women in her position and how powerful she is, it's a hard balance to try to be this mogul and then try to have a man. So as far as the cheating, I mean, if he did, it could be because he didn't get enough time. He needed maybe more time with her. I think a lot of times it's, hold on. I think it's a lot of times communication so again, I don't know if it's true. I know it's a rumor, but with her being as powerful as she is and leading and a billionaire, you just can't do that sitting at home. You're out about without him. And that would make him feel neglected. So I think a lot of men cheat on the, the basis of fin- feeling neglected, not so, having his woman being not being catered to. Well, she met him the same. He met her the same way. So what? would have changed or what would have like I I mean I get what you're saying as far as like balance goes but I don't know that's taking responsibility and accountability away from him but as far as the information that. that came out he cheated with her stylist who's a fashion mogul and huge she ain't know I got help. plenty of time to hang out. She's very successful, just like Rihanna, very busy. So I could get where you're coming from, Courtney. Like if he was cheating with like some model that has time to just be with him all the time and all of that. But that girl he cheated with, allegedly, because none of this is confirmed. But that girl he cheated with is fashion royalty. She was with Andre Leon Talley. She, she's not no, I got plenty of time to hang out with ASAP Rocky. Like, yeah, you could buy both of them together. That's a lot of time. I'll just okay. keep it focused. All right, yeah. can I go to IJR or the, or the lady still going? No, nah, you go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Let's flame it up. No, well, I think Courtney. Finished. No, it's all right. Go ahead, Miss Wilder. Oh, okay. You looking nice today, Miss Courtney. And well, thank and, and uh, Mogul. Saying you look like a the Buddha. All right. <laughs> Let's keep Let's keep it real, right? So, I mean, I'm gonna do it in this way, right? Miss Lady T, so I want to be talking tonight. I'm just going to ask you a question, right? And just can you just answer the question so I can move along? All right. Sure. All right. What happened to a plant when you give it water and sun? It grows. What happened to an avocado? If, if that's you, what it needs. Wait, wait, babe, just wait. Hold up. What happened to a, uh, a apple if you leave it out and then you cut it and you leave it out for like five days? It rots. It rots. What happened when you? Stab somebody. They bleed. All right. What do all them things have in common? They're alive. No, it's it's and natural. Plants. It's natural. It's natural. It's gonna happen. Stabbing is natural. Well, no. It, well, the effects of when you you get stabbed, you're gonna bleed, right? That's natural. No matter what you do, it's gonna happen, right? I the guess. plant gonna grow with water and sun, regardless. It's natural. All these things, it's natural. The only thing that we cannot understand in society today that it's natural. It's going to happen. I don't care if you got Beyonce. I don't care if you got Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna got dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's, it's insane when people say, oh, Beyonce got cheated on. Okay. Yes. It's natural. Yeah. Rihanna got cheated on. Yeah. It's natural. She a billionaire. It's natural. It's going to happen. And then to women, 
understand that concept so they can actually take it and use it to benefit the, the family, we're going to be right here at ground zero. It's natural, baby. Are you saying it's, are you saying it's, are you saying it's natural for men to cheat? Yep. So do you think all, do you think all men cheat? Mm, well, I'm going to tell you this. Every dude I know cheat. And the only time they stop cheating when like a plant, they stop growing. It, 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 get, it get old. You, you got all your branches. You know what I'm saying? You already, <laughs> you can't get, you know what I'm saying? So, and then you got, you experience so many winters. You experience so many summers and springs. You just sitting there, you good now. Now you can chill, right? You can chill and look over all the other trees. But in your growing stage, guess what you need? You need that water and that sun and you're going to grow. So what you're saying is men have two ge- have have characters that are too degenerate for them to not be honest and and forward with their women. There aren't polygamous there aren't men that are polyamorous or poly or and honest enough with their women and 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 strong enough in their their masculinity and true enough with themselves that they can't tell their woman like look I'm not going to be with only you because it's not natural for me as a man to only be having sex with only you so i'm gonna have to go behind your back and deceive you which is really what cheating is it's this no woman's mad at okay let me not speak for all women most women are only mad at the the act of deception that comes with the cheating not even the act of because deception is what makes that act offensive that's what makes it a threat to the relationship but the you gotta that they don't know what makes it cheating, right? The See, fact that they don't know. You no, know, it's who established the rules. So it's what rules. Do? Right? What are you talking about? <laughs> it have to be rules in place in order for it to be considered cheating, correct? Right. Okay. So who made the rules? You both should in a healthy relationship. I'm just saying it's a concept that's pushed, and it even though. For years, men have never be able to abide by this code until they get so older. Stop so if you can't do to it, abide by the code. If you can't do it, then why do you do it? Right. If just you don't can't do it. Do it why do there you do are plenty it? of girls that I was just talking to that are fine with it. <clears throat> I just so what I didn't agree with. Like I was with it. you though. I don't agree with the lie. Like you shouldn't have to lie. Right. Exactly. Just you, be honest. That's what makes it cheating, though. Right. It's not. No, so, I mean, are you saying that men can't be honest? Not in oh, Vegas. I, I do lie and make it cheat. Because you're being deceptive. It's the act of deception that no, makes it cheating. No, cheating is sticking your dick in somebody when. No, you cheating is sticking your dick in someone else when your partner, you and your partner, agree to being monogamous. You and your yeah, partner agree to, to be a lie. Cheating. Lying has nothing to do with cheating. If you got a lie, oh, every wait, liar wait. is a cheat. So what are you telling your woman you're doing when you're smashing another woman? What do you what do you tell her you're doing? Okay, no, I'm just saying, no, but what, that, you t- what are you telling her you're doing, Logic? What are you no, telling her I, you're no. doing? But lying is something totally different. If you make some rules and say, I would not sleep with another woman, right? And you do it, right? That act is cheating, right? Lying, I don't agree with. I don't agree with you should have rules like that anyway. So do you believe that omission is not, do you believe the omission is lying? Look, check this yes out. No, just really you, quick, yes or no? Why do you, I can't understand why you don't, you don't get this. Cheating is something totally is different. Cheating is the right? act. Ain't cheating is the act. Lying do is you it believe up. that omission is lying or not? You got it. You got it, Kate. I'm not fussing tonight. Is this a hard question? It is. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, logic deflecting tonight. Jesus, logic, because really? he knows exactly where the fuck I'm going, and he still didn't answer the question about oh, what does he tell his woman he's doing when he's smashing another, but he doesn't know if omission is lying or not. So I see why you be ordering Uber Eats every night. I get it because <laughs> this shit is just this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm saying okay. shit that, that most men is scared to say, and I'm telling you the truth, because guess what? Just like you ain't like saying shit, you ain't answering the questions. Wait, 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 hold up. <laughs> just like Rihanna just found out, right? You know what? You know what Rihanna looking at right now? Allegedly. Rihanna looking at this podcast. And you know what she's saying? Mr. Logic, right. She ain't watching. Uh-uh. 
Yeah, okay. No. All right, wait. Wait, a lot I, of things to, to be worried about. She's like seven months pregnant. I'm guaranteed. I'm you, all these dudes, the, these dudes, the chat dudes, they gonna cap because they want to tell you what you want to hear. Now mm -hmm. you don't, you don't want the truth. Now if you mm -hmm. want the truth and you understand that concept, of how I broke it down, that's just like me telling you, hey, uh, Kayla, I want you to walk backwards when it's natural for you to walk forward. You're all over the place, Logic. Mm -hmm. I, Got it. You don't catch that Logic. That's it. Hey, uh, Chaotic, hold on, Rilla. Let me get to Rilla. Hey, Rilla, what's going on, brother? <laughs> now, what's your thoughts about uh, about why is it that a man would cheat? I'm mean, not a man. Well, the, the question yeah. you asked. A man would cheat. What would make a man? Yeah, well, there you go. What would make a man yeah. cheat? Not, not, what, well, you were saying what would keep a man from cheating? There you go. I don't agree with, I don't disagree with nothing the lady said. Nothing. Not one single word they uttered. I don't disagree with them. They said, essentially, essentially, they said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in my big coochie energy for this one because what I'm not going to do is get up <laughs> here. And, um, you know, we talk about these things. We talk about, you know, integrity, character, being men of honor. <clears throat> We've even talked about, and I've used a real life example uh, of uh, one of my homeboys that had one girl coming out the house. The other one was coming in. They walked by each other, said hi to each other. He had just smashed one, took the other one upstairs, smashed her. I said, how did you do that? How do you do that? And the dude told me, you'd be surprised what women will let you do if you give them the option. So I'm not going to get up here and say, you know, what would keep a man from cheating is if the woman does X, Y, Z. That probably that could be contributing factors and all those things you do take into consideration, right? But if you a man and you feel like you got to step out on your lady and not tell her, hey, I'm not happy in this. Or when you do this, it makes me feel this way. Or I'm not getting taken care of on this end. Fam, just leave the relationship. I'm not finna get up here and sit up here and, and make excuses for niggas that want to cheat. That shit ain't natural, fam. If you if you if we saying men want to be with more than one woman, we can make an argument. We can have a conversation about that. I'm not going to sit up here and excuse niggas and, and, and say uh, 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 that's natural for a nigga to want to cheat. Marilla has not been going to church lately. That's not <laughs> nah, I went to Detroit last week, so I've been on one all week. Anti, I've been super turned all week. <laughs> I'm feeling away. I'm feeling away. And, because and, if we're gonna if we going if we gonna keep it funky, then let's keep it funky, man. Because these shorties be listening to us, and we gotta stay consistent with what we're telling them. I can't sit up here in good conscience. I can't sit up here in good conscience and say and, and make all these excuses on why niggas cheat and why it's cool for them to cheat or why it's acceptable for them to cheat. No, if you don't want to be with that woman, if she ain't giving you head, if she ain't sucking and fucking like you wanted to, then leave. Keep it a bean with her and leave. If you tell her, we'll tell her what you're not getting. And if you ain't get Anton, stop. <laughs> if you're not getting what you leave, need, leave the situation. So, what would keep a man from cheating? That man being a man of his word, that man being a man of discipline, that man being a man of character, that man being a man of integrity, that man being a leader. That's what keep a man from cheating. Yeah. And the stats actually show majority men don't cheat. What? So the stats show it's roughly about 42 to 45% of men cheat. So that's what the stats show. So we're going about, about, that. about, about that stat. Is what that based on, is that a base? I just got self recorded. Yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 I just wanted down. to know really quick. Is that based on a poll? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's what I want to know. Uh, or what is this? How does the stat? And what was the well, data sample used? Because Well, I can, I'll, I'll look that up. Um, yeah, in order to get it, but it was and it was for and it was hey no one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. You need to until if that poll, if I would use that poll for anything, they had to put the nigga on the lie detector thing. You know what I'm saying? And they have to goddamn be like what a waterboard his ass for him to tell the truth about that. But ain't but there'd be no reason for him to lie if he's doing it by himself and his woman and it's the poll was of married men, so but, not in relationships. So what y'all got to understand, the reason why men lie about this, and I'm not an Is because they're liars? No, and listen. because they're scared. Okay, let me finish, or baby. cowards? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> okay, I sorry. Tell y'all the Twin Towers. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? The reason men lie 
it's only to sit here and because y'all, y'all, y'all will go crazy. You know what I'm saying? If, if y'all understand them concepts, and even if, look, look, watch this. Beta. Even if you honest with the chick, right? You honest with the chick, right? And then you, you ain't even kicking it with her. She still gonna feel some type of way. Like, hold up. Like, roll up to you in the club and shit. Like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? We not together. That's the kind of shit that happened every day. And then niggas lie only to protect y'all feelings because y'all on this whole cheating shit. But no. guess what? Listen they to, to protect I their own you. mental peace because you think you're going to get a certain thing from a woman. Exactly. You okay. don't know what you're going to get. So you're lying to protect your own sanity. You're lying to protect your own mental peace. I, you're not lying to protect nobody's feelings. Because if you think that her getting cheated on and then finding out that she got cheated on because y'all suck at cheating is not going to help, is not going to make her feel bad. Like, how, how does that make sense? And then when you get, when you get ASAP Rocket, hey, what's that nigga name? ASAP Rocket? When okay, you get, and Rhea's right doing just fine. She's still a billionaire. Right. He's right. She Go laughs right. less. She ain't married. Okay. She don't need him to raise her baby. Unfortunately, outside of the father, pre the presence of him being a father, she don't need nothing from that man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, let me get, nah. uh, let me get to Anton and then uh, Kayada. Go ahead, Anton. What do you think? No, Kayada can go. He can go. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, <clears throat> this message that I'm going to say is for particularly younger ladies uh, between the ages of 18 and 22 that are happening to be listening. A lot of men won't tell you this, but <clears throat> one of the reasons why men cheat is because women don't understand men. One of the things you have to understand is, ladies, is that men are divine, you know, and it's our divine right to sleep with as many women as possible. Hell, God himself said it in the Bible. Be fruitful and multiply. Who do you think he was talking to? So what women have to get is that when we find you special enough to form a monogamous relationship, it is a job of you to understand these few things. God made your hand small enough to wrap around a mop. You're supposed to be domestic. You're not supposed to be at the clubs and gallivanting around the streets. You're not supposed to be talking to men when they're talking to their friends and they're fraternizing with their friends. You're supposed to be quiet. You're supposed to be bringing in sandwiches and food and beer to your husband. And mind you, I said husband. You're supposed to bring in food, alcohol. Honey, is there anything that you like? You're supposed to constantly cater to your man because you are in constant competition. Listen, ladies, there are other women on the planet, but you, there are billions of women. You're in constant competition with Asian women, white women, African women. Listen, there's a lot of new coochie out there. And, 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 and the thing is that men are animals. We are, we are, I don't know what you guys believe on a panel, but we're apes and we are supposed to be animalistic. But we have civilized ourselves with laws and morals. And if I say, you know, I'm married now, but if I say, you know what, I'm going to be committed to her, but she's going to have to cater to me when I need my peace. She's going to have to stay away from me. Um, when I need some, when, when I don't want her to be nagging and yapping. And so women, you're going to have to stay fit. Now, this is just me. You're going to have to stay fit, thin, pretty, Etc. You have to constantly stimulate the man that you're with. And I'll tell you this, ladies, um, you're going to have to start embracing conservatism. Now, I heard no offense to the ladies on the panel, but I heard some potty mouths. You're going to have to start being like a Christ, even though if you're not a Christian, <laughs> but you're going to have to start being Christ like. Stop wearing flim, like stop dressing filthy in public. You know, you need to dress down to your ankles. Uh, don't wear a lot of makeup and you're going to have to do everything. Listen, some of the best married couples that I've seen, including my parents, they do everything together. That's another way to ensure that your man does not cheat on you. 
So start doing things. Honey, would you like to go to the park and walk around instead of going to the club? where there's an opportunity that you're going to look at other coochie. See, you're going to have to start doing things like that. <laughs> See, a lot of times women, you 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 actually set your spouse up for him to cheat. A lot of women like, oh, girl, I like going to the club with my man. No, bad girl. You're not supposed to go to the club with your man. You're supposed to go out on little walking dates. Uh, typically by yourself, I mean, not by yourself, but with you and your spouse. Don't go to a place where there's a lot of damn people, a lot of opportunity for your your husband or, uh, uh, you know, uh, who you know, uh, boyfriend to see other women. So yes, and 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 again, ladies, start catering. Constantly bring your man food and and, and beer. I'm telling you, or alcohol. You will see how crazy the relationship changes to the point where he's constantly into you like damn because it's, it's a reward thing in your brain like an animal like man i know i'm gonna constantly get something i'm gonna constantly get a sandwich i'm gonna constantly get this from her see a lot of times you women don't want to do that your hands need to be listen when i come home it's nothing like seeing my wife's hands wrinkled from washing the dishes it's a represent no hear me out i know some of you guys i'm trolling and i'm not because this is very real. If you look at old couples, a lot of them stay together for 30, 40. 50. My parents have been married for 40 years. My mom is a professional woman. But there's nothing oh, like Jesus there's Christ. nothing like coming home and you just smell the food when you when you when you get out like damn, she cooked. You gotta keep them coming back to you because you are listen, when you're 30, that's pretty much it, ladies. No disrespect. So you're in competition with younger, prettier chicks. So you have to outperform these younger chicks who work at Chick-fil-A. Your PhD, your Greek letters, <laughs> your all that doesn't mean anything to a man. <laughs> Rihanna's pushing 40. My God. She has to do everything to cater. Who I don't even know who's her baby father. But she's going to have to do everything to keep that man because he's going to only get better with age. Oh, better look, my yeah, God. Better looking. Um more physically fit, stronger, while she's going to decline. Women, I don't, I don't, oh, I don't, sorry, I don't I'm blacking out. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I digress. Sorry. You know how I get, Lupi. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. No. Uh, Ladies, please don't listen to that. <coughs> he he has some gems in there, but nah, uh-uh. That sounds like some real blessed be the fruit, barefoot and pregnant, bullshit ass rhetoric. Not misogynistic, that bullshit. crazy mm -hmm. madness. Don't get me wrong. Yes, absolutely cater to your man. If you choose him, if that's the man that you choose to be with, absolutely. You should be catering to him. You should be paying attention to him. You should be respecting him. He should feel, he feel like you're his safe space. He's talking about he needs to get away from his wife to find his peace. That's not a marriage you want. You should be your man's peace. So I don't know about half of the stuff he was talking about, but my bad. I didn't mean to jump in. Go in, Anton. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Told you, butt naked, butt naked and barefooted. I told you. I told y'all. I got a so I got a question. So you married? You said you married, right? Chaotic. Do you yeah, do you cheat? Yeah, do you cheat? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Believe it or not, no. Um, I, you want me to <laughs> expound upon that? Sure. Okay. I don't cheat because I'm very faithful and I'm very honorable. And I believe, first of all, I came from a nuclear family. So I understand the dynamics of maintaining a certain level of order. And I chose a woman who I felt was special enough for me to rid my way. All men are capable of cheating. All men are polygamous. But when I met my wife, um, she was everything that I wanted. She was tall, dark. She looked Sudanese. And this is what I wanted. And on top of that, she was domestic. There's nothing like cooking and cleaning and shutting the fuck up. And what I'm saying is that it makes me not want to have any infidelities and cheating, for example. It makes me want to maintain that order. It makes me want to refine my animalistic urges. So long story short, you saying that she's the person that determines whether you cheat or not. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's up to the woman. It's her it's, it's a woman's job constantly to keep you from acting upon your animalistic drive to have sex with multiple women. It's the it's the truth. 
It's the truth. Well, I disagree 100%. Well, I, I think a lot of it is just that, um, in a general sense, I think a lot of it is that guys put themselves in a position of where they have to reject temptation on a regular basis. And that's really what it is. It's, it comes down to if you have to make an effort to cheat, because most times I would assume that guys that get into situations in which they wind up cheating, it's not something that they was looking to do. It's something that wind up happening. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times guys – can cheat and not even remember the chick name and don't even, you know, just keep it moving and not even trip off of that. They don't get emotionally connected unless they continue to rock with the chick for an extended period of time and they get to know her. Um, then she becomes a side chick and that's a whole nother conversation. But the point is, is that when you don't put yourself in a position, I have to reject temptation. You can't tempt me with something that I'm not interested in. You can't tempt me with something that's not, not always visible in my face. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that most guys have that discipline to be able to reject temptation to put themselves in that same room and then walk away with it without at some point at least entertaining the possibility of. There's no woman. I'm too strong of a man. I'm too too much of a king in my own household. I'm a king of my own dick. I'm a king of my own, on my own life. There's no woman. Not ever. I don't care what the circumstance. I don't care what it is. That's, that can ever push me to do anything other than what it is that I want to do. And that's why I'm the leader of my household, because I determine the ebbs and flows there. I could never say that Rita or anybody else in my life, my mom, I don't care who it is. No woman can determine what I'm going to do on a day in and day out basis. Not one woman on this earth. That's impossible. And so me as the leader of my household, because first, if you want to, the state of the community is the men, not the women. The women don't determine what goes on in the community is the men. And the only reason that women have any power in the first place is because we allowed it. We allowed it. And so as a result, what you see is the downfall of communities at large when you see weaknesses in it because the men don't stand up and take their place and they think that it's their right to do something but i don't believe in rights i believe in earning you have to earn the right to do things you don't just by default get it you have to earn your benevolence you have to earn your dictatorship you have to earn the people that follow you and determine what it is that you're going to do so as a result i can't ever in any way say that a woman is going to determine what it is that I'm going to do. The only thing that she can do is what I allow her to do and what I allow myself to be tempted to do. It's never up to her. It's always going to be up to me. Can I ask you a question, Anton? <clears throat> sure. What would you say to a young man? Let's say the guy's 25. He's married. He married his wife or his fiance, and uh, she's 22, 23. She weighs 125 pounds. Let's say in two years, she balloons up to 215 pounds. And he says, baby, I think you should lose weight. I'm falling. I'm not attracted to you anymore. And she refuses. What do you say in that situation? That That's a, he a, she a reflection of him and his leadership. She should have never gotten that way in the first place. Okay. Okay. Rita has never gotten overweight ever in her entire life because she's a reflection of me. And the thing that I need her to do, she already understands it. And I don't even have to ask. I don't communicate it. She just understands that she does what it is that I need her to do because I'm the man that I need to be first for what it is that she needs for me. I don't negotiate. I'm, I told you I'm a benevolent dictator. I don't negotiate. This is not a democracy. Texan. I, I think that aligned with my statement then. But go ahead. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Woo! So, I just think that it's crazy that you can think that somebody else's behavior determines your character, first of all. Second of all, it's some fucking cap for you to tell me cooking and cleaning has anything to do with your sexual urges, period, or what you find attractive or what turns you on. That is, 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 is cap. Maybe there are men that are like, yeah, you wash those. Di Stop it. Like, there's nothing a, a five washing dishes can do that will make you as sexually as excited as a 10. I don't care what the fuck you're talking about, okay? I just think that this whole... Thing is crazy because most men cannot afford this shit that you're telling them. They cannot afford this. They can't. They can't. 
They can't. It's a whole you bunch need my of. Money, you need my money. You need my money. So I don't want to hear none of that. All of that. Ninety percent of men need that check that she brings home, and this is the facts. Okay. So it's really wild to me that people want to try to Kevin Hart their woman. You are not Kevin. You don't have. You don't. You should humble yourself. And you should not give bad advice to these men out here that are driving around in Corollas telling somebody what the fuck they need to be doing. No. <laughs> no. 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 I, I actually kind of... Okay, I, so I, I don't her. necessarily... I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't fully she's agree. right, though. Because I don't fully... Right. I, I don't fully agree only because a man will be the first... I mean, some of these men... Major, well... High valued men will say that they don't need a woman's money, right? But what I do disagree with with him, what he said is a whole bunch of Madonna whore complex rhetoric because he wants he wants his woman to be in three fourths of cloth, completely covered. And he uh, I listen, I don't know you personally, but a lot of honorable men or a seemingly honorable men are doing it for appearances because of course you're a married man so I'm sure you're if you were to appearances. say anything less than I'm saying appearing to be like and I'm not talking about you Anton no 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 I'm, I know you're not talking about me I'm just I'm trying <coughs> to get clarification I'm not disagreeing with you I'm trying to get understanding I'm saying like saying the whole you know I would never cheat and this after the whole after spewing the whole is your wife completely covered when you come home she's in a granny she's in granny um granny granny nightgowns washing dishes in, like she in, in the Caribbean no I said no uh so if you go back and listen to me I said that you as the man and I was giving advice to particularly younger people you um, say younger women younger 18, women. between 18 and yeah. 22 so right I was so closely. okay okay so no my wife when I come home is dressed nice but what I'm saying is that in public my wife and she's already conservative she was already conservative when I met her she does not dress like she's a prostitute. Uh, she is covered. Her, her if she was wearing a dress, is down to her ankles. Um, she's she's generally covered up. She may cover her hair sometimes. But what I'm saying is that you guys are speaking on things you have no concept of. No offense, uh, Miss Lady, you don't have a concept of honor because you're not a man. Honor is that's what that's that's a concept that only men know about and have the luxury so to know about. So there are no honorable no, women. There's, no, you can't no, it's not that there are not any honorable women, it's that women are not honorable by nature. There women <clears throat> let's okay, let society collapse. All that honor that you think you have is going to go out the window. You're going to go to the nearest home that has heat and food. Men know how to hunt, men know how to gather and it is we are listen when I say we're divine, bro, I'm you not, are insane, listen, bro. All you only thing you got to look at, right? you're not looking for somewhere. For hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on, I'll go on, hold on, Kayla, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Dude, on do, you know, do you know what's being reported over in Ukraine right now as, as far as what them soldiers is doing to them people over there? <clears throat> Sir, I'm very aware of the political situation in Ukraine. I actually have Not a political, but you know what the soldiers are doing to the civilians. Over there's, in a Ukraine. Lot of, there's a lot of mixed reports, but yes, I know what you're talking about. Correct. Yeah. What am I talking about? We, but, 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 but Anton, we can't. There's a YouTube uh, algorithm that picks up any conversation about that, and they will shut this video down. We can't you talk know, about they're it. not. Man, uh, no, we we not, not talking yeah, about no, we're not saying no crazy words, but they over there, bro. Uh, men are savages. We are. You just described us as savages in the in the beginning yes. of your monologue, mm -hmm. and now you want to say that we honorable. I mean, you got to pick a side, bro. We are honorable mm -hmm. when it needs to be. When there needs to be a certain level of civility. So men, yes, will or will and are capable of war, but men also build society and manage. No, that's society. not war. No, over there, bro. Have archaic hunters I have, I have a, and have a honorable question. men at the same time. Have a question time. for what's chaotic. Hold on. What's happening that over is there? It's savagery. Go ahead, have, Courtney. Uh, I'm, I'm, go ahead. Do your have thing, you guys. ever been hunting? Yes, I have. What's the hunting gun that you used? Courtney, <laughs> I... Uh, just, a, just a question. Um, just a question. What was the Courtney, hunting gun that you I, used? I, 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 where are you getting at? That I'm one, Courtney. Asking, I'm, no, I'm just asking. What was the I use a bow gun? and arrow. What are you getting at, Courtney? I, you said you were hunting, so I'm just Courtney, asking a question. what are you getting at? 
I'm not. I'm just asking a question. Well, you said you hunted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Men can't answer questions tonight. Oh, you cannot answer questions. Wait a minute. I come on the panel to give my opinion on my existence. I'm not pushing this on you ladies at all. And you're asking me what am I hunting? That's cap chaotic. No, you no, said no. That you you said hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Right, you me. said chaotic. You led with. I'm a very good listener. I just listen. You led with. This is advice for younger women. And then you went on a spiel and you started giving what you think that these women should do. You can't then turn around and say I'm not pushing what it is that I'm thinking on other people. When that's exactly what you said that you were going to do in the beginning of your speech. You got to be well, consistent. I, I, I want him to answer that question, though. He said he's been hunting since he's a hunter. So I'm just wondering what hunting gun did he use? Do you? OK. Have you ever hunted before? Yes. Have you ever had a 22 rifle? Yes. OK. Now, but you, but, 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 but what so, kind of 22 rifle but, you got? What are you getting at? Yeah. What what <laughs> hunting gun got? have you used? Okay. Well, what type what type of gun do you use to hunt? Courtney, why are we okay? What is the purpose of you asking me? What's, what's the, the name? The, 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 the deflection tonight. tonight well, the deflection tonight is good. Okay, okay. I, I can name any uh, uh, Smith and Wesson, a Savage, a yeah. Diamondback. I mean, what, what is that? Hunt, is that like ask me what kind of shoes do I? <laughs> the reason I, I can sit up here and name any name brand of gun. I just named three of them. So what? No, that but there's thing? a. But he also said he hunted with a bow and arrow. Okay. Course, she so. said the hunting gun. She didn't say brands of guns. It was a rifle. Yeah, it's not guns. Yeah, but it was, yeah, hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Corey. Okay. The reason why I asked because you said men are hunting and gatherers by nature, and I get that. However, you said that you hunted. So if things were to go a array, a, a rise, excuse me, and you had to hunt for your food, then you should, as a man, understand what hunting is. Courtney, do me a favor real quick. Can you put up well, your- no, So do the fact that I, I asked you- do something. Do me a favor. Pull up your left hand real quick and show everybody the ring finger, your, your ring finger with your ring on it. Oh, so no, that's no. what we're not going to do. No, 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 no. I feel attacked over here. No, I feel attacked. I'm giving my opinion. It's fine. It's it's okay. No, because you don't know what you're talking about. My parents have been married. Bro, 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 bro. See, look. Bro, bro, you wrong. Courtney, you won the argument. You don't even need to say nothing. I'm going to say this, though. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. But this is what she did. She made an excellent point. Men are not fucking hunters and getters anymore. That's you true. go to Walmart just like these chicks do. I do. I but do. see, but then now that was a valid point, bro. You that just got a valid point. Cool. And I respect Wait, that. hold on, logic. Hold on, logic. Hold on. I fuck all that. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck all that. Logic. Respected it so much. Hey, 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 hold on, y'all. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Go ahead, really. Go ahead. Go ahead, really. Ladies, hold on, hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Hey, chaotic. Really, hold on for a second. If you're gonna ask no, me, a question, wait, no, 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 and nobody no, can cut me off. That's what I'm that after. Know. After I, I say this. Okay. okay, thank you. You're a gentleman. Okay. I would like to believe so. And, you, and and you're a guest in this house. I'm gonna I'm gonna respectfully ask you to respect the house and respect the ladies in this house. Sir, no, 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 no. I did not disrespect not, her. Hey, I wait, asked wait, her to show her hey, ring. Listen, listen. Sir. I'm not. I'm no, not no, 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 yeah, no, no. We're not gonna do that. We're not doing the back and forth. No, 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 no. No, no, we're yeah. not gonna do that because listen, I asked her a simple question. I, I did you, not disrespect listen, her, and if I did, she would have said something. I know Courtney, she would have said something, sir. Chaotic. You don't have to listen, sit for her, sir. I you don't have to do all that with me. Her, I asked you, I, I, and I'm asking you something you simple. So, it should be, so your response still should you be, yeah, no problem. Question. Why are sir, you doing all that, bro? Sir, all the theatrics. Courtney the is an intelligent female, That's and if cool. she felt disrespected, Why are you doing she would have said something. I said what I said. I did not man. disrespect her, sir. Right, cool. I gave my opinion. Do what you want, I gave my I'm not going to participate. I'm not going to let people come up in here and wild out and grab this crazy stuff, man. I don't know what people think this is. I just want I didn't disrespect Cool. Cool. Right, yeah, let's get back on track, y'all. Let's get back on track. Okay, okay, let's get back on track. All right, uh, Courtney, you would... I said I'm asking. Hold on, Rilla. That's it. Hold on, it hold, on, it hold, on. That hold on, Rilla. Hold on. Oh, it is that because you're simping. You're simping. Rilla, Rilla, hold on, hold on. Gentlemen, it's gentlemen, it's gentlemen, it's gentlemen, it's gentlemen, it's gentlemen, it's gentlemen. You're simping, sir. Gentlemen. I'm talking to you. You're simping. Gentlemen. You're simping for it. You're simping from day one. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, hey. What is you talking about? Now what? I've been simping. Now what? 
ask you to respect okay, well, the ladies in the house. Charge. That should You're be a simple, simple, yeah, I got you, bro. You doing all this, all this extra, bro. It ain't even, it ain't even on that type of time. All right, try to simp for her. Right. I simp every it. day. What the fuck is you talking about? Her. Now you what? Simp. Now what? And oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Courtney, go ahead and finish making your point that you were trying to make. Let's well, get back on track. I mean, he tried to do a, I guess he thought it was a low blow because I called his bluff. And I understand that you're on here probably to troll because that's what you usually do. So again, just like Logic said, I mean, no one's out hunting and gathering like we did back in the day. We're all shopping. If things were to go crazy, you'll be right along with us because admittedly, you said, well, you lied. You said you hunt. You don't. You don't know anything about guns. So I might not be married, but I know you won't bring that over here because I do hunt. I do know that hunting guns are rifles. I do understand that my grandfather owned a Westchester 70 model. And I said I have it. And so that's a rifle that you hunt with. So now that you know, when you say that lie on another panel, you understand what a rifle is and a model type rifle that you use to hunt. So please mm -hmm. write that down next time you lie. Okay. And so, and so, wait, wait, hold on, Chaotic, because people call me a simp or whatever. No, she had a valid fucking point. He bought up the hunt point. He bought up and said, man, do this. And can I'm going to say... Can we just move the conversation? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on player, because I'm, I'm not coming at you, though. I'm no, just... I'm just well, if you're not coming at me, let's move the conversation then. No, no, no. You don't want to move because no, no, you're no, 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 no. You said you're not coming at me, so it's no point of... No, no, no. no, no, no okay, okay, look, check this out, bro. Bro, Logic, this move the conversation. Hold on, chaotic. Hold on, chaotic. 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 We're not moving the conversation. Let's go ahead and finish the conversation. No, it's cool, guys. The point is me. He looks dumb. Like niggas. He don't want to talk about it no more. It's fine. The point is me. Let me finish. And then I'll make the plan. We almost we almost finished. Logic bringing it home. It was valid. You threw it out there and she checked you on that point. You know damn well niggas ain't hunting no deer and eat and all that shit. Niggas don't even know how to goddamn motherfucking plant a guard. <laughs> niggas ain't doing that. That is oh, an man. insult. That is an hey, insult, sir. A lot of black people know how to oh, garden. Bro, 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 can you, you please don't. be fair? Wrong and strong. Wrong and wrong. I don't know how to do it. Let Logic do his thing. Let Logic do his thing. Let me go on. Let me go on. Hold on, ladies. Hold on. Go ahead, Bro, this not a shot because I say this all the time. Logic, it's over with. Let's move to the next conversation. Oh, how are you going to tell me? You. It's, I, over I, I respect it's, it's over. It's over. Yeah, I, you guys proved me wrong. I don't know how to hunt. I don't know how to garden. You guys proved me wrong. Come no, on, I'm not talking over. about you. See, this is this is what you don't understand. I'm Logic. not talking can we, about you. Can we stop? I, 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 I respectfully no, agree with you. I agree with you. Sir, let's move to conversation. Come on, let's go. Let's move it to this conversation. Come How, on. Why, why do you, you act like you, you run shit? Because I want to move it. I don't, don't want to ask her question. You don't run nothing here. Hey, let them work, work, work it out. Let them work it out. Let's do it. He already made it. Hold on, Kayla. Hold on, Kayla. I'm not talking to you, player. I'm listen. I said, man. I don't know if you know how to hunt or not. She checked your point. That's it. I'm talking to most men in America. This has to be sir. I don't know you from no. Hey, look, you cool, but Logic, look, are you done simping? What the fuck, sir? Let's just move the conversation, sir. Let's stop talking about what men this men. I think it's an insult that people are saying that men don't know how to garden. That's an insult. A lot of black men, insult. especially, know how to do a lot I of things. Why, why are we saying that men don't know how to do a lot of things? It's an insult. Courtney looks bad for not being married. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He said on. we're not going to move the conversation, yet you keep saying that. You are not doing that. Hey, Logic got it. Hey, hey, Logic got it. Logic got it. All right, bro, check this out. Not talking to you. I'm talking to the audience. All right. The audience, if you, you. That's something that men don't do these days. That's something that they had that they lost because now we in a goddamn system that provide everything we need. We don't need bows and rifles and all that. We got Walmart and fucking food line. So with, if anybody say that that is a trait that a man need in 2022, use a motherfucking lie. Men don't need that shit. And women don't need niggas for it. They got it too. 
and they got Instacart that deliver the shit to your door. That's and all we I'm got saying. Guns. All right. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome to La Peef Let's Talk. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Everybody take a deep breath. Musa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you wild as hell. <laughs> Logic said Walmart like four times, and we aren't even that far into the show. I just think that <laughs> the fact that Walmart is your go-to logic for everything. <laughs> is no Tajay. This is Chicago. This is no Whole Foods. No Trader Joe's. Just straight it's just Walmart. Walmart. No matter what we're talking about, it's Walmart. <laughs> it's all I need that job when I come out, Jr. I need hey, that like, depending on which Walmart you go to, man, you might be able to, you know, you might be able to come up <laughs> on some fresh fruit. Oh man, that was funny. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Appreciate it. Okay, are you good? Just doing you know, well being. You know, I'm glad you asked now, that get, question. Hey, keep it brief. Keep it brief. I, I'm, keep it. I am. I'm glad Who you said asked this that is? question. I'm are you glad good? You asked that question. I am. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I knew when I came on the black panel, I would. I would. My, my opinion. Oh were gonna be like, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. White people love what? me. They. They. Cry like, is your they wife uh, black? What? Is she black? My wife is uh, African American. I told you she looks Sudanese. Okay. Yeah, but oh, well, no, according to Courtney, I don't have a wife either. So let's let's I'm, I'm gonna go with Courtney's logic on everything. Hold on. I don't have a wife either. Oh, Lord Jesus, that's not, when did I, whatever that is that you're doing is not it. It's it's not when it. did I when did I say that? I just asked if you knew how to if you hunt, you said yes. I asked you what you used, you had no idea. No, I said I use a, you bow, said and a arrow. bow and arrow. Yeah, I use a bow and arrow. I, I <laughs> well, use a spear. We are, can we just move on now? Thank you. Thank you, LaPeef, for asking if I was all right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, his ego sure blues. I... We can move on, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, moving on to our next topic. That was a video that was circulating with uh, Erica Mina. So I do want to kind of play that real quick. I know you guys are such a fan of Erica. Right? No? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and play oh. this video. That is so hard. So hard to be vulnerable. To be vulnerable when we have, so we have to be responsible for. You know what I'm saying? There's no room to be submissive when a man don't give you that space. You need a space to be comfortable, to be vulnerable, to feel safe. Safe is the key word. You could be the baddest bitch. You could have the most money in the world. If you do not feel safe, there is no submission. And that's what it comes down to. Like, it don't matter who you are. If you see Carisha right now, you see how she be posted up next to Diddy? Like, they're like, Carisha's there next to Diddy. Like, and that's a city girl. You know why? Mr. Love gave her a safe place to stand and be there and be comfortable and feel safe. <laughs> All right, ladies, um, safe, safe. If we if we give you guys safety, that is, that would allow you guys to be submissive. Uh, interesting take. I'm just want to get you guys thoughts about it since it's ladies' night tonight. Start with you, Miss uh, Courtney Michelle. What are your thoughts about that video? What do you? Um, her basically saying that women are submissive if they have a safe space. Yeah, that, that's what it sounded like to me. It, it sounded yeah. like that's the priority that that women, if they have that that place where they feel safe, the peace of mind and mindset that I'm safe, that they would be submissive. What are your thoughts about it? Do you do you agree? Is that true? Uh, I don't agree. I think that if you're deciding to be in a relationship with a man, then then you're supposed to be submissive. So trying to think of I'm going to be submissive, but you're already with someone is actually counterproductive of what you're supposed to be in a relationship. If you're not safe, then why in the world submission shouldn't be in that equation because you shouldn't be with that person. But if you chose to be with that person, then your role as a woman, I think, is to be submissive to your husband. And I'm talking about a relationship as far as with marriage. So. I mean, you can decide. Women can decide. Do you want to be with this man or not? If you do, then be with him for real. If not, then back off and find somebody that you can be submissive to. But if that's shit, I don't know. 
I mean, it sounds backwards to me, but if you're going to be submissive, that's what you want to do. You're going to do that with your partner and it shouldn't have any bearing on that. That's you. Okay. What about you, Kay? What are your thoughts about it? Um, I think that people are more likely to be vulnerable when they feel safe, um, you know, in a relationship. So, yeah, I think that that can have some influence. Um, but then on the other hand, there are people who are just like that all the time. So, I mean, I think it depends, but uh, vulnerability is more likely, in my opinion, to present itself when you feel you're in a safe space. What's the difference between feeling safe and feeling comfortable? Are you asking me? Yes, Or just asking? I'm just asking you. Oh, um, I think for me, uh, there is comfort in safety. So like safety is part of me being comfortable. Um, like if I'm if if I'm going to be comfortable, safety is an automatic part of that for me. So, I mean, I think it depends on what people view um, for their own levels of comfort or whatever. But for me, safety is a component of comfort. Okay. Uh, same question, Courtney. What's the difference between being... Uh, feeling, yeah, feeling safe and feeling comfortable in a, in a relationship to you? Um, I think uh, when I think about being safe with someone, I mean, that's when I am comfortable. I don't think there's a difference. If I'm not safe with you, I'm not comfortable. I'm always, well, what are you about to do? What's going on? Like, so I don't, it's the same to me is I, if I'm safe with you, I'm comfortable. If I'm at home, I feel safe. So I'm going to be comfortable at home. It's those times that I'm not comfortable when I feel like I got to look over my shoulder, things like that. And I don't understand why anyone would want to be in a relationship that you're not safe in or you're not comfortable with. Why as a woman, if you are a submissive woman, why be with someone? I, so that I, I, I don't understand the logic. I don't understand why people or women or men would say, yeah, I want to be this for her and this. Well, if you're, if you're not able to be, that's not the one. Okay. Kayla. What are your thoughts about what uh, Erica Mina said? And the same question for you, too. Like, what's the difference between you feeling safe and you feeling comfortable? If there's a difference, it seems like it might be along the same lines. But I just want to try to get a clear, clear difference with it, because I think it would uh, help somebody out there that's listening. Yeah, um, that's a tough one. I do think being safe and being comfortable are in the same family. Um, people will, could call it semantics low key because they're so, they're very similar when we speak about the relationship part of it. Um, but I do agree with her that you'll get the most submissive woman when there is a safe space. And I think a safe space more so is like trust, right? Lack of judgment, feeling like you can be yourself, um, which I don't think a lot of people have in their relationships. I think people will talk to other people before they talk to their spouse about something, which means there's a lack of feeling safe or feeling like you can be heard or whatever it is, you know? So I do think that women are more submissive, the safer that they feel, but I also think they're more submissive depending on like the man and how he makes her feel because there are men that have safe space, you know, that are safe spaces that still don't necessarily make you feel like, you can be as open, whatever, because maybe they're like judgmental or maybe, you know, whatever, but they still like take care of you, make you, you know, make sure you're physically safe and all these other things, but maybe not emotionally safe. Right. So I think it just depends. This is, it's, it's a really depends on the people. I think you said something important there where you, uh, let me ask you this. Is it, is it important for women to listen to their men? Meaning like whenever they come to them, is it, is it important? Because I heard you say something along the lines of like men will talk to other women um, and probably express certain things. But is it because they're not being heard? Um, 
um, yeah, it's a part of them not being heard. It's a part of them feeling like there could be some judgment. And there are there is a lot of judgment. And, and people just judge people. They make assumptions. They don't really hear out the whole story, you know? So there are people that feel like, I mean, I'm, I can firsthand say this because I have male friends that will come and talk to me about stuff that they say that they feel like they can't talk to their woman about, which I think is weird, but we also were friends before they married her. So whatever, you know what I mean? But they feel like it's a safer space because I'm going to be like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get mad or I'm not going to like be like, oh, you ain't shit nigga. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to have some empathy, but I think when you start having sex with me, like that person, it changes a lot of different shit. But when you're platonic with someone, I think, I don't know. It's like a different space where you, when you talk to them about stuff. So you, I think most people can attest like how it was before we became a couple in terms of communication changes a lot sometimes. So yeah, I mean, I think men are not being heard and they also feel like they'll endure judgment and they won't be heard out fully. Um, and so they don't talk to their women. They go talk to their homeboys or their, their friends. Okay. Got you. Got you. All right. Silent girl Q. Uh, were you able to catch the video? You caught it. Um, I caught the ending when she was showing her booty. <laughs> Um, she was talking about someone with P. Diddy. What? No, nah, she was just talking about safe. There was a clip. Uh, I think it was actually might have been on one of the blogs or something. I'll play it real. It's so hard to be vulnerable when we have so much to be responsible for. You know what I'm saying? There's no room to be submissive when a man don't give you that space. You need a space to be comfortable, to be vulnerable, to feel safe. Safe is the key word. You could be the baddest bitch. You could have the most money in the world. If you do not feel safe, there is no submission. And that's what it comes down to. Like, it don't matter who you are. If you see Carisha right now, you see how she be posted up next to Diddy? Like, they're like... Carisha's there next to Diddy. Like, and that's a city girl. You know why? Mr. Love gave her a safe place to stand, to stand and be and there, be there and, be and be comfortable and feel safe. And feel safe. Got that go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think somebody, yeah, somebody must have came off a of mute. But uh, I'm wondering if she's equating like safety with money. You know, can um, you, you know, can you be safe with somebody that has that has money? Well, I want to I want to talk about the first part she said regarding men need to create a space for for women to be submissive. I feel like women should be submissive already. A man should does not need to create a space for you to be submissive. Um, what's the other point she said? I really don't listen to men. That I wouldn't really take advice from her with her track record, honestly. Um, what was your question, Jr? Sorry, I was just your, your reaction, but then uh, also too, it seems as though she was equating safety with somebody that has money because i know diddy you know diddy definitely got a bag so it was almost like did you did you see it when she was standing next to him so would you equate somebody that's wealthy as a form of safety safety financially yes but safety in other aspects no because there could be a man that is fulfilling you financially but he's not fulfilling you emotionally right because he's so busy working so I don't know if that's what she meant by that at all. Because I didn't hear her say nothing about money. Did she? I don't think she said anything about money. On that no, she, she didn't say anything about money. No, that was just me just uh, thinking. I, she, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go I was just going to say, I think that when she was talking about safety, I genuinely think that she was talking about emotional safety. Because Carisha is like, a lot of people are very judgmental about like how Carisha moves around, right? And I just don't think Diddy is. I think he done seen everything that there is to see. And they can have real conversations without him being like, oh, you did that? Or like, ooh, you, 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 you like, they can just have real conversations and she not feel judged and she feel like she could just be herself. I think that's what Erica was saying when she met. Like, she feels safe and she doesn't feel like he like demeans her for like, because I'm Diddy, you need to be the fucking behind me. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, no, stand right next to me, post up, right? So, I don't know. I think that's more so what she meant, but we don't really know. It's just who, who did Carisha date before? Who in the okay, fuck is Carisha? 
That's what I'm saying. I'm trying Carisha to figure out. is one of the two city girls. There's JT and there's Carisha. JT is with, with um, what's his name? She's the one that went to jail. Carisha's the one that didn't go to jail. Okay. I thought you were talking about the one that dated Chris Brown. No. I'm well, sure. you know, maybe. Oh, uh, I don't know either one of them ever dated Chris Brown. No, no. the skinny chick that dated the baseball player Carisha. afterwards. Yeah. I, I don't think we, were, I don't think I don't we know, know about. I don't think we know about none of this, y'all. I don't think we know about. I don't know who. You know, we maybe think Diddy, who. and maybe Diddy is a sugar daddy. Maybe it might be the case. It's coming off last weekend. I mean, last week's show. He, he looks like he's probably a consultant. I feel like he gives her great advice on moving around in the industry. I feel like that's what they talk about. Okay, that's what they call it now. Consulting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, hey, uh, Logic, why don't you jot that down on your notes, man? Consulting. <laughs> who is he? Oh, he's my consultant. <laughs> Uh, that's not my friend no more that's my consultant <laughs> i'm gonna need y'all not to do that because i fully do consult in real life okay what so type no, of consulting girl doing that what type business of consulting business consulting i empower mm-hmm. creatives okay all right miss uh miss t what are your thoughts about the erica mina video um, and uh her talking about safe is the key that's what she said safe is the key Okay, so I do agree that um, I agree with what Eileen Gal Q said um, as far as like if you're submissive, then you're submissive, right? Um, there's not going to be a, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be required or necessary for a man to create space for you to be submissive. You are who you are. Um, however, what I will say is whether or not you're willing to continue to submit to his leadership um, and where he's taking the relationship after maybe he's betrayed your trust is something different um, because you do need safety in order for there to not be um, safety and comfortability because they're not one and the same right if you're safe you feel protected if you're comfortable you can kind of just be who you are and i'll put these buzzwords in resting your femininity right um so i think her messaging um like i understood what she was saying though um as far as like you need emotional security because I, what I do know of Mena is that she seems a bit emotionally like just all over the place. So if I'm just going to take it from that perspective, I feel like she probably needs like emotional security. Um, she needs that emotional security to feel safe, but I wouldn't take advice from her either. She's, she's a bit, um, oh, man, unstable in my opinion. Yeah, she's, she's a bit a off the man. wall, off the rocker. <laughs> she hit a muggle. Very sometimes. aggressive. Yeah. Hey, can you give me an example of emotional security? Um, a man. Emotional security looks like being able to have um, open, honest conversations with your man, where you guys have a balanced, um, like you guys have great communication you guys resolve conflicts in a way that's not inflammatory um (laughs) like you guys are able to um just essentially like be yourselves and be transparent and be honest and not have to um like there's nothing that you that's your best friend like that that's an example of having like emotionally uh, like emotional security in my opinion Okay. <laughs> that shit don't make no sense. We, you know what? If we put a um, hundred women, they have a different answer. You know that, right? I mean, you got five right here. That you only got one answer, and you started laughing. There is so. no one answer. Every woman, what she needs to feel safe and comfortable is different for every woman. There's no blanket statement, and a man definitely can't be the one to answer to that. So yeah, a man can, and all women are the same. They're all the same. <laughs> They all need the same thing. They all move the same way around a certain dude, which is one reason why she referenced Diddy, because all women move the same way around Diddy. It doesn't change. Only the only thing that changes is the rotation. The behavior is the same. You mean the rotation? Because Diddy is who Diddy is. 
So however you want to label it, the point is is that he get the same results regardless. And it don't matter money. who the chick is. They all though. He not most men. Wait, wait, you can't change it up. You you can't say, oh, but he a unicorn. You got to keep the same consistent answer. But it's right? not consistent it's because not. different. You men just get said that every woman needs something different, but he get the same result from every single woman that he interact with. We don't know he's the that common for denominator, that. and that's because we he's only know like money. the people publicly we see him. Gotcha, we don't really know. But y'all yeah. switching up. Come on, we're not switching up. I think every woman yep. on the panel has something different that they need to feel comfortable. I think every woman on the panel wants a man to provide. Well, that Fact. is what we're all consistent exactly. on. There's, mm -hmm. Right. Um, every woman on this panel wants their man to be able to protect them. Mm -hmm. Those are the main two things that women want. And that's universal. Regardless of race, regardless of region, uh, religion, we want to feel protected and we want to be provided for. We don't want to feel, and that makes us feel safe. That makes us feel comfortable. And but that's why we is. want, and that's why we want to marry someone that has the provision, has, wants, the, can provide and can protect. Because that's, when we get married to that, then it's solidified. And it's ours. And that's what every woman wants. But provision is more than just financial, though. So well, I didn't, I didn't speak of money. Right. No, I'm not saying that you did. I'm okay. just clarifying. Down provision for us, lady, uh, mogul. What's the name? Let me look at it because I can't. Mogulette. It. <laughs> lady mogulette. Uh, what, 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 what does that mean? What is lady you can just mogulette? Call me I'm a female mogul. So you're a lady mogul, a woman mogul. Pardon me. Yes. Mobilette. Okay. Break down a provision thing for me, please. So you provide emotional security. You provide financial security. You provide the protection. That's another form of provision. So yes, it's, it's hand in hand. Um, so it's not just about like, I feel like that pretty much sums it up. Like it's the nutshell. Like you're provide if you're providing the emotional security and you're providing the financial security, I mean, and in today's world, of course, you can't do that alone all the time. Um, it's just not feasible for our men all the time, being realistic. But um, if you provide the emotional security, then a woman is more than likely to just meet you as far as the other part goes. But yeah, that's 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 what it is. The provision is emotional security and financial security. It's not just the financial can you have emotional security without the money? If he broke, can he provide you with emotional security? Broke men are typically insecure men. And insecure men don't typically aren't capable. Like, they're not so is typically that a yes or emotionally or no? balanced. So, no. So, you got to have the money and then you can provide the emotional security. Is that what you're saying? Do you know any men that are emotionally no, I'm just asking. stable? I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm, I, I I'm have to ask the follow up question though. Well, you Would can't you feel answer comfortable? A question with a question. You I can ask, ask because question. I'm not a man, so I have to ask a question. With well, that, I, I no, you're you're saying that women need this A, B, and C or whatever, right? Or A mm -hmm. and B, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm asking you a question. I asked you a follow up question, and now I'm asking you another follow up question, which is. So you said that you can't have the emotional security without the finances. And so I'm now I'm asking you just to double check is the finances required and then you can get the emotional security. So again, since I'm not a man, I can only give my anecdotal experience In my anecdotal experience. I've dated a man that wasn't financially secure. And because of that, he wasn't emotionally secure. He was insecure. So he could not provide me with emotional security because he was insecure about his placement, so he was, you know, treating me like I was going to cheat on him based on how he felt about himself. So with that being said, yes, a man needs to have financial security in order to provide emotional security because no man that wants to show up in the world in a certain way is going to feel comfortable within himself enough to be in a relationship, in a healthy relationship, if he can't provide for his woman. 
and see how her conversation just fall on her head. <laughs> <laughs> This is ridiculous. I can't even believe, like... I mean, it's true, though. Because <laughs> men that don't have money, they're really unhappy. They're really unhappy. Go ahead. You know how you feel, like, when you're really hungry, but you can't get no food? It's like it's that. It's crazy. You're irritated. Crazy. He ain't got no money in the bag. Keep you walking around. Don't got money, just be angry. And then Hold he, up. Oh, I'm not even angry. Why are you Why you just, just jump on, on my conversation? I'm talking to her. All right, so what are you saying to you. me, sir? What are you saying to me? What are you saying to me? What? What? How did my argument fall on my head? Tell me. Because you were saying you, because <laughs> I was first asking you about this emotional security, right? Mm-hmm. And you were saying how important it is and all that. And then Anton asked you a question, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. And then you said, well, you know what? Unless you can provide, you're not fit to be, to give me emotional security. No, but I said providing is both financial and emotional. So how did it fall on my head? No, no, no. Because it's, it goes hand in hand. So wait, 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 wait. But you did break out the emotional aspect of it separately though, right? It's it's both a part of providing. So if you have providing and provi- you have providing and protection, right? And a part of the two parts of the two components of provision okay, are the right. emotional and financial aspects of it. So I'm, 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 I'm providing, then I got the. I'm going to I'm just say this one. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm serious right, to you. Right, right, right. Miss Lady T, I like conversation with you. All right. But think about this. Okay. So a man that's providing, mm-hmm. you know, he's not going to bite his tongue with you, right? Okay. So he gonna tell you how it is. Now a nigga that's broke, he'll let you get a lot, get away with a lot of shit. But that's not providing wait, 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 emotional support. That's not emotional support. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go and just rant. You know what I'm saying? So let me just cook a little bit. Go ahead. How your conversation don't make sense? Because guess what? That broke man probably offer you more emotional security. The nigga with the back. The nigga with the bag would be like, I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. This is what you're going to do. Hey, Logic, not only is he going to provide her emotional security, he's going to be her best friend. He's going to be there for her. He got time for her. He's going to hear her problems. He's going to be... <laughs> he's going to be all the way emotionally hey, secure hey, when it comes to making sure, sure that she's taking care of her. I'm not sure what type of woman y'all think. As long as she bring it out the hall, he's going to list everything she's <laughs> <laughs> hey, and he gonna make sure he give her that D all the time. He ain't got nothing but time on his hands, one hundred percent, bro. I mean, it's it's cute that y'all think that, but um, if y'all if y'all are speaking about me personally, I don't want a doormat. That doesn't provide you me can, with see. any kind of emotional security. I, I don't that man. I can't be the best version of myself with that. Like. I'm not evolving with that. I'm not growing with that. He can't elevate me because he can't elevate himself. Like I so wouldn't want to feel like need, I'm taking advantage of someone. He need huh? to be dip. He, basically what you're saying is you want to do with money. That's long story short. I need a dude that don't needs my that doesn't need my money. That's what I mean, I'm we saying. We can twist it up all, all we want, but real realistically, you saying you need to do it with a bag. Exactly. Or if you want immerse, uh, emotional secure nigga that going to cuddle you and, and tell you what you want to hear, go no. get it. Go, wait, she said, go she get said no. She, no, 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 no. Logic. She said no to him. Hey, look, I know a cashier right no now. Him. That hook my, my, bad chaotic. my bad, chaotic. Go ahead, bro. I got so used to a certain rhetoric, I guess. But no, that's not what I'm saying at all. Uh-uh. I got to say this. Chaotic. Go ahead. I, I got to say this, and I, I keep on saying it. The generation that we live in right now, it's 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 horrible and it's only gonna get worse. I used to teach special education and um I I used to hear this. Oh really? Yeah, I did. I used to I'm sorry, that was was accident, my bad. Um I used to hear the 16, 17 year old girl saying, I need a nigga who makes seven figures. And I used to say, Do you realize that the masses of people on the planet live in third world countries? And do you realize the country that you live in, which is the wealthiest country on the planet, the average man makes $50,000 a year. I said there was a time when I was a kid in your age, in the late 90s, that it was nothing like a man who just had a job. You know, a man was a, um, a, a like 
friend. He was a firefighter. He was a police officer, and he got respect. Now you hear so many women talking about this bag shit. It's, it, there's not that many men who aren't enough that, that, that can lay claim to that title in itself. And this is why a lot of women are single. I have associates, confederates, and people that I've known all my life, women who are pushing 40. Can you imagine this? Who are saying that they're going to get a nigga who play in the MLB, the NBA, the NFL. And I said, you're 40 years old and you're five foot tall and you don't, and you look like, and what I'm saying is that the, the level of competition is so great now for women, especially with social media, that you guys can't afford to have this mindset. You're going to have to marry the firefighter. You're going to have to marry the school principal. <laughs> I mean, it's just logic. These unicorns, these Floyd Mayweathers aren't readily available in the populace. And I, I I gotta say this, man. If anybody's young listening to this, man, listen, just look at reality for what it is now. There look at all the high rates of single households now. Do you think that just came from out of nowhere? It came from this social media culture where everybody thinks that they're gonna be millionaires and billionaires and dating them. No. And that's just not realistic, even in this day and age. It's just not. But I digress. Sorry for hogging a panel up, Lapi. Thank you guys. I'm gonna go on mute. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Cal. You safe here, brother. I just want to let you know that. You hadn't don't worry about none. Don't and, worry about none. And there are six figures. I mean, principals that are making six figures chaotic. I have some clients that make six figures that are principals. Oh, so, I know that, but a lot of women don't want the principles. So that's what I'm that well, what I'm saying is is that no, I well, no, I know principles. Guys, I'm not trying guys. We all know what the bag means. It ain't dating a principal. You you know what I meant. The bag for women now means I want to be with an entertainer or a millionaire. I, I have fraternity brothers who are principals, and I know how they make over six figures. But but women aren't after them for their hundred thousand dollar salaries. A lot of women want the men who make five hundred and over. That's what I was saying. Well, and this men insist on know. telling women what we want. I don't, because I don't it's our, it. because it's it's my divine right. It's my duty. We have mm -hmm. to. We shape and mold society. You don't. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem. The, the, the headphone on your ear. A woman didn't make that. A man made that. The car you have. The house you live in. Men made that. Yes, it is our duty to tell you what. It, yes, it is our duty. It's our no. duty to tell you how many pounds you weigh. It's our duty to tell you how you need to look. Oh, I don't understand why we. I don't understand why we've separated. <laughs> listen, listen. I grew up in a nuclear family. My friends grew up in nuclear families. There is a reason why black Americans in the past were married 30, 40 years. And now these attitudes and talking back when men are talking, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. This is just how it was. Yes, that's how, yes, a man should tell you how to look. A man should tell you what to do. We are the leaders. Say, women were willing to submit to those men because they were actually men. Yes, and they made the money. They, yes, and, they, I, and I make videos. Mm -hmm. They they were I'm sorry they were they were actually men they were masculine Courtney said the same thing. they yes. were dominant and not domineering yeah. okay so yeah. there's a difference between being <laughs> dominant mm -hmm. men yes. in a household that you feel safe and protected by like yes. Mena Mena said actually that's that makes a little sense now I mean not in the context that she used it in but they felt safe. What do you consider they, back in the day? I mean, my, me? my grand, oh, you see, yeah. No, I'm talking to T. Oh, okay. Um, back in the day, like my grandparents, like my grandparents mm -hmm. are, they were married for a very long time. Like my mom's parents, they were married. They were so in love. It was like gross. Like, well, until like when my grandfather passed away, like they were super in love. Like my grandmother, she, she still loves her husband. Still talk about her husband to this day. So I've seen, I've seen, you know, back in the day, like my grandparents, like, you know, whatever. Call it, I don't know, 40s to 70s. You know? See, I'm going to say this, T Lady. You don't know what you want. Chaotic back you in the wall. Just a minute ago, you wanted an emotional man. I, I, first of all, I didn't speak about anything that I want. Let me finish. Bro. I'm putting stuff in my work in my mouth, though. You did, not about to give me a narrative. Don't feed me your narrative. No, baby. Oh, you God. just said it. Like almost ten minutes ago, did she not say she want that man that want to do be all that emotional stuff? Hello, motherfucker. I said women. 
So I answered the question. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just making a point. Early, like, like maybe 10 minutes ago, she said she want a man to be emotional with her, to have this, um, to listen I to what want, she got to say. I said, I yeah, want, that's what I said. Emotional I want. safety? Yes. That, saying the saying. men, our grandparents didn't, our no, grandfathers wait, didn't provide wait, emotional Wait, Kayla, baby, Kayla, baby, I'm talking well, I'm to her. I'm asking. Is that no. what you're insinuating? No, I'm not insinuating. I'm telling you what she said out of you her mouth. Me what I yeah. said I want. I didn't, I, the to only time point. I spoke to my anecdotal yeah. experience okay, so, was when okay, I said wait, something listen, about listen, men. Listen. The whole you two heard you said earlier. So let me finish, right? Now you want a dominant man. Do you understand your you just unrealistic that I'm not you, talking that, about anything I want, sir. I'm okay, I'm answering well, the question you, generally speaking. Right, baby, listen what I'm saying. You know you can't have both of them. Why are you, you making men sound everybody. so basic? God damn, Kayla. I you just want to know. Why are you making men sound so basic that if they're if they are dominant in their household, that that means that they can't be emotionally relatable to their families? It's really no, ridiculous. I, I, I'm telling you, that just Crazy. like you, that just like me telling you, I want you to be dark skin and light skin at the same time. It ain't no, gonna happen. That is yes, stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> it ain't that gonna happen. That's accurate. fucking stupid. Okay. Hey, I don't know. Is this fucking? Is, I'm the only one that's thinking. This shit is insane. This lady it's won't. Crazy. <laughs> My father was very oh, okay. dominant and still very hey. emotionally available. Bro. You're tripping. No, but you know what you did? Everything chaotic. The truth said chaotic. Yeah, chaotic. Truth said you're displaying that shit right now. Every time no, I'm, I, not. I'm calling you out on your bullshit because you're using an analogy that don't even make sense. No, no, it ain't. That makes yeah, sense. it doesn't make sense. Look at it, she said she wanted emotional man, and now she wants. I never. I said you, you asked you what provider man was. is being masculine. That means that he cannot emotionally relate to his woman and his family. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Period. So y'all don't think that, just to be frank, that the men of yesteryear was really some simps and some bitches. Like in real life, like that, that's where that whole narrative of happy wife, happy life came from. These dudes was miserable. And I'm not talking about your grandparents specifically because I don't know your grandparents. But the men, the, the families of yesteryear failed us. They lied to us. They gave us all of this presentation of what they thought it was. In reality, they were suffering behind closed doors and they was just enduring through each other. They didn't even sleep in the same bedrooms half of them the majority of the times. Oh, my grandparents did. Listen, you keep using, you keep saying don't use your anecdotal experience, but then you keep using anecdotal experience. Picking, picking which, which one you want to grow with. You want to talk about That's the general public, or you want to talk about your specific situation. Which one you want to deal with? She want a nigga with long hair. Cause see, let, okay, let, let, let's keep it long. You want a nigga with long hair That's and a nigga with short hair. She want a tall nigga <laughs> and a short nigga. Yeah. You want a goddamn. A, 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 a nigga that's buff and a nigga that's goddamn fat. She won't oh, all. And y'all want a nigga, y'all want a woman that's bad no, and one that cooks and cleans. Oh, this is y'all want a nigga one that cooks all night and one that doesn't do shit. Like they want a nun and a hoe. Y'all want her to be bad as fuck, but then be in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. Y'all want y'all want that same want shit. A city girl, same yes, shit. And you want her to swing across the pool, <laughs> and then you want her to wear cover from the head to toe. Like, like a good looking woman. Yes, a good looking woman can't cook and clean. No, nobody want that. Hey, hey, nobody be wanting them BBLs. Y'all niggas want to get that shit. Nobody right. want that long flowing weave. You right. niggas choose that's to get a, that that's shit. A right. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. All niggas, the niggas, all the niggas, yes, all the niggas, all the niggas ask you to do. Honestly, and, and, you damn, totally I, took I, I what I said and flipped it. Y'all trying to make me think like I was. Yeah, we over talking. Yeah, we over talking, 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 talking y'all. They can't hear us. They can't hear us. No, because she she keep interrupting me. You just let her every time I say. All right. Hey, I'm not the moderator, man. Y'all keep y'all keep coming to me. Logic over there. Everybody grown. Everybody grown. Everybody grown. You gotta switch logic. Y'all y'all check we're, yourselves. We're, the, reality is, the reality is that again, if you ask all a bunch of women, they're gonna give a bunch of different answers, but they're gonna move the same around a certain type of dude. They don't know what they want, bro. Realistically, women don't know what they want, and they honestly, in a lot of ways. And this is not insulting. This is just the truth. They're like children. They are to be continuously molded. They are to be continuously embraced, taught, protected, loved. All of those different things are the same things that you have to do with children 
as they continue to grow. And even with women, they have to stay under your covering. And that's why until they get passed on to whoever it is that their husband is going to be, because they need that covering. They are literally like children. And if you let children feed themselves, they're going to pick a bunch of bad stuff that's for them, but they don't necessarily know what's, what's good for them in the first place. So, you you know, you take it into consideration because they do have some insight and there are some things that they can add that's valuable as far as giving insight into what it is that's best for the relationship. But in reality, you know, and, I, and I'm not saying that all men know what's best, but in reality, there are certain men that have to be lording over women because if... They don't know what they want. They don't know what's best for them. Yeah, all we got to do is listen to Miss T talk. She'll tell you goddamn 10 different versions of niggas she want. I'm going to need you to stop. The man okay, because first of all, Walmart. what I said <laughs> earlier, the only anecdotal experiences that I've spoken to thus far are my grandparents and me dating a dude that wasn't making the most money. Everything else was general. Okay. Uh, so, no, you said you want a broke, you want a rich nigga with broke nigga. I accent. never said I wanted anything. <laughs> I have not spoken no, to anything no, that I want. No, but watch it. I, I, see, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to talk to you, baby. Come look, on. look, I like you. Talk oh, to God. me. Don't talk at me. Don't I, tell I, me I, what I, I'm saying. You. Ask me what I'm saying. Right, baby, if you need listen, clarity, listen, I'm so happy to give listen, it to you. Listen, don't listen, tell me what I'm listen, saying. Listen. Okay, listen. This is what it is, right? You will never find a rich man with broke nigga attributes. And you'll never find a broke nigga with rich nigga attributes. You got to be on one side. You got to choose what you want. If you take the rich man, it's certain attributes that you had with the goddamn nigga that was working at the gas station <laughs> that this dude ain't going to put up with. This dude ain't going to put up with you. You yelling, you going through your... Oh, my God. Saying, in general, not to you. He's not going to speak. He's not going to put up with you yelling and hollering. You know what I'm saying? Your ass going to hit the door. But watch this. But he can provide for you. Now, that broke nigga, on the other hand, he'll let you yell at him. He'll let you scream at him. He'll let you throw the PlayStation around. He'll let you cut the light switch off on him. He'll got them. He'll, he'll, he'll let you got them not get away with not cooking. He'll let you do all that stuff. But guess what he's not going to do? He's not going to provide for you. So what I'm telling you, you Later. got to ain't no fucking in between, <laughs> and that's the problem. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Are you yeah. done? Can... You done? You finish? Are you finish? Hey, hold you on. Let me then let's do it like this. Hey, hey, uh, Lady T Mogulet, um, what would you like? What What is it that you're requesting from a a gentleman that may walk into your life? Oh, so me personally. Yes, ma'am. I want a man of integrity. I want a man that's self actualized. I want a man that's purpose driven. I want a man that is enterprising. He's ambitious. You know, he he knows like what he wants from me. Like he's emotionally intelligent. He has conflict resolution skills. Um, he can communicate. Look at look at Rilla. Effectively. <laughs> like, yeah. Courtney, why are you thing. laughing? <laughs> That's what I want personally. Hey, hey, from I, a think man. Man. I think you need. Courtney, to why are you laughing? Yeah, right. Why are you laughing, Courtney? I said that was that was a bibliography. Of <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted. So I told them what I wanted. Stuff in there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what self actualizing is. I have no, no you clue. Know, self you you seem like you're self aware. Self aware. A man that. <laughs> A man that actually has done the work. A self. A man that's grounded in himself. Knows who is he the is. the top of the Maslow's he hierarchy. Pyramid. So basically, you want rich Jesus. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about rich. Rich Jesus. Hey, that's a dope rapper name. Y'all Jesus. Rich Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna adopt that. Use. No, I'm taking that name. I'm, 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 I'm rich Jesus. No. No. You could be rich Jesus. I'm gonna be rich Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lady Mogul, can I ask you a question? Sure. Oh. So you gave a resume as, and you expect a certain CV from men. That's fine. I didn't say I, I expect. He asked what I wanted, though. 
absolutely. But I have a question for you. <clears throat> are you domestic? Are you and, uh, and also are you conservative? Come on. I'm fairly conservative, yeah. I beg your pardon? I'm fairly conservative, yeah. Okay. Now if you had a choice between listening to Anita Baker or uh City Girls, which one are you listening to? Anita Baker all day. That's my so, birthday plan. Yep. So if there's any young people in the chat that are listening, this is the type of woman. If she's listening to City Girls, Cardi B, uh, Meg the uh, Horse, whatever she wants to call herself, then no. But thank you. Thank you so much for just answering those questions. Family, come on, bro. Did you, did you really just fall for that? He's so wack, yo. See, and this Kay, is what I'm talking about. Did you about just Kay, fall for the uh, option, bang? What do you mean? She's she gave you the right answer. Oh yeah, yeah. What else would I kind I kind of felt that well I, with the last sentence or two when she was talking, I realized okay, she has a lot of sense and she is what a lot of black women should be. Now, did you hear what Kayla said? Kayla said, oh, I'm whack you. and I'm this, that, and the other. See, you this are. is the kind of woman that men should avoid. Uh cursing, blah, blah, blah. vulgar. <laughs> this is the kind of woman that I have alone. I'm just Kayla. Kayla. This is the one that I avoid. Well, when I wasn't married, avoid if he's married, why he worried about what the fuck I got going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever yeah. you say. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kayla. Kayla. Get hey, ready Kayla. for those cats, Kayla. Oh, hey, Kayla, Kayla, I got a question, cat. Kayla. No, 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 Kayla, I got a question for you, honestly. Yes. Um, If Chaotic was single and he approached you, what would you no. say to him? No. You would say no immediately? No. Why? Kayla. No. Oh, Chaotic, this is not for you. This is for Kayla. Oh, sorry, I go on mute. Kayla, Kayla, why would you say no? Because no. That's it? Yeah, I don't really owe you an explanation. It's well, no, I'm asking because I want insight into like what women want that's, that may be dating today, right? Um, I don't want that. I don't want Dang. any parts of that. <laughs> I just feel like all of that makes me nauseous and I like to feel good <laughs> and I like to feel happy. You know what I'm saying? So men that treat women <laughs> that way. Is how does he treat? Weird. How does he treat women in your opinion? Like just the way that he's speaking to women that like women have no purpose as human beings other than whatever the, what it, their proximity to men is just I just don't agree with that like like that rhetoric. So it'll never work. And no. <laughs> Logic, uh, I don't know what that is, man. Hey, wait, you don't Kayla, think that he's self actualizing, that? Kayla? Huh? You don't think that he's self actualizing? Um, not really, but I also think he lives in his little bubble. I genuinely think that, like, what he thinks, there are people around him that champion that. And I think his wife is on the same page as that. So, like, he feels very comfortable in that because he has people around him. I mean, there are all types of rooms of organizations of people that like talk crazy about all different types of subjects and there's other people in there with them that agree so they really feel like they be doing something because they be talking to other people that be like yeah but then i'll be like do they really believe the shit that's coming out of their mouth because i'm think i'm like that shit sounds crazy but they really think it's fire so you gotta let them live and let them do that shit please? with them people over response? there away from me can i give a response <laughs> If you this could keep it in exactly, two seconds. Yes, this is exactly why the black community One, is in the state that it's in. Two. I just want to say it's in the state that it is in because you said when you came on, oh, this is what happens when I come on black panels. Yeah. Any respect I have for you is gone. Yeah. So well, I mean, well, you, 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 you support really the white man just as much as I do. You support the white man just as much as I do, Kayla. So stop. Let's stop right there. You're no, in the white man's you don't car. You know me, so you should. You're in the white man's car. You're in the white man's country. You speak the white man's language. I spoke on something you said on this panel. You are in the white man's car right now. Is that a Nigerian car? No. No. No, nope. you don't know. What is that, a BMW? Like That's if you a have German something car. to say about something I you said, you the white man, Kayla. Stop. Then you can don't, say don't that. Me like, don't play me like I'm some other time. You support the white man. This is what I do. You got the white man clothes on. You got his hair on. Stop it. Not, not what? I'm actually wearing black on right now. That's black on hell? <laughs> yeah, actually, is this a, is. Is that a black on car? This is actually, this is a black on business. It's called Crown K. You can look it up on Instagram. No, no. It's it, a it, black it, woman. It, it, Show the steering wheel. It, it, I bet you that in a black car. That, that wheel hell. I don't give a fuck. I wear all kinds of hair. There's nothing you can say about no, 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 Q, I'm gonna need some hair for you. I look good, and that's why you always saying shit. I'm gonna need some hair for you. Why y'all talking about hair? 
This is insane. You want Malaysian hair, Malaysian? You want Ethiopian? Brazilian, what type of brand? I got them all. Hey, hey uh, give me some of that Bruno Mars. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got all of them. Yo, I got all of them. Yo, all my looks yo, are fire. Yeah. Yo, you let her get away with saying crazy shit. She said she got a let, black. I'm old. not the moderator. Let me. Real is the moderator. Y'all keep talking. How let her get away with anything? Black. Don't really stop this. Let me because I got you. Just unless you look like K. K. It's no such thing as a black on wig. It came what? from the <laughs> What are you talking about? There are a lot of hair companies are owned by white and Chinese people. This I don't care who owns it. I just need that Bruno Wait, Mars. Wait, time out. Mr. Logic, That's when I cut up. my hair, exactly. when I hold on really quickly though, when I did cut my hair back in 2016 and donated it, the, the wig that was made from my hair was a black wig. So I'm just saying. And my hair used to be down to my waist. So Girl, that's the whole... Some I know they got a perm. Yeah. Cut this shit, man. This is crazy. I didn't, uh, what perm? I, I, don't, I, don't have perm. I have no perm. I actually donated my hair to Locks of Love so a baby could get a wig. A baby that was going through cancer treatments could get a wig. Polo, you got to breathe, man. Oh. You got to breathe, Polo. Polo. Hey, no. if, if, if JR can get that, yeah. I'll take, take that Matt Burns. I got, I got y'all. I take some. And then, and then I'm gonna give Rilla a real beard. So it's I got so crazy. Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> <all that. laughs> it always comes back to that. It's dark and tonight, but it always comes back to like judgment of you, a woman's appearance you. or something stupid. You my when beard. You feel like you know, when you feel like a woman's not agreeing with what you have to say. That's what it always comes comes down to. When the four of y'all look like the same nigga every show. I don't know what. Y'all really be talking about when y'all oh, no. how, how get involved in this? <laughs> I thought I was safe. <laughs> out of, out of all people, I thought I was a safe one here. I'm just get saying. Get him, oh, dude. Hey, Kayla is I'm punching now. I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm just saying. The, the last thing that logic should we be look like the same person. <laughs> he can't even get a girl to cook every fucking ass. show. He can't even get a girl you to cook his ass. You trash every show. One day you'll have some fucking got the answer. One day you'll have some fucking Every night. Still can't get a bitch to know his program. Transformer. What is it going to take? This is fucking crazy. Kayla, do you mind if I say something real quick? No, she no, a transformer. I don't buy. Oh my god! No. Okay. I don't want okay, to hear nothing else from you. You can okay, talk to the other ladies, though. Okay, that's fine. Well, never mind. Never mind. I was going mute. Sorry. Even better. Okay, Adam, right, what were you about to say? What is going I was on? Just gonna, I was just going to tell Kayla that Kayla, there are eight billion women on the planet, and you do not have. Wait, the wait, wait. Are you talking to me? Okay. Okay. Why I won't talk. I won't. I won't use your name. Yeah. Just say. Sure there aren't okay. eight million women. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be really quick, Tula Peef. <clears throat> Again, uh, ladies, if you are between the ages of 18 and 22, you have to realize this: a 30 year old woman uh, with an attitude that has lip is 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 a it's a recipe for a disaster. And women oh. like this are going to be cat ladies when they're 40, 50, and 60. Oh, no no man in his oh right God. mind could put up they're with They're going to be cat ladies. Yeah. Hold on, time out, ladies. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Chaotic. How yes, old yes, are you? Ma'am, I am 37 years old. And you're targeting women between no. 18 and 22. No, 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 really no, no. He, has, he has all the answers. He sway. He no, I don't I'm just saying. no, I don't have any answers. What I'm saying is That's that younger, younger women are looking up to you ladies on the panel. And what they're seeing is Kayla, who's using vulgar language at the vulgar language. You'll be okay. There are five women. Oh, I'm, I'm okay because I'm not a woman. I'm a man. I'm divine. Just like every man on the panel is. We are divine and we run and the world. You're not weird you. as hell. And what actually. I'm trying to say, again, what I'm trying to say is that women at I your age, you are competing with younger females and your attitude is not cute right now. It's just not. I really don't care what you think. Okay, the well, attitude that's you fine. should that's care totally about fine. is your I'm trying to save the younger women from not continuing. You are not saving anybody. Hold on, Kayla. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. I just want to ask you. Hold on, Kayla. Let me ask this guy. Chaotic. The only what way you makes can save you divine? Is your wife. Hold on, Kayla. Let me ask him. I'm curious. What makes you divine, sir? Okay, guys. The young lady asked me a question. Miss IG lady, 
what makes me divine is God. <laughs> so, it's actually P the goddess. That's what I'm known as. Yeah, well, here goes go the You asked me a question. I would like to answer your question without any interruption. No men are okay. divine because no, God. Wanna, makes... I'm asking about you. I'm sorry, not men. I want to know what okay. makes you okay. divine. I am divine, ma'am, because I am a man. Men, I create, I build. I'm a part of, of the best. I am part. I'm a part of the male gender. We maintain this planet. We do everything to make this planet go in order. Women do not. You are. You are supposed to be led that is what is in nature so it's not me just being misogynistic like you guys think it's not like kayla kayla thinks i'm a part of the red pill community because i'm not i'm just going by god's order himself this is how it's supposed to every society wait a minute i have the people agents of chaos cannot be divine they call on real don't call on me hold on really finish please yes leave me alone can you ladies on the panel be sweet, full of shit. can be sweet and polite like white women can be? Now, here goes the thing. Holy. Okay, I'm going to go on mute. Because you guys obviously don't want to hear what I have to say. I'm going to go on mute. No, we don't. No, yeah. I'm going to go on mute. This is black crazy. Women and talk about no, it's not white crazy. women. It's, the, it's true. Don't try to berate us. No. Is your wife a white woman? I'm not berating you. Your wife a white woman? This this? Again, my wife is black, Wait, and I'm trying to right, say so that. Why are really? you up really? in the so Jewish hard. community, and in, in, in the Jewish community, and the white community, and the Asian community, the white woman, the Asian woman, the Jewish women are led. They don't back oh talk the way that when black How women. How you know do. you're not in that community, ma'am? I live around. Ma'am, I've been over there. With... I know you want to be over there, but you're not. So, ma'am, you, ma'am please stop with this mm. Uncle Ruckus talk because they you are just a part of the white there. community as I am. We don't want you, you have the white man, You're in the white man's car right, right now, ma'am. No African built. Right. You're not in the African built car. Stop. I have I have a question for what? you. I Harry. wish I could answer your question, Courtney, but this girl, believe me, keeps cutting me off. I'm just trying to, be, I'm tr I'm trying to engage. Hold on, y'all. Let Courtney go ahead. Go ahead, Courtney. Go ahead, Courtney. <laughs> so what? Because I I was going to actually ask the question that T did to you. Yes. So what what is your definition of being um, divine? Divine or divinity is the notion that we can create. That's what men do. Men, That's not the definition. Okay, well, how about this, Courtney? You asked me a question, and if I can't give my definition, then why don't you answer it for me then? And, and I, I'll go on mute because <laughs> obviously you don't want to hear what I have to say. You asked me what makes me divine. I'm telling you, I am divine because I am a man. Men create. Look at look outside the house you live in, the car you drive. Everything mm -hmm. about the society is created by men. Men have always created. And the fact is that a lot of men become simps because you lose your divinity. I know my place in existence because I can change at any moment. Women cannot. That's why it is best that you're 22, 23 when you're married. So you can age in your relationships. Uh, the problem with a person like Kayla is that she doesn't realize her place in nature. She's 30 years old. Okay. And she thinks she well, is wanna... a goddess. And she's okay. not. She's competing with so I'm, I'm going to. But, okay, but, so this isn't about. Hold on. Hold on, this, hold on Lodge, this like, uh, isn't Courtney. About her. And, uh, so, yeah. again, okay. What's. So, Stop you just. Speaking you just on me. Made, hold on, Kayla. Made, Don't okay. Don't speak so, on me. All right. Thank you. So, divine or divinity does not mean that so you just made yes it does yes it does hold on hold on logic logic, logic. Hey, she lied though okay but well, you gotta let her finish you gotta let her finish right, but you know what she said is a lie he was absolute right okay okay all right i'm gonna come to you Lodge. i got you go ahead miss courtney michelle okay all right so if you look up divine what it means is to be of or like a god now look up god and it said creator Creator of all, right? Okay, so, so what do you not, think you're not. So, do you think you're God? In the Bible itself, it literally says, uh, uh, no, "We're going to make man in the image of me." It does it not no, say that in Genesis. Show me a man I, that could create thinking. anything without a woman. Please do. Please, man, no. just because you got this thing that that we have creator. the fertile ground. You cannot do oh, anything. The fertile ground a woman. exists in me. You listen. The fertile ground exists in men. Not listen. Just because you give birth does not mean that you are a creator. Yes, okay. creation. So, all right. So let's just take your turn. Okay, created. <sighs> so I'm asking you as a man, have you built a house? No, Courtney, I have not built a house. Have you built a car? I have not built a car, no. Have you built anything 
infrastructural in the world? Yes, my dad. Um, you. Was in the, yes, I was going to try to answer your question. Uh, yes, my dad taught me how to uh, lay brick, cut stone, uh, roofing. Um, what else have we done? I built a deck with my dad before, and I built my own deck before. Yes, I've, I've built before. Now, now I'm not a I'm not a master craftsman. If you're asking me that, no, I'm not. But that's not your place okay. in existence. You're not supposed to be a builder. I didn't, I didn't even say though that. even though you probably can, but you're not supposed. I didn't, to. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, Corey. I didn't say that. So I, I guess in essence, what I'm asking is, what have you created? <sighs> Again, Courtney. Um, I am a man. I am divine just based okay. off my gender. So, and I don't know what you're trying to ask. Nut sack full of energy. <laughs> they move it around in that motherfucker. That is God. <laughs> when we have ovary full of eggs, so uh, that's also and when they spill on somebody's couch. They you need a woman. Relax. Breathe, Polo. Go get that DoorDash, Polo. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Yeah. And I'm going to get my food. Fuck this. I cannot. Okay. I can't. So, again, I'm asking you what you created. So, since men are divine because they create, and if you are a man, then you must have created something. So, I'm asking you. Can I ask you your question? You can I ask your question? Yes. Again, again, I was taught by my father how to build certain things. Now, I am not a master craftsman. But in the advent of, let's just say, a societal, a societal collapse, I would be able to build along with other men. Listen, they have literally put women and men on islands in these TV shows, and the women don't know how to do anything. Men do. So given the opportunity, I will be able to build. The same thing with every other man on the panel. The same thing with the men listening. There's nothing wrong with just admitting that. The fact is, is that when you go to Dubai, when you go to Singapore, those skyscrapers are not built by women. Yes, I didn't, I didn't take place in doing it. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead, Courtney. They were built by men, but they weren't built by you. No, they were not. But I, trust me, I am. Just, I'm. I'm also. Because, I'm in, you, because you don't know how to build those things. I do not things. know how to build a skyscraper, but I bet you this: I would learn how to do it, and I would risk my life on for, on the forty seventh floor of building it. You would not, and no man would want you to be up there doing it because it is not your place. That's what it is. It's nothing wrong with just. It, I don't understand what is so wrong with being a feminine woman that's what no makes is, feminine. feminine no one is saying anything wrong with that i'm asking specifics about you yes i'm answering your question no i have not built a skyscraper i have not built a home but i would build it better than you and i would be i would risk my body to build it you would not that's and that's a, those are facts Courtney. you weigh 110 20 pounds you're not going to risk your body to build anything you don't have the strength to do it oh, i yeah. do <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> and nobody will well, no. This is like a toddler. Courtney, Courtney, God made your hand. He thick over here. Why did I make your tiny hands to do that? It's nothing wrong with <laughs> catering to men. I don't understand. Am I talking crazy here? Nobody wants to see yes, a delicate you are woman. Speaking no, crazy. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lapeep. Sorry, I, I'm I'm over talking. I'm sorry. I think no, you're talking. You're not I think you're talking. Crazy. I don't. I, I would never want no, my daughter to work in construction. Why would I, honey? You don't have to. That's work a in man's job. I'm going to take care exactly. of you. Exactly. Yeah, right. It's a man's job. I get what it you're is. This one was crazy though, exactly. right? And 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 I and I keep it straight down the middle, right? Courtney, keep it funky, logic. I'm keeping it funky, Courtney. Hey, I was with you earlier, but you was absolutely wrong. He described the the definition of the uh the definition correct. And then you was triggered by it because now, but you'll call this this lady call herself a goddess on the panel. Ain't nobody saying that about the goddess. And then on the other concept, no, your your eggs is not life, baby. I'm sorry. It, you want to? I'm gonna just be honest with you. Where eggs actually is, is just a fucking nest. That's it. What? No, not, wait, wait, I'm hold just... on. Let me finish. Let me finish. I let you cook. So the thing is. Is nobody downplaying it, but if you bring it in a conversation, then we gonna stand correct with it. Y'all, y'all women, he made sense. Ain't no women out here doing that stuff, and, and we know it. Just like women can't be on the front line and doing that because everybody, I would have to pick up the slack for their ass. What uh, the women that he elevates are helping him so to do those I'll, things. I'll, I'll respond. 
Can I, I please want... finish? Can I please finish? All right, go ahead. Right. Thank right. you. My bad. The thing is, is we have to understand our roles. Now, the, and it's insane that a woman get triggered by a man identifying men role. Ain't nobody out here trying to nourish no baby. Ain't nobody trying to. You don't see no man trying to stick a goddamn titty in somebody's mouth. <laughs> we, that. we accept what y'all do and we fine with it. See, this crazy part, y'all want to be men. Okay. And it's wanna... Well, if you're done, uh, I'm I'm not triggered. Oh. Asking a question is not triggering. Mm -mm. It's clarification. And when I talk about divinity I, and someone or something being divine, it's a deity. And I think of it as God. I do not think men are gods. I do not think women are gods. I think God is a supreme being that we men and women worship. Mm -hmm. So that's when I asked about it being divine because I wanted his definition of it because it's not. He it's gave it to you. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on, Logic. Hold on, hold on, chaotic. What I will say is this, Courtney. There's a concept of imago day, image of God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Image of God. Mm -hmm. And there is a correlation. What he's saying. So I and, and I get it. We might not necessarily agree with the delivery, but in part, what he's saying, we are co-creators with God. We're not God all by ourselves. We're not supreme being, but even in the scripture. It records, are you are ye not God? I think it's in Psalms. It says are um, 82 and 6. And it's, yep. And it's, and it's lowercase g. Mm -hmm. So I may not agree in to in total with how um chaotic is using it, but in part he's right. The the Imago Day part of it, the image of God part of it, he's 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 correct in that. Well. Okay. Well, yeah, we're made in the image of God, but being the image is not a God. But so a God created is in creator. God's likeness, though. It's a creator. I mean, I don't know why would you just you just yeah, can't well, well, that. Because, I just said, and listen, I just well, said God now, is more than just to move creator. on, and we can agree that we're co-creators with God. Do we agree with that? That we're <laughs> co-creators. For those I of us that believe that. in that type of thing, for those of us who believe that we are Christians and we serve. Almighty God, Yahweh, Yeshua, Jehovah, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, co-creators with You're God. Co-creators with God. No, no, no. You, oh, well, logic. I don't no. even know what you believe, man. Get out of here. Well, I don't. Okay. I, no, we, 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 God, we, we, we stay, God also if saves. We're dealing, if we're dealing with creators, and then He made an excellent point. Look, your body is not designed. Wait, wait, hold up. Your body is not designed like mine. I can do way more than you just by the construction of my body. Mm -hmm. the, got the bone density in my hands. You are not a man and you never will be. But that's fine. I don't think I will never be a woman. No, one no one's disagreeing with you, Logic, and no one said that. I was just talking about the word divine. No one is triggered. Right. And for me, God is more than a creator. He's also a savior. He's also who I pray to and who I worship. He's also someone that I'm looking for in afterlife who I plan to see. So God is more, that's, he's more than me. I worship God. Yeah, but that's your personal feelings. But at the end of the day, his, his the, how he used the word was correct. You said that wasn't the definition. But, but that's, that's, that's the perspective. Not the definition. That, that he used, he Look used his him. own Look perspective him. to give a definition. No, and and, and, and hey, 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 hi, hi, I'm speaking now. Can you hear my feminine voice not wanting to no, scream well, over I, you because you just finished feminine, though. I just, you said what? Your energy ain't feminine. Just because you my energy is not feminine because I'm not agreeing with what you're saying. I'm Baby, not screaming you at you. I'm not being it. disrespectful. You I let you speak. Agree with a definition. I guess yeah, that he didn't give a definition. He gave his perspective. Now, what I will say is, <laughs> I agree that there are things that men are are made, you know, more better equipped to do here on earth. It is you're in their role to handle certain things right there are certain things that y'all do better than us absolutely because you guys were physically built that way however those are not things that those are not 
the only thing that make a man divine. I asked what divine was because he's he threw that word around so many times tonight. A divine man does not need to be domineering. A divine man does not need to be, be misogynistic. His presence commands a certain level of respect from the divine within women. So as far as all that other rhetoric like you're you're not going you're not gonna have to deal with certain things when you're a divine man all he said was divine and he said because he creates we that's, all create that, that's, we're all creators said, that's all he said and Courtney said he was incorrect i don't know what you you need to goddamn reprogram hold up trucker 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 that trucker head said neither you need to reprogram that bitch <laughs> Roger over, shh, shh, shh. Roger, because I you can't hear You've had better jokes, Mister Divine. You've had you, way better you. jokes. You missed right. this. Let's do better. Can I say something real quick? All right, go ahead. Uh, right. Close us out on this. We move on. The only thing Please. that men require for women to create is a sandwich, and and I'm not trying to be funny, <laughs> but that's just the truth. Listen, you don't know how no, far no, no, that no, can go. No, Listen, I, I was dating a girl a long time ago, and it was the first time I was ever at her house. She said, sweetheart, can you uh, touch up the green outside, meaning cut her grass, do the bush? I said, sure, why not? When she bought me some water, it was a hot day. When she bought me some water and a wait, salad. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You cut the girl grass? I did. I, I, well, I did, well I, I like doing landscaping. I, I don't know why. And he called no, 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 no. He said he like it. No. Don't do it. No. No, no, bro. You no, telling me you went and got the? I want to hear about this sandwich. I like. I, I like sandwich. You love his sandwich. It was. Bro, 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 Woman, she. You went over her house and she asked you to touch up her lawn. She. Listen, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we had already mm -hmm. slept together. I ain't never come to the thing. Uh, don't qualify. <laughs> oh, I like that. that. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. Said, yeah, she said, honey, can you do my yard? And I said, sure, why not? And so when she bought me a sandwich, you do not understand this how simple. Symbolic that is. That means that I care I about mean, you. Fucking cut her grass, bro. She what better. You, 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 you were it, it was, Hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, bro. Did you line? Did you? Did, <laughs> did you line it up? Too? Of course. I mean, I mean, you oh, so you edged it. Yeah, yeah. You he was edging. You, you he edged it. You with the grass what hanging on? The grass outside or the grass below? Man, fuck that grass. <laughs> that nigga talking about this sandwich. Hey, was no, it on no. one bread or was it on a croissant? Dog, I'm not. No, no, hold on, bro. 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 Turkey. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Hold on one second. Hey, JR. Hey, 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 JR. You cutting grass, bro? There's an. I ain't never cut nobody grass. I like that. Yeah, I like it's that. Like grass. I would cut the whole thing. Cut the grass. But there was the line, man. There, I'm a simp. I'm a beta. I'm cutting your grass. I'm cutting your grass. I'm going to cut your grandma grass. <laughs> But there's a level of respect there, and we were working together. And that sandwich was all I cared for her to create. That's it. And that meant bro, everything. Bro, you cut her oh, grass, boy. though. Bruh. Damn, bruh. Yeah. You don't think that that was a bit much? Well, again, I like uh, doing landscape, but that was years ago. But <laughs> like what I'm, what I'm, what the moral of the story is is that the only thing that a woman should create is a sandwich. Nah, you hold that line. Things like that will you make your that man happy. Uh -huh. Bruh. <laughs> All right, uh, bless it be yeah. the fruit. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. If you guys are just tuning in, if you guys are just tuning in, welcome to La Peef Let's Talk. Make sure you guys get them likes up. Uh, I need everybody to mute up real quick. Everybody mute up. It's uh, time to recognize the sponsors. If you guys missed out, don't worry, we got one more Thursday before the month is out. Let's take a moment to recognize the sponsor at this time. Shout out to the sponsor, Security Boss. Let's go. Damn. Hello, this is Security Boss. Listen, guys, I'm coming to you with something new and very exciting. It's called I Choose You. Yes, it's a new dating show, and we want all of you to get excited about it. Yes, it is a dating show. It's going to be a virtual dating show. We want all you bachelors and your bachelorettes to get excited about it. So stay tuned. 
for I choose you. Driving around in California Looking for something to make me stay Round and round forever searching For something I could never get replaced Shout out to the sponsor, uh, Security Boss. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. All right, let's get back to the program. You guys good? What what the hell did she jump out of? I ain't no car fanatic. I'm just curious. What did she jump out of, Logic? That's a, C, that's a C8 Corvette. Jesus. Security <laughs> Boss stunning on y'all. Nigga, man. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Uh, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate you guys for coming in to like people. Let's talk for the support. Again, that link is pinned to the top right there for your tickets. We got a limited amount of tickets that are left. If you have purchased tickets already, make sure you guys monitor your emails for updates. That is where you guys will know where to go and what's happening for the weekend. Only via email. So just make sure you monitor that. All right. Let's move into the meat of the topic. Meat of the topics. That meat Uh is the black community divided. Is the black community divided? I'm just speaking in general. Like, what are you guys thoughts about it? Um, let me see who I'm gonna go with. Everybody, stay alert and attentive. Um, focus at the hand at task. Let me go Let's first. Let me go okay, first. go ahead, real. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Hell oh, yeah, we divided, man. And I think it's sad too, man. I think it's sad that in this day, um, you know, I was watching Broken Dusty last night. And um, I just think it's sad, man, even even tonight with having chaotic on the on, on the panel. I think um, it's good to have different perspectives and be able to hear different insights and, uh, you know, people's anecdotal experiences. Right. And then but but the, the challenge is that. We think we all have to move in the same direction. And I love what Killer Mike said one time, and I repeat this all the time, is that, you know, one come in, they flank from the right, you flank from the left, I come up from the rear, but we all get there together. So I think it's sad that people are so liberal that they can't respect what conservatives are saying. And people are so conservative that they can't respect what liberals are saying. Instead of just hearing an argument on both sides and then advocating in your best interest. Because we being played at all... on all sides of it will be in play. And it's one of the things that keep us divided. I listened to, I think it was eight men on the panel last night, <laughs> eight men on the panel. And then, you know, I, I was, I was, I was sitting, I was watching. I was like, damn, I, I get it. When the sister say, this is what y'all want us to follow. Right. We divided because one person said, everybody wants to lead. Nobody wants to follow. And I try and position myself as a stand-up soldier, as the example of a soldier, right? I don't, I don't sit up here and say, "Hey, everybody, follow my lead." Every, hey, everything I'm saying is right. Woo, woo. When I see, when I get new information, I submit under that authority because I know what it is to be under authority. It don't make me less of a man to submit under authority of another man. It's one of the reasons why we remain divided as a community. Too many in too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Too many chiefs. And we can't, we can't. Okay, I disagree with you on that. I disagree with you on that. Well, here are the things that we do agree on. Let's advance the cause to get us to some place of reckoning based on that. And it's just sad. In 2022, all the advancements that we had, all the technology, all the ways that we have to bring us together. Man, I probably wouldn't have never met logic in Atlanta. Right, that brother in DC now, but now through this 
type of technology, we could come together and exchange ideas. I don't have the time. I think at one point last night, Logic was like, hey, fuck all that. That's why I keep saying that, Logic. And he'd be like, fuck all that. Let's get to the solution. Let's get to the point. Because we don't have time to waste on minute points. That's what we keep doing. And then we stay divided. And then we wonder why other communities and other people are advancing. Why other people could come in and hijack our narrative and our causes and get our benefit. Things that are supposed to be for us. Right? Because nobody, nobody wants to sit up there and say, you know what? I'm going to fall back like a small back. I don't agree with you on that. Like, I don't agree with, I don't agree with Trump on everything. But the shit that he did, like, come on. We, I, can't, I can't say he didn't do nothing, fam. Can't say he didn't do nothing. I can't say I'm going to ignore rappers praising him for 30 years. Then when he become president, oh, Trump bad guy. I got to look at what he did do while he was in office. I can't knock that, man. And we so divided. We, we so quick to castrate somebody like, like Anton. I don't agree with everything Anton say all the time. But the shit I do agree with, God, dog, man. That's the foundation. That's the basics. And salute to the ladies, man. Y'all been holding it down. Like, I ain't, I ain't going to even lie. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'll be in my big coochie, beta simp energy, whole stud all day. <laughs> Ladies been holding it down though. Nope, now, now you're lying. Listen, you lying. don't be a host. Listen, 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 listen. listen. When you done bumping your gums because at the end of the day, this is about us men getting together and do the things that we need to do. I don't give a fuck about unruly women. I don't have that problem. If you got I don't care. Woman, I feel bad for you. I don't care. I got a good woman. I've been on here for a year now giving y'all game. If you ain't picked that shit up by now, I'm sorry for you. Real spill. Anton been doing this shit for eight, nine years, 10, 11, 12, how many? 50, 11 years, whatever. You ain't got that shit by now, fam. We got to advance, man. We were sitting up here arguing two weeks ago over Ralph Lauren doing a, a polo deal uh, with Morehouse and Spellman. The <laughs> fuck? Why is we arguing over that shit? Tired of this shit. Fuck all that. Wait, wasn't you arguing though, Rilla? Yes, he was. Yeah, how you gonna say yeah, that? Was you know, I, was arguing. I was arguing because I was sitting up there saying, when is enough enough for us? What right. do we want? See, here's the difference. Here's the deal, uh, Q. Yeah, I was arguing. I was I was sitting up here debating with people that were shooting shit down before it even got out the out the starting gate. My but point, is, uh, being, Rilla. My point listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, Roger, and y'all can cook. I've been quiet. No, you good. Oh, you got it. I'll let you do. Look, you done came in here. We see you got the do rag on. You got the Beijing popping. We got you. Nigga, how many times I got to say you good? Okay, then, man, fuck all that. All right, go ahead. Shit. <laughs> ATL. <laughs> hey, you know, my fuck get sensitive about that Beijing. Uh, really hey, listen, got you. Man, chill out, fam. Man, fam. Yeah, you got to chill and, out, man. And, and don't out. get that shit twisted. If you see me here debating some shit, I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. Don't don't get that shit twisted. That I'm oh because you was debating that or you was arguing that you was the same. Yeah, because how much is enough for us? My don't point was that, that whole conversation. Yeah. You know what my point was? Real talk. Why the fuck are we sitting up here arguing about that? That's two million more that those schools didn't have. Why are we even talking about that? You was gonna spend that money with Ralph Lauren anyway. So why are we wasting time there when we should be figuring out what are they doing and how we gonna hold them accountable for their resources? Tired of this shit, man. We ain't got time. We do not have that type of time. When I hey, listen, let me say this, and I'm and I'm gonna pause. I promise you, I ain't gonna say nothing else. When I was in Detroit this weekend, and Anton, you know I got love for you. I love your fucking city, bro. When Shout was, out to Rilla. Man, nah, when I man, I acted a fool in your city, bro. But when I was in there, man, I saw the development they was doing on Woodward Ave. I drove by Lil' Seal. I said, oh, that's the interest he goes in. <laughs> I was sitting up there like, yo. You looking all, dope down there, baby. All that development they doing, and you know what I thought about? How much of that investment, how much of all that they doing in Detroit, how much of that are we participating in? I ain't got time to sit up here and argue with you niggas about uh, what women ain't doing this and who not submitting. That's your nope. issue. That's not mine. Nope. I want to bring the resources 
from these companies back to my community so we can advance the narrative, so we can control the cool. That's what we need to be building on. And we're so busy majoring on minor. Yes, Can't get no yes. fucking way. Fuck all that logic. Tell them, man. Tell them. I, I mean, I hear what um, Rilla is saying. Um, yesterday was a mess. Um, that show, some of the, the talking points Get and everything some water, like Rilla. that. Rilla, yeah, please swallow some water. Pause. Um, but um, that, that just threw my whole mind. But honestly, this, show. we are divided. It, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it getting better, honestly. Um, but honestly, I don't take things personal. If if logic has a point regarding black women or chaotic, I feel like sometimes we need to take a step back, listen, hear from their perspective, their viewpoint, ask questions to better understand where they're coming from so we can get an understanding of why they think that instead of just like jumping down any woman's throat or any man's throat so we can get a better understanding so we can kind of get back on one page. Because if we're just going to go back and forth as a community on the panel we see it here or whatever, how are we supposed to, how are we supposed to be better as a macro level, right? So I feel sometimes we're all from different places. We have different perspectives, different morals, different standards, but we need to kind of listen to understand it instead of listening to respond. And that's just in general. That's the point of communicating effectively, right? I might not agree with logic on like 90% of what he says, but I, I, I want to get where he's coming from. He's from a different Logic, wait, wait, wait! Don't you, you see? I didn't say nothing. I know, but you screwed up your face. I'm reading. I'm reading. You know, but so I think we should just kind of get to a better understanding where people are coming from, so we can get back on the same page because we're all still kind of fighting a fight. So, but I don't honestly see it getting better. I see it getting worse because how everything's going now. I hope it gets better, but honestly, I don't take that whole yesterday thing on that panel, whatever. I don't take nothing, none of that personal. So I think hit dogs holler. If it doesn't apply to you, don't feel away. If logic talking about black women and it's not particularly me, I'm not about to scream down at his throat or whatever chaotic is pushing to 22 year olds to 18. I'm not going to, it's funny. I just going to laugh at it, you know, but it's good to hear from other people's perspectives so we can kind of gain an understanding of why they think that way. Let me cook with you. Let me cook, let me cook with you. Hold on, I, hold on. I think uh, I think uh, Kayla, the mobile. So let her let her go ahead. Not little mobile. I said Kayla. I just, yeah, I, I I I just I just I get where you're coming from, Q, and that is being like the bigger person, and like I get where you're coming from. But when niggas are saying wild shit, I do not care. Like I'm gonna say whatever. If you're saying disparaging things about black women. It doesn't matter if it doesn't apply to me. That affects the image of black women, and there's already enough negativity out there. So, yeah, it may not apply to me, or it may not be worth whatever, but I'm going to say something about that. I'm going to call that out. I'm going to say you're trash. I'm going to address that. So I, I think, it. like, saying, like, letting things rock, roll off your back if they don't apply to you, yeah, okay, but no. Because if you're in my space or in my presence saying things that I feel like are disparaging about my people or about my community, I'm about to check that shit, period. Okay, I fully get that. Wait, hold, can I say something real quick, Logic? I fully get that, but I feel like, not feel, um, to not prove his point in being right regarding how black women communicate, because you are sometimes proving them right when they talk about a certain type of black women, right? So I have disagreed with everybody on this panel, except for um, JR, because he would barely talk. Oh, there's get the a way, fuck out of here, man. There's he a way you can kind of disagree with them in a manner, in a manner, a certain manner. So I get what you're saying, but there's a way you can come off and checking your tone and communication level. So you're proving him wrong when he says black women are this or black women are that. Because if you're not and you're doing raw raw or cussing him and saying you're whack, um, what's his name? Chaotic, you're proving him right. So, no, no, okay. no. Come if on, he's whack, then he's whack. You're not going to tone police me about how I say that you're whack. Like, no. If you're whack, then I'm... Would you like it if he called you out your name? Like, so I never are, called him out his name. Okay, let's say he called you a word that was disrespectful. Right, but would we're talking like about that? tone. You said tone. Okay, I'm tone not talking about... 
I'm talking right. about the tone in which you say things. Like, I don't think that women should tone police men, and I don't think men should tone police women. If you don't like what I say, then you don't like it. But you're not going to say that what I'm saying is not valid or I'm proving somebody right just because you don't like how I'm saying it. Because no, I don't like how a lot of the men say stuff on the panel. But not, so? But it's not only about tone, it's communication. Because so this is the difference. Logic, you're wrong. Logic, you're wrong. You see the difference? No, y'all. Like, but it's no. communication no. and tone. Like, you calling him no. whack, you wouldn't like it if he said something to to like in that same offense though but he did he said a lot of stuff i don't like all night okay but see this is the point this if is, you this don't is like it you don't like it okay you'll I, get over it I, but this I, whole I, thing oh if i don't like it then you wouldn't like it that's a lot of shit i don't like what am i gonna do cry you gotta just get over it there are things that people are gonna say and do that you don't like uh, like yeah. what is this all right, I'll wait for that thing to say, you're calling from the Harrison County Jail. You have one minute left on this call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. All right. This, mm -hmm. this, this and now it's stupid. This is what it comes down to, right? And I'm talking to the ladies that I know that they, 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 they have this. They want this communication. The biggest problem is this. Conceding to facts. That's it. Conceding the facts. Just on this panel today, right? Um, Courtney made an excellent point about old boy had bring up there hunting, and today men are not hunters, right? Guess what I did? It came back. I conceded it to she had a fact, right? Did anybody hear me blink? And I said, no, no, no. She's uh, and I'm just no, no, chaotic. Don't take this first. I'm just using as an example, right? Oh, 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 it's a bigger picture here, right? But I can see that, even though chaotic is a man or whatever in this, we divide on this panel by men and women. I said, no, chaotic. You know what? She's right. Men don't hunt in 2022. Even though you may hunt, but men in general do not hunt for food in 2022. See that fact, right? Same thing with Courtney. When chaotic has said the real definition, I said, no, no, no. He's right. He's absolutely right. If you look at a lot of discourse on these panels and this thing, it comes from one simple thing. Just concede to facts. Concede to facts. Your opinions or how we got there, we can have that. But we got to concede the facts. If we're talking about the black community and we see it's fucked up, you know it's fucked up, right? And I'm not going to even take it on there. You can't argue me about it. To say it's not fucked up and we know it's fucked up. All you're doing is derailing the whole thing and we never could see the facts so we can never move forward to actually even thinking about talking about a solution. We get emotional when facts is presented all the time. If you don't believe me, watch the replays of these lives and then now as you watch replays, listen to the facts people present and go back and research it and you will see the problem with these panels is people don't concede to basic facts. So now it become a pissing fest. I'm done. So um, I agree with what Island Gal Q was saying in that it's about how you communicate a point. It's not what you say, but how you say it. We've been saying that for a long time. Um, can, uh, can I finish? Can I finish or no? You definitely. Thank you. So, like, the 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 issue that I found with what chaotic his argument earlier was, even if I wanted to listen to it after he tried to invalidate Courtney's statement by asking her what her where her ring was. And then tried to invalidate what the men were saying because the, the and by calling them simps because they were disagreeing with him. That is a perfect example of what's wrong within our community. Like that's not that there's no way for us to get beyond that. Like if you have an issue, we can agree to disagree. And then, like Rilla said earlier, figure out where we do agree. There's no standard. There's no, okay, we may not agree on this, 
but we're still going to come together to accomplish that. You get what I'm saying? That's what the real issue is, I believe. So that's my little two cents on that for now. There's You can concede to facts and, and agree to disagree and then work together towards what you agree on. And that's what's missing. We're not working together because we can't agree. It seems like we can't agree on shit. Baby, baby, do the sun provide heat? Can you agree to disagree with that? The sun provides heat. Do the sun provide heat? Can you say, if I make a statement, the sun provide us heat? Can you dis agree to disagree with that? I don't disagree. Provide no, heat also. I say, can you? You can't agree to disagree with facts. That whole agree to disagree shit is fucking insane. A fact is a fact. Okay, we can agree with facts, but if they if it's perspectives, if it's 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 different vantage point, then you can agree to disagree. I didn't say nothing about not agreeing with facts. A fact is a fact. But his opinion said that definition. That, you was agreeing with Courtney when you could have just Googled it to see that what he said was factual. No, I agreed with Courtney because I did Google it and she was reading the actual definition. No, she oh, see, Yes, she no. was. She was reading the definition. I Googled it and so much so I I read the remember. exact definition. Divine means of God. It also means pleasant. That was the other definition that came up. So and that's God why be before I even before I even I, asked I the like I said I even, basic facts that this is why conversations get derailed. Because you just can't concede that, you know what? Courtney was wrong. And guess what? I think Chaotic was wrong, too, when he brought up that thing. But he Mr. Balance. Mr. Logic, though, like even with the, the God thing, it doesn't mean that I'm wrong or he's right. When I say like a God, what I think of God, he's omnipotent. He's timeless. We are humans. We are not. He's infinite. We're finite. It that is God to me is more than just creator. He created the world. We did not create this. We didn't create oxygen. God did. And so that's his why creation supersedes his but creation. The only problem with it is you told him he was wrong. See, you no. can have your you can have your perspective, but you told him he was wrong. If you didn't say he was wrong. Then you could say, okay, you're right, but this is what I think God is, or this is what God means to me. You didn't do that. You said he was wrong. No, and now that's why I said the discord come from conceding to facts. Okay. I asked him what his what the definition. Well, I asked him what his definition was. He said what it means to me. That's what he said. So he gave his perspective of what the word means. Then I read the definition and it didn't mean that. And then he said, well, it's like a God because I'm a creator. And again, well, I said, well, what my God is, is more than someone that has the ability to create. He has the ability to save. So that was dialogue. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I was just completely wrong. You keep saying what you think it is. I read the you definition. You feel. But that's, that's what I'm saying. It's the problems that come into it. You just couldn't concede that the man was right. But he did. That wasn't the definition. The definition is the definition is Webster's. It's not uh, what I feel the definition is. Look it up, Mister Logical. You ain't being Mister Logic. You ain't being logical tonight. You ain't because to, like it. It would make sense if he would have said, you know, the definition of divine is this, but this is what it means to me. That's not what he said. She he looked said, up the definition. Said, I asked. Said, I yeah. asked the question. I asked, "What do you builder. mean? What makes you divine?" Uh, and he it, said, but, "Because like, I build it, things it, and I'm a it, man." It, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, and this, it, that, and it, that. It, people can Google this Wait, hold on. I'm done. I'm finna go eat my sushi. All people gotta do is Google the definition. Don't go logic. Wait, wait, and see that it means God. And then God, by definition, is oh, correct. God. So therefore, everything he said was absolutely correct. And this is the vibe in the community. Because now, instead of saying, you know what? Yeah, okay, you're right. 
wait, 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 right to you though. But it's okay to have these. It's conversations. Don't leave. Wait, don't leave. Logic. Hold on. Let me say this real quick, Courtney. And this is what I'm saying, Logic. Do you see how much time you just spent? talking about somebody else's definition of divine. I'm not talking about nobody else's definition. I'm talking about the definition. Right, I get that logic. Come back on camera. I'm not going to have this conversation with you off camera because you're kind of proving what I'm saying, bro. This is what I was seeing last night. See, we need to move the conversation forward. We just spent an inordinate amount of time majoring on minor just to prove a point that somebody was wrong on the definition. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. I'll play down. Play. That was my overall stand. I'm serious. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm the people I'm, in the audience I that said, want to know. I said, hold on, the, we got it. We got to do one at a time. Disconnect. I'm allowed. I'm I said the reason we're divided is because of what people can't concede to facts, right? That. Now we're actually seeing it in action when I bought it to light. You, you see. They not argue. Well, they not arguing the point that I said that chaotic. The truth was wrong about hun. Right, right, right. They not arguing about that. Nobody's arguing about that, right? Right. You out there arguing about a definition that all they got to do logic. Is research. I got you, logic. But everybody and their mama, listen. But everybody and their mama for bulkhead to bankhead can see that, bro. Like we just spent all that time in a circular argument about nothing. Cause y'all still end up in the same place, and that's what I'm saying. That's one of the that's one of the other reasons why we divided as men. This is what I'm saying, fam. Y'all finna see a different version of the kid, fam. Cause I ain't, I ain't with this shit, fam. We gotta move forward, man. We ain't got this type of time, bro. We don't. If they don't get it, cool. Keep it pushing. Right on to the next point. What's the next point? Cause you're right. You did. You started out talking about listen. The problem is people can't concede. I try and keep it fair and balanced. I concede on both ends. See how I did it? That's what you were saying. See how I did it? I was able to concede on this end. I was able to concede. And I agree with you in these spaces. But also, we have all these conversations about women and the nature of women. Women need to be led. Women are like children. Women, da, 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 da. So if we believe that, then why are we still having these conversations and not showing up as men, as the leaders that can say, okay, you said that, that's what you believe? Okay, I'm going to feed you the point. Okay, you didn't get the point then? Boom, let's keep it moving. Okay, now if that was possible, right? Just <laughs> oh, say, shout out to BAG. Shout out to BAG. Just say if that was possible, right? All right, y'all, we got to keep it brief. Keep, keep it brief. Keep it brief so we can move on. For the realer. If that was possible, Rilla, imagine how this show would go. If I see and say, if I say, hey, who the president of the United States? And she said, Hillary Clinton. And I said, no, it's not. Oh, but you know what? We're going to let it go. All right. Next talking point. Hey, no, you have to deal with facts. Facts move the conversation. And it, it, it's not worth having a conversation if people don't tell the truth. That's my hold whole on. Hold on. No, we can come back to it. Uh, let's get some more. Let's get a couple of more responses about is the black community divided? Uh, go ahead, Kay. Oh, me? I said Kay. Oh, Kay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that I was chaotic. Sorry, I was ready to talk. He was so ready. Um, <laughs> you, me? Uh, is the black community divided? Yes. Um, I definitely think that our community is divided. Uh, we have not unified under common... Um, missions, if you will, like those things, certain people think we haven't even identified them collectively. And I think that's why there's so much division. Um, yeah, there, there are a lot of reasons why there's so much division, but I think just not having a common, uh, I guess, cause or like a common vision is a big part of the problem. Okay. Go ahead, Kayad. Yes, there is a divide in the black community. If we're particularly just talking about the African American community, yes. And in my um, opinion, and I could be wrong, I just want to state that again. My opinion is this the divide is black people have a tendency to look at the past, always looking at the past and recreating some past that may or may not have happened. For us to be a united people, 
we have to embrace intellectualism. We have to embrace conservatism, bring back the nuclear family. And we have to embrace the new age of living, which is the STEM, uh, the STEM age. We're not in the stone age anymore. We're not in the agricultural age. Um, we're going to have to embrace science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And you're going to have to teach your kids that this is important. You know, uh, all of this, you know, you know, I hate to say this because rap is a very lucrative business, but, you know, rap music, um, a lot of other gangster aspects of the black community pretty much need to be almost the way of the Model T Ford. Um, it's not doing anything for us um, because, again, uh, just to use rap as an example, it's it's really conveying a message of destruction. And I wish I would like for somebody to prove me wrong on that point. So for us to be constructive instead of destructive, we have to embrace things that are constructive, like learning the trades again. There was a time when a lot of black men knew trades, um, knew how to do welding, electrical work. And until we embrace those things again, we are always going to be divided. Um, but yes, I, I believe that that division is caused by what I just named and listed. Absolutely. Okay. What are your thoughts about Anton? You think the black community is divided? Um. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that <laughs> there is no community. What community? What is it? I mean... Everywhere you look, there's always a way in which you divide yourself against somebody. It's light skin, dark skin, men, women, uh, Adolfs, uh, immigrants. Uh, you just pick pick an issue. You're gonna find somebody Hebrew Israelites versus Christians, um, nabby head versus mixed. Uh, how much how much blood you got in your skin? It ain't no community. The only thing that people align themselves with is the most toxic things for us. They'll fight for, you know, whatever it is that makes them emotionally charged, but it doesn't even mean anything because the biggest thing that people focus on is not the stuff that matters. And I always say that fast is slow and slow is fast. And in order to be able to run really quickly, you got to reset and you got to come to a con or you got to you got to set a foundation so that you can then start to move very quickly when you start to sprint. Whereas most of the times, everybody just want to hurry up and run, run, run. And this is where me and Rilla disagree. People just want to run, run, run instead of starting to get some kind of idea of where you're going. Because if you just run and you might just run off a cliff and jump in the ocean. Whereas when you start to get a vision and I'm going to just tell you what the real solution is. You need one or two or three people as a dictator to dictate exactly what needs to happen and you need a bunch of other people to follow uh, to, to follow instruction and do exactly what it is that, that these people that's actually you know that is worthy of leadership is saying when you have too many voices and you have a democracy and you have everybody participating ultimately it it leads to nothing it leads just to well, a whole lot of voices it doesn't actually translate into anything and it ultimately makes more chaos than it does progress. So you find some people that's actually worthy of leadership and you let them instruct and you let them tell you what to do without any kind of um, extra. And it doesn't mean that everybody can't have input, but it has to be structure. It has to be. It has to be straight up a dictatorship and then it has to be buy in from everybody. Somehow, somehow, some way you got to get buy in from everybody. And that's how you solve the problem. But we'll never solve the problem because people have too much freedom. And when you give people the opportunity to choose for themselves, more often than not, they choose wrong. Okay. <laughs> so what? Ha who has been a great dictator? I'm sorry. You, you was asking me a question? Mm -hmm. uh, Anton, can I ask you a question? Because I'm an expert on African Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey. I am, I am. I am. I hey, why friend. are you looking like that? <laughs> so I was at Anton, what is, who is a great dictator? Um, Whenever I look at great leadership, I always refer back to the Bible. Dicts, okay. Do you think so I wouldn't say, okay, when I say dictator, 
Um, probably the people probably use it in an extreme extreme version of the word, but you can say king, you can say dictator, you can frame it however you want to frame it, but it's it's soul power and control, and then you put in checks and balances, such as a senate or something like that, to ensure that there's not a complete you know abuse of power or something like that. But outside of that, there really only needs to be you know one voice of reason. And a lot of other people assisting this person in order to feed them the right information. So Can you're I, saying we need that in the black community, a leader okay. in the black yeah. community, because in the in the U.S., the leader, I guess, would be the president. Correct. But then you still have Senate. You have the Senate. You got the Congress. You got the House of Representatives and none of it. And, and all of these leaders. And the reason why it doesn't really work is because all of these people are our representation of the, of the people that elected them. They get to pick their own leaders. That don't work. So who would be in charge of picking the leader to for the community? I don't think that anybody should be in charge of picking it. I think that leadership usually is based off of people that rise to the top. It's the cream of the crop, and they show themselves approved and worthy of leadership. I don't think that they really ask questions. They, You know what I'm saying? It, it, it usually is just somebody that rise to the top. And then you can really recognize it. So I don't think it should be picked. I think is 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 really it should just be recognized. Please, Please. say okay, go ahead, chaotic. Do you okay, Courtney? I do you had think to... I'm off, Courtney? Hold on, hold on, chaotic. Do you think I'm off, Courtney? Because I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it's just my opinion. Well, I definitely don't believe in dictatorship. Um. I'm trying to figure out what, because I do think we are divided, but I'm trying to think of a community that's not. Well, you're always going to have issues. Issues and division is two different things, though. Because even if you have issues, that does not mean that you're not making forward progress. I believe in, in um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Civil discourse. I believe in discourse. I believe in having differences of opinion. That's where the growth comes from, right? Every great leader, if you look at some of the greatest leaders in every uh, every company, they're not looking for people to agree with them. They're looking for people to tell them the truth, people to tell them the truth, people to give them the information that they need so that they can make an informed decision. That's why you have hierarchies. You got the CEO and then you got you know, the executive leadership team and all of this other type of stuff. And then they make a decision and you don't have the workers saying, well, we don't want that leader. We want this leader. That's not what happens in great companies. You know, you find and those people rise to the top. You see the Tim Cooks. He was an engineer and he wanted to rise to the top. You see the guy that's at Microsoft. That dude has been there for 30 years. He know the company in and out. Same dude that, that work at Ford and all of that. Like he's turned the company around. The stock prices is, is booming and all of that. Leadership rise to the top. It just needs to be recognized. And then ultimately, I think that they steer the companies that they need to in the right direction. And I think it's, you, you take that same approach and you apply it to anywhere households communities neighborhoods cities i think that is you know that that environment is a reflection of the leadership go ahead chaotic i know you want to you. because <laughs> anton this is, what makes, this is what makes <laughs> this is what listen this is what makes anton oh a, my god this is what makes anton a modern day prophet in my opinion this is what makes him one of the greatest youtube content creators of all time Courtney asked. I appreciate that. Not your Courtney number one asked, friend. Courtney right. Asked, and much. Courtney asked Ooh, a great you know we Courtney asked a great question. And Courtney, I have the answer. I uh you know, I have a background in African studies. I'm a staunch believer in pan-Africanism. Thomas Sankara, I don't know if you know who he is. He rose to power at 34 years old in a country called Burkina Faso. He controlled the country. Him and Blaise Compaoré controlled the country. The country was a former French colony. The country became independent. He uplifted the country by introducing jobs, 
by uh, 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 basically eliminating all of the misogynistic laws. So he gave women high level jobs in the government. The people use the resources of their own country and produce. They nationalize their resources. The only reason why that beautiful black man is not alive today is because Blaise Compaore killed him in a coup d'etat. He was overthrown. And Blaze uh, was the president up until a few years ago, until he was deposed. Jerry Rollins in Ghana was a dictator as well. And he turned those primitive people. This was just recent. The people were still cooking on the ground, for God's sake. Jerry Rollins had to come in there and kick their ass and saying, this is idiotic and primitive. This is going to keep us back into the Stone Age. He even did things as simple as that, uplifted the people. Then you have America, some of the greatest black men, the honorable Elijah Muhammad. He turned prostitutes. He turned whores. He turned thugs into upright, beautiful men. An example of it is Malcolm X. These people created institutions that still exist to this day. The University of Islam is a school of is, is dozens, of these, dozens of these schools that exist because of the nation of Islam. These people created farms and businesses and restaurants that still exist to this day. Chicago, really, you're in Chicago. You know what I'm talking about with the NOI. Um, it's so many black men that you're overlooking. And, and yes, I agree with Anton. There needs to be a Negro in power that knows how to manage niggas. And the men I did, named, they did a great job at that. Salute to you, Anton, and salute to you, Courtney. Anton for president, right? Chaotic. No, I, I, I am going to run for president one day. I promise you. Definitely. Look up Thomas Sankara if you're in the chat. Okay. Is he going to be his VP? Chaotic. Look, I'm telling you, the man was a brilliant man. No, I'm talking hey, about Anton. Hey, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. K so jealous. Look at her face. No, no she just thinking what I'm thinking. Presidents of the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Mm -mm. In the greater, I'm gonna take over the world. Watch. Why are you shaking your head, T? I think her screen is broke. She got that Kayla Wi Fi going on. No, no, no. Watch. No, 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 she's shaking her head. We can't hear you. You talking? No, 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 no. Yeah. You can't hear me. So, yeah, we can hear you, no? To the person in the chat that said, oh, why okay. would a man be an electrician? There are electricians that make clear over six figures and you don't even have to to, to do it. You can uh, start your own business and hire electricians and get a contract to the person in the chat. I saw the chat. Because they can oh, charge whatever they want per hour. Wait, why is T Why is T shaking her head? I was shaking my head because I thought he called you a simp earlier. No, that was me. He didn't call, he didn't call me a simp. Really I'm not called Rilla a simp. Yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> no, 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 you said I was simping. I'm oh, definitely simping. Yeah, simping. I didn't call him a simp. Yeah, call yeah, you simping. get chose to find her kale ass over here with me because you were simping too. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah cutting grass. Yeah. Don't forget. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's bullshit. Okay. I don't mind cutting grass. Yes, I was yeah, I thought I thought he <laughs> called was... a few of the men simps for agreeing earlier. So I thought he was doing a little pandering. That's why I was shaking my head. No, ain't nobody called me no simp. No, okay. All right, y'all. So uh, I think I got enough insight about the black community being divided. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got that old man laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's mm -mm -mm. Like you can't breathe. Yeah, man. That's that. That's that Mississippi shit, man. <laughs> Anyhow, um, wait, you guys seen? Uh, the thumbnail, but this is uh Courtney, not Courtney on the panel, but this is her name is Courtney too. <laughs> this is Courtney and, and Toby. Beautiful, beautiful white one. Yeah, she stabbed the black she stabbed the black man in the bed though. You know what is chaotic? What is she? Well, hey, come on, man. You go on. She's, no, she's I say it's a beautiful white woman. Hey, chaotic, what is she? She's not come on now. Everybody knows she's a beautiful white woman. I'll stop. Cute. 
Nice feeling. <laughs> If she was black, she would be a beautiful black woman. Yeah, I mean, come on, we everybody can recognize beauty. Now she is a murderer, but I mean, she's a, a beautiful white woman that went and got all the work done that you just tried to berate black women for doing. But I Ma'am, mean, okay. I'm married to a black woman. I uh, but you, the... I haven't heard you. I haven't heard Ma'am, you big up your wife as much as you bigged up these white Ma'am, women. Ma'am, but Ma'am, I mean, come to my come to my channel. And I've made videos uh, talking about white women. I did a three-hour live stream about Elizabeth Holmes. Do you know who that is? What did she you say about scam her? Art. She was a, oh, man, I went in on her. She was a That's horrible it. person. She was a scam artist who uh, for, uh, basically had a company called Theranos. You should look her up. I she know who a, she is. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, horrible hey, is, she a, uh, is she a milk of magnesia? This woman Absolutely right here? not. She's not. She's not attractive at all. No, she's I'm a, talking about the woman that Jr. put up on the thumbnail. She's yeah, looking like me. Come on, man. You already know she is, man. Come on, man. Now stop. <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, Anton, come on. Yeah, I mean, stop. She knows she is, man. Now, everybody in the chat knows it. We gotta stop playing around. It's okay to say that a white woman is cute, black man. It's okay. Man, it's nothing cute. wrong with that. You got feelers. She's, she's attractive. Yeah. Really. I'm just, I'm just Ooh, saying it's making I got feelers like the other day because I said Michelle Pfeiffer was one of the hottest white women in the '80s. People wanted to, people wanted to fight me. What do you mean she was the hottest woman? I'm like, come on. Man, let's be honest. Come on, guys. Recording gonna breathe fire on your eyeballs. I've minute. made videos about how I think his wife needs to be standard of beauty. I've made all that he may life. cheat with a white woman. Just never, saying, never. I would never cheat if he ain't already. Never. Did you uh have you ever dated white women before? Yo, you? I heard that to you. Yes, I've dated <laughs> white women before. You've dated time. white women. What did you think about them? I'm not gonna lie to you, man. They're pleasant. They're pleasant to be around. They're mild mannered, and they really cater to men. I mean, they really do. It's a part of their culture. Not really, all right. of them. really, you okay? Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Everybody knows it. Now let's stop. Come on, man. Let's let's stop. Yeah, I've been, I've been what do we all know? Some, what do we all know, sir? You asked me a question about have I dated white women. I dated white women many years ago, and I'm not gonna lie to you, man. They were pleasant. They were quiet. I mean, it's just they're different. You know, and I'm not saying all of them are like this, but the majority of them are just pleasant and they're and it's nice to be around them. Now, in terms of marrying one, I would never marry uh I mean I'm married now, but I would only be with a black woman. But I, I mean, come on, man. Let's let's not do this, man. Come on. We, everybody knows this. Why not marry them if you're not uh because I I really believe in black love. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I believe in black love, despite the fact that black black women can you know be you know nagging half the damn time and and attitudes and loud mouth and the list goes on i still love black women you know? <laughs> and, i mean come on man you guys already know come on let's let's stop let's stop come on well, any other questions <laughs> any other questions sir no i'm good you been, everybody on the panel's been with a white woman come on man. <laughs> definitely <laughs> haven't been with a white woman I not mean, you yeah. i mean why would i say the women no not y'all i mean what are you talking about <laughs> You said everyone. Logic, have you been with a white woman? Logic, Logic, have you been with a white woman? Who? Logic. No, I ain't never. I ain't ain't never been with nobody but black chick. That's probably my problem. (laughs) (laughs) Jr., have you been with a white chick? Yes, I have. Rilla. And admit it. Admit it. Admit how pleasant. I was with four. I was with four of them at one time. Okay. <laughs> real, life, for real, man. Be for real, bro. He was living life. All right, it was two of them at one time. Not in your dreams. We talking about real life. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I just told you. You are for real. Her face. Vanilla, for real. <laughs> Vanilla oh, Oreo. <laughs> Hey yo, somebody knows me from. Oh, okay, okay. You said vanilla uh, Oreo. All right. Anyhow, um, mm-hmm. so um, I'm gonna back get into the story. Back to the white Courtney. Yeah, yeah. yeah, back to the white Courtney. But anyhow, uh, you guys heard the story. Some people may not have, but Courtney is the OnlyFans model. Um, I think that's what they call them. And uh, it was a short little spill. Before I get into that real quick, I want to get the ladies' thoughts about this, about these tweets real. It's just just first impressions. Um, can't believe OOMF, don't know what that stands for, thinks I talk to black girls when I don't. That That's from Toby. That's the guy that I showed. 
Um, black girls are born knowing how to shake their ass. Me, honestly, I don't care. They not my type. The way black girls disgrace themselves on TV. And uh, lastly, white titties are better than black titties. Just saying, ha. Huh? So these are the, are the tweets that this uh, young man, because he was young. I think he was, what, 20, 27, something like that. 27, so. He was also Nigerian, too, by the way. So he's also Nigerian? He was Nigerian. I think he was a uh, Yoruba. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. So Courtney's 25. She allegedly attacked Christian Toby, uh, which is the gentleman, early this month in a luxury high-rise condominium. More than a week later, no criminal charges have been filed. So uh, he was a week away from celebrating his 28th birthday when he was fatally stabbed in South of Miami condominium April the 3rd. Allegedly, by his girlfriend, popular OnlyFans model, Courtney Clemmy, which is her real name, but I think she go by Courtney something else. So with those tweets, um, it's been a lot of controversy about, uh, well, with those tweets, a lot of women came for him. Uh, they wasn't a fan of his, uh, needless to say. He was murdered, stabbed to death by his girlfriend. Uh, it was said to be self-defense. I know that she was going crazy and checked into a mental health. Well, no, she was sent to a mental health and she got out and no charges have been filed against her. So the reason why I asked the question, I don't know who phone it is. We can go on mute. But, uh, Usually when somebody's murdered like that, the black community comes together and, and they rally behind it. But in, in this particular case, um, it seems to be that the black community didn't support this gentleman. I heard a little bit about it. It's not really getting that much buzz like that. Some people are advocating to support him and some people are not. So that's why I asked the question, was the black community divided? How did you women feel about those tweets? Let's start there. When, you, when you've seen it, when you heard about the story, were you guys in support of trying to seek justice or were you more so on the side of he didn't he didn't support black women. So I don't give a fuck about what happened to him. I bet. Oh, go ahead. T. -t. So for me. Um, I have a brother who, when we were younger and coming up, preferred white women. So I'll start there. He has, thankfully, grown to now be with his woman who is a Black woman. He had that opportunity to do so. So I'll say that. That's one. Two, I'm not offended by that man's preference. But... He laid his bed, so now he's laying in it eternally. Three, my issue with her uh, or with this whole scenario as a woman that is a survivor of domestic violence is that if I had murdered my then attacker, I would be in jail. So... That, more than anything, is what bothers me about this whole situation. So that's that's all I'm going to say on that. Okay. I'm going to say this. Um, that is someone's son. Um, I didn't see those tweets, right, um, before, so I'm thinking before. Um, that is someone's son. That is someone's child end of the day he's a man he is a black man um so in that situation i don't know if it was self-defense all we have is the word of her the other person is passed away right um i think i read where she had no defense wounds he was asleep um i didn't i didn't i didn't see that it was defense um it was defense at all Right. There was a room about this. It was no defense. She didn't plead no defense. She just pleaded that she was mentally insane. So I don't know if y'all read that, that it was defense, but that wasn't the case that he was sleeping. She stabbed him, whatever, um, in his bed. 
Um, this is played by Um, at the end of the day, people have preferences. That's his damn preference. Um, did he make some comments? Wait, what? How old were those comments? Those tweets? Um, let me see if I have a date on there or not. Wait, so it is. <coughs> is that this year? Whatever. At the it's end of the day, the fact that they said she's out. That's what bothers me, right? It's the fact that if it was reverse, if it was a black man killing a white woman, he would be locked up still, right? Or if it was um, a black woman killing a white man, she would be locked up still, right? So, and for all y'all people saying I'm biracial, I for sure I am, but I'm not biased, right? At the end of the day, that is someone's son, and he was asleep when that woman stabbed her, no matter if she white, black, whatever. And the fact that she's not locked up, the system is effed up. Let's just be honest. So that's all I got to say. Wait, and if I can piggyback on that, her friend did come forward and say that she was toxic. And she she was the one that was like the aggressor in their abuse and all of this and all of that. So to plead insanity... And to be able, I mean, of course, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all, you know, hearsay at this point. There are, we don't know the facts, but what we do know is that that man is gone. That young man is gone and his alleged murderer or his murderer, because it, she was, she was seen with blood on her. Like there's videos of all of that. She was able to post selfies and be at the bar drinking, but you're insane. I yeah, mean, yeah, we're gonna kind of, we, yeah, we're gonna kind of get into that. But I just wanted to look at it more from from the side of like the black community, where it didn't seem like it was so much support um, for it. Like the fact that she was out and like nobody was rallying, nobody was protesting. I like, mean, none y'all stuff was tell us, I don't know y'all about like the whole to tell protesting. us to, to love on who loves on us, right? He didn't love on us, so I guess that's why. The black right, community. Let's, let's, I just, but also, also can I say something? I don't like how I saw other comments saying he deserved what he got. No. He should have been with oh. a black woman. Oh. He should. It doesn't matter. He's dead now. He got what he deserved. Like, really? Y'all let that heartless? Logic. I'm sorry. Go let me, ahead. Let me pull, I'm sorry, Q. And I don't mean to overpower you. I just want to get this in real quick because <clears throat> I'm not feeling well. But don't nobody care about men. They don't give a fuck. They don't. You dated a white girl. You got what you deserve. You wasn't for us anyway. You divested from us. So the white girl killed you. Cool. And it is what it is. It is what it is. That's how it was being looked at. I know you're shaking your head, Logic. But I, and I said when I said, let me pull the Logic, I meant to say, uh, let me keep it funky or fuck all that. That's what I meant to say. Fuck all that. What I'm saying is, fam, and what I'm saying to men in particular, don't nobody care. They don't care. They don't care. And I, and I'm not. And this is no disrespect to the sisters, but it's it's real, man. The the you know the look at look at the dude. Okay, look at how many people turned on Kanye for dealing with Kim Kardashian. He getting what he deserved. He shouldn't been over there in the first place. If Donda was here, if Dr. Donda West was here, he wouldn't never did all this that and the third. Da, 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 da. And the truth of the matter is what we find in society more times than not, men are expected to take the brunt of whatever, emotional, psychological, whatever, spiritual, all that. We're supposed to carry it all. And don't nobody care about us. Don't nobody care about your feelings. Um, don't nobody care about what you're going through. Nobody cares, fam. Nobody cares. And I think that's what you see in. I think, JR, what you asking is is pertinent and it's a great um conversation to have. I am curious to hear uh Courtney and Kay's um uh, perspective on this. But my my honest first take on it is that don't nobody and don't nobody care. Nobody care about men. Don't nobody care about men, period. We're disposable. We are. Really? Apparently so is Lauren Smith's Phils. We forgot about her already, right? Listen, well, well, hold on. Let me. Well, let me say this. White um, black listen, woman that was killed by white dude. Fact, well, let me. Well, so T, if you want to pull that out, and I'm gonna uh, listen. If, if we if we gonna do that, I'm still trying to find out what happened to Kiara Coles. Okay. Okay. 
So it's not just black men. That's not what I'm saying. But this is the topic. This is not the topic. She is not the topic. Correct. And what I will also say is that you will have people more often galvanized around women causes and women missing and women, whatever's going on with women. This is the nature of society. We will do that. When something happens to men, ma'am, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny or disrespectful to anybody. Y'all could skew me in the comments and y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. Don't nobody care. And I ain't saying sympathize or whatever. I'm not saying I, that. I'm saying nobody cares what happens to men. I don't think that's accurate when you see how many women rally behind so many black men that get killed. Look what happened with George Floyd and, and Amadou Diallo. <laughs> What? So so head. you're wait time out. So wait, why why what? You you you're dangerous. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> telling you, dangerous. The, you have to be the a man is dead, and you decide to the re- so. Okay, I can't. I can't. Right you go ahead, Ken. That's the problem. Now, when you gotta listen, when the brothers are talking, he's about to make a he's about yeah. to make a really good point that yeah. most brothers actually considered yeah. after they got the facts. You got to let them at least get that yep. one off. Black women don't rally around. Black women weren't rallying around Henry Louis Gates when the police incorrectly arrested him at his house. Do you even know who that is? He's a Harvard professor. He was incorrectly arrested years ago. Nobody remembers that. Now, nothing happened to him, but he's very affluent. But the fact is that black women cater to black bad behavior and they rally behind George Floyd because, again, just like in the 90s, they rally behind Rodney King. Here goes a dude going 125 miles down the street high off a PCP. And and I will admit that beating was excessive. But here goes the thing. Everybody wanted to rally around and destroy cities for him. But there, but, but what about intelligent black men? What, and I'm not saying that George Floyd's death was justifiable because it certainly wasn't. But again, you can't sit up here and pretend that uh, 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 Neil deGrasse Tyson is being pulled over and people are beating him. No, nobody rallies behind intelligent black men. That's the truth. Let me tell you something real quick. I don't know how old you are, but do you do you know who Steve McNair is? That's my guy, number nine, yeah. Tennessee Titans. Steve Titan. McNair was a McNair. very um, great quarterback. Baltimore <laughs> went, I yep. love Yep, he was a very guy. great quarterback. He was murdered by a white woman. And there was nothing big about him. There was no outcry for him. No, people barely remember Steve McNair other than dedicated was, football. Well, fans. it was in this city. It's still a big thing. We love Steve Right, McNair. but what I'm saying is there was no national outcry. And I got to agree with, with, with Mr. Devine and, and, and Chicago Rilla. Nobody cares about men, especially the especially a, a certain type of black man either. Yeah, you could be a, a damn medical doctor. Somebody kill you. Nobody give a shit about you. But if you're a crackhead acting a fool, resisting arrest, oh, let's march. Let's let's tear up t- cities and shit. Yeah, respect though, respectfully. You know, I'm not trying to say talk about George Floyd or anybody. I'm just telling it like it is. Chaotic. I have a question. Those other people you named, was it um, known on social media? Yes. They were okay. Oh, I don't think social media didn't exist no. in 2007. The no, George Floyd. No, 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 not George. George the Floyd. other one. Yep. Steve no, McNair. No, no. Steve McNair. It, no, there was no inter- There was no social media when Steve McNair was. Wait, wait, wait. So hold do on. Do you think Skip okay. Gates? That was known on social media. Okay. So do you George think George Floyd wasn't? No. Do you think social media kind of played a part yes. on what people pay attention to? Because let's say if that George Floyd situation didn't get put on social media, you think there would have been such a backing compared to yes, those other people? I, I, I think it would have been a backing okay. because Patrice Cullors, the scumbag that she is, who's the founder of Black Lives Matter, they intentionally started an organization to scam money. What happens is, is that what they do is, is that they benefit off the deaths of black men, whether social media existed or not. That woman and her cronies were going to get money anyway off of any. It could be any black man who dies. As long as it's by the hands of a white person, they're going to figure out how to make money. So, so go ahead. So if that's the case. Right. And those other mm-hmm. people, the professionals. Right. If they were broadcasted, do you think it would have been we would have rallied against them, too? No, because you're talking about Steve McNair? Yes, or the other no, person, because, the professor, or... No, because, and again, in, intelligent Blacks, Blacks who are really productive, they don't... There's there's no media for it, you know? So the thing is that they're trying... The media wants Black people to think that they're oppressed. The media wants Black people to think that they are just downtrodden. So who, who best put in front of the forefront of the media is people like George Floyd. 
they're never going to put a, a Henry Gates in front of the forefront. And black people, truth be told, wouldn't give a shit if Henry Gates was put in, uh, in, in the forefront. They only care about, I hate to say this, I have known black people who have had a going to prison fucking party. Literally, going to prison party. Could you imagine this? And yeah, so what I'm saying is we elevate a certain level of debauchery in our community. So of hey, course, hey, chaotic. chaotic. You know, you know, Big Meech. I'm blacking don't out. Do it. Don't do it, Logic. Don't no, do it. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead. Big Meech, you know the Big Meech, the Detroit killer. Who was that? He a dude. He got he got the BMF. You know what I'm saying? He was in. He oh. was from Detroit. Then he went to Atlanta. You know yeah, they nah, put nah, a big celebration about. for him when he get out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> he has a TV. His son has a. It's, it's, there's a TV the show for him, the right? They finna pop bottles. The Mel Dre, yeah. Kanye, The Weeknd. They finna have like twenty helicopters. They gonna have like the um the Air Force fly over. They finna, they finna do it all. Yeah. All right, all right, so I want to do. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to kind of get the get some more comments in because we near a little bit. Uh, oh, can, I ask, can I answer real fast, Jr.? Hold on, let me, let me get to K first. Okay, I get to you. K, um, what are your thoughts? Um, I you know I think chaotic says something about like women wanting to rally behind a certain type of person or something like that right chaotic didn't you say something like that absolutely absolutely so what it um is there any responsibility for black men to start a movement <laughs> like why is it so if if black men are concerned or if if you think that certain things are very concerning and deserve a lot of attention like why wouldn't you if you're not seeing people rally behind these things, why wouldn't you gather up some black men and like try to start some kind of movement the way that black women start certain movements? No, you're, I don't know how old you are, but you seem pretty young. Black men have started insanely great movements in this country. One of them was- I know. The yeah, the Nation of Islam. I'm, I'm, okay, but I'm talking about in terms of like, you put the, you put the responsibility on black women in terms of like just talking about, you know, people that get unjustly, you know, stopped or whatever the person, I think you named a professor that got arrested or something like that. Um, why did you even mention black women? Like why, why wouldn't it just be a black people issue or why is that same level of like expectation not on black men to stand up and say, you know what? This is happening. Let's get some marches together. Whatever you think that should look like. Because, because again, <clears throat> situations like Henry Louis Gates are outliers. They don't really happen as much as you think in the general population. But situations like George Floyd happen all the time. The fact is, is that I got to agree with Chicago Real on this. It doesn't really matter if you're Henry Louis Gates, Neil deGrasse Tyson, or George Floyd. Society does not give a shit about men, let alone black men. And that's just an understanding that we have. It's up for black men to to just pretty, pretty much uplift themselves and work hard and, and pretty much try to stay out of uh, anything dealing with anything legal. And that's, and that's it. That's the answer. You know, uh, pro, uh, protesting and marching means absolutely nothing. You know, singing resell overcome means nothing. It, it, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So no, men don't have to do anything. All men have to do is just obey the damn law. That's just my opinion though. You don't have to follow me on that one. You're on mute. No, no, I was, I wasn't trying because I figured Kevin oh. was going to come in, and I, I keep myself on mute. I was just saying to myself, you know, when you say we just have to obey the law, I'm saying that's the bare minimum. That exactly it still happen. And then, and it, and here's the truth of the matter: you did see a lot of men, including Barack Obama, speak out on when Henry Louis Gates went through that incident. Like it was a terrible and unfortunate incident, and I'm not. Uh, you know, and with all due respect, hey, I and I don't have the data, but I'm not as inclined to believe that it's not happening as much. But for the community that he was in, that definitely should not have happened. I and agree. This, okay, this is an old man walking with a cane. Like, he had a cane at the time. He's walking. No, with I mean, I get that. I'm saying, I'm yeah, just. It saying, was just crazy. It was. I was just crazy. speaking to him, bringing up black. No, I understand. Skin. I understand. Yeah, I wasn't. I mean, of course, like. And I think that, uh, you know, what is pushed 
and sensationalized more in the media will obviously get more attention. Attention. Yeah, so that's what I was kind of saying regarding if, yeah, the attention part. I want to point out though to the biracial lady at the bottom. That's you said that you're biracial. Um, Are you talking to me? Now we are, yeah, we already know I'm that. Multiracial. Now, let's be honest, now I know nobody's gonna say it, but I'm the chaotic truth. I'm gonna say it. Black men got away. Black men get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, OJ got away with something in the '90s. I'm not gonna. He killed a white woman. Yeah, we all know he did it. Let's be honest. Whoa, he got whoa, away whoa, with whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa! If it don't acquit, if it don't fit, <laughs> you must acquit. If it don't fit, that man was acquitted. I'm, I'm Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna be a gentleman. I let Courtney go first. Go ahead, Logic. You're fine. Ooh, I like that kind of energy, Courtney. <laughs> uh, look, like I said, the reason that we're divided was because of we don't deal with the facts. If JR can put up them tweets again, and let's analyze them tweets together, and let's see what he said was factional, uh, what was factual, and what was a peanut base. Okay, I think. Uh, I think I talk to black girls when I don't. I can't believe. I don't what know is, what is O O M F mean, y'all? I'm sorry. Oh no. One of my friends. One of my friends. One of my uh, friends. And then, so I don't know. That's I don't know what that share that means. But they said black girls are born um, knowing how to shake their asses. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If that means one of my friends, that means this is not his quotes. Then that's basically saying one of my friends basically said this, and it has okay. quotation marks. Is that, so, right? Is that right? I have to agree with that quote. Hold on, okay. Hold on, hold on. I gotta agree with that. Now the thing is, is this right? It's it's facts to this. Yeah. Right. We can sit here and get emotional, but guess what? The behavior will still consist. This is a factual tweet. Yeah, no, it is. We see it all the time. We see it all the time with the with the chicks in there. And did brunch. They, uh, did, did the uh, parents just have a twerk off at the high school gym? And so, we see, know how to shake your ass is no, somehow wait, 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 wrong? It's, it's not wrong. wrong. It's a part of wait, black culture. Hold on, okay. Hold on, okay. Exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll just get it out, then I go ahead, right? Yeah. See, I can lose emotions and deal with the facts. I can see that's facts to that. And I got a daughter. Mm -hmm. And I can I can see and say you won't do that. But as a society, it exists in a black culture. This exists. You can use YouTube, TikTok, Instagrams. Moms is twerking with their kids. This exists. So we got to deal with the facts. That doesn't make him nothing. That's his thing. And his last one, it was merely his preference. He prefer white titties over black titties. Yeah. Obviously, he would because. He like white women. Oh, go, go. And then he said, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, nigga. Okay. I right. yeah, just wanna... The way black girls disgrace themselves on TV. Is this a fact? No, nah, that's yeah. a fact when they be yeah, fighting and arguing. Yeah. 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 That's that's why I said his preferences didn't yeah. offend me. Yeah. That's no, 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 no. Uh, we talking about this tweet right now, baby. That tweet that JR just put up. Is that a fact or not? That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, well, reality that's why I said the shit didn't bother me. Now, now, Horrible I'm wrap it up. Like, I'm wrap it up now. of us. Now, now I'm gonna wrap it up now. I do not debate with facts. If that man says something factual and then it's gonna be presented to put him as toxic or woman hater, I saw all facts and his preference. So if you I get mean, emotional about that. If you if that triggers you in any type of way, then you need to be an advocate of fixing that. Because ideally, if he said black women are gods, nobody would have had no issue with that. But he said they twerking, they toxic on TV, and this is what we deal with. Now, into the bigger scheme of things, and I'm gonna bring this home and shed it out. Chaotic truth and real is right. Black women don't give a fuck about black men. They give a fuck about niggas that they can control. That's why George Florida get attention. That's why the nigga who got them, I don't know where he was at, but he was got them beat up his baby mama and he got shot by the police after he attacked them. And then now they riding for him or whatever the case may be. And at the same time, it was another black dude that had no criminal record in Texas that got shot. And then no rise. 
Logic, do you think that black men care about black men? No, we don't. We don't either. Hmm. Okay, I was just wondering because I was. Yep. Like, I, 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 I'm trying to chaotic. Um, we are we are we are biggest enemy. Also, and that's why black men get the worst end of the stick because not only we got to compete with each other and we got to be protect ourselves against each other, we also got to protect ourselves against our women. So I say this, the thing that it'll change the dynamic is that woman should be somebody you can trust. You should always be on the defense for somebody else. But if you're dealing with that in your household, it's something different. And lastly, if the shoe was on the other foot, if, if Serena, husband killed Tar, yep. we'll be still marching now. <laughs> if the man march. That's what yeah. I said. It would be different. Mr. Logic, let's, uh, let's let you know, yeah. and I'm summing all this up. Yeah. Our women control our communities. And until our women get in line, you got what you got. The Mr. the the bigger the main issue, I mean, I think Q brought it up earlier, and logic, you pointed it out too. I think um the justice system clearly favors white people like that is a that's a bigger issue that has to do with just racism and prejudice and all types of things um and that's like documented that's not my opinion um but whenever we start to talk about that issue people start talking about victim olympics no, like, but you, there you, are clear you, examples you know kayla i mean kayla, proof, instead, but, of discussing, in this, instead of discussing what our dialogue we was having right you put it, you blamed it on the government. When when we know, we know that, like I said, and I'm saying, I'm calling out the men too. Men kill men. I'm calling them out. But also I'm calling, I'm giving that same energy to the women too. And then now you can easily discuss the point or you can say, you know what? The government is doing it. Um, If I have us, well, this, let me... What, what logic? I, I want to know. If we can get back quick. into the murder, do you think logic and chaotic truth that if she was black, killing and stabbing a black man, that she'd be in jail right now? Depends. I, I mean, I worked in law no. enforcement as well, no. and I can tell you that no. there are cases. You don't of black think you would be? No. no, because I've worked in law enforcement. And I can tell you, I've, I've I've witnessed situations like this. A lot of black women have done horrific things to black men, and they're out in the streets as well because all because women all they got to do is say, "Oh, he was trying to attack me," uh, and that, and that happens in the black community too with black women. Black women have killed black men before. Let's not pretend that they haven't. Let's be honest. Was that directed to me? Did I pretend? I was asking a question. No, I'm no, I was Courtney. I wasn't. It is it, 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 it in the way we were operate today. A black woman would be free. She would get bail. And it, it, it's across the board. I didn't see niggas, you know what I'm saying? Um, all these rappers and all that, the, all these dudes killing, they get bail. So I, I think that we can't make this a race thing. This is actually, it's what it is. People kill people, and then until they innocent into proven guilty, unless they did something super, super crazy, like mowed down a whole goddamn crowd of people, like they murder. Bail. Innocent until proven guilty in jail when black. Hmm? Baby, it was yeah. a black, every, every situation is different. In court. In, it's the black chick that was racing in Birmingham, Alabama, killed a person, went out on bail, started bragging about it on Instagram, and then did multiple lives. Trust me, it, it, right now in this society, they will get bail. Y'all don't, don't think that the justice system is unfair. Absolutely I'm, not. Yes. Absolutely not. Our court <laughs> system, I can't believe this. You guys ask the questions and you're goosing and giggling. I've worked in the courts. Large numbers of black men commit, I mean, I mean, astronomical amounts of crime. They admit to it in rap songs, for God's sakes. The fact of the matter is that if it listen, our court system is based on checks and balances and facts and evidence. Listen. We live in the most advanced country on the planet. Our courts are 
second to none. There are kangaroo courts in other countries. There are extra judicial killings outside of having a fair trial in other in other places on the planet. Why are we pretending like America is a wild jungle? It's not. It's civilized here. A lot of black men, yes, have been wrongly accused of crimes. So has a lot of white men as well. Are you from here? I was born in the great U.S. of A., man. I've been here all my damn life. You don't think there's any? <laughs> I don't think that there is any systemic uh, racial indiscretions in the court. Absolutely not. If typically when you are pulled over by the police, typically you did something wrong. You're especially blacks and blacks play and play this stupid game like, oh, I got pulled over. Nigga, your tags are expired. Nigga, you ain't got no damn license. Nigga, you got too much tent. Stop it. Why do we cap so much as a black people? When I picked up cycling, I was I'm a, I'm a marathon runner. When I picked up cycling and one of my, a couple of my friends are in the chat right now, they could even say it. Niggas would purposely try to hit me and, and uh, run me off the side of the road on the bike road on the bike lanes. Black people break and uh, black people break the damn traffic laws. We gotta stop playing around. We commit crimes. Just admit it. Okay, Go ahead. I'm a, chaotic. You're right, but do you? Feel by the way, like by the way, Mr. Logic, I want to point this out. I had an argument about the whole dancing thing today with a friend of mine. The girl was like, "Oh, why he put that about when black women dancing? That's a stereotype." I showed her a picture of the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Black women were twerking on the the black man drew black women twerking on the damn hieroglyphs. Everybody in the chat, check and it out. So what? Are they let let, let their chakras be free. Oh, yeah, chakra, that root chakra, chakra needs to be chaotic. Yes. I have a question. They were twerking so, in ancient Egypt. Stop. Chaotic. Yes. I have a question. You don't think that um, if a black man and a white man commit the same crime, do you feel like they get? Do you see them getting the same sentencing? Yes, I listen. Every case, <laughs> oh my every case is different. But I literally worked mm -hmm. in the courts. How I was many a, years? My first, my first job out of college. Seriously, I was a probation officer. I hated this job. I worked there for two years. I saw white men getting stroked, and I saw black men get stroked. I saw it equally sometimes. The fact of the matter is, every case is different. People have, uh, people can afford attorneys. People take things to trial. Everything is different. Everything is not the same in the courts. And if the courts are so bad, why do they hire black? Why, why are black judges elected if the courts are so bad here? Why are there black court administrators across the country? Why are there black mayors if the system is so bad? So why would so why on earth if the if the judicial system is so bad, why would they have Kentangi Brown and Clarence Thomas at the highest level in court? I I, I, I don't get it. Either either something is systemic no, or it's not. Trust me, there's trust me, there's no Kentangi Brown and Clarence Thomas in Brazil, and that's a black country. There's no Kentangi Brown and Clarence Thomas in most other white countries. This is a country that literally black people can be anything. And all this systemic racism, I bet you've never got charged with a damn crime uh, that you didn't commit. Hey, chaotic. I just want to make sure I heard you right. We said Brazil is a black country. It's a predominantly black country, but it's ran by whites. No, I got you. I got you. I just want to make sure I heard that right. And, and, and they don't have any blacks on their Supreme Court. I just want to point that out. Okay, so what did you think about stop and frisk? That was done in New York. I know what stop and frisk is. I want to be very careful here, even though okay. I've been saying some crazy things all night. Stop and frisk was it? It was an egregious uh, policing policy, and yes, that had racial it. overtones throughout the ass. I'll agree with you one hundred percent on that. I agree. So yeah. So that was something that was racist. What do you think about Black Lives Matter rioting and looting and not being arrested and causing 1.5 million? Hold on, let's not do that. Logic, logic got on um, T for that. So let's not okay. jump everything we're talking about. Stop okay. and frisk. Okay. So that was a policy specifically in New York to stop people if they felt like th they were or looked suspicious, which of course they were stopping who? Black and brown people. And that was a policy that was yes. implemented yes. and then it was deemed unconstitutional. So to say yes. that there's not policies that have been disproportionately um, against black and brown folks is not true because, again, we have stop and frisk. So there are things that. Policy. Well, that's just one. Do you know where that policy came so from? We, I'm asking, do you know where it came from? The reason why they did the stop and frisk. Mm -hmm. You know what? Do you know what court case that came from? Does it, came it from matter? Terry, it came from Terry versus Ohio, and a white okay. man was stopped. 
And that's what happened. But it was a, it, I, I'll admit mm-hmm. all day, but you're naming one policy. Oh, okay. Black people typically are able to freely go about this country and nothing happens. Nothing has ever happened. Courtney, has anything ever happened to you? Has, has, has the police ever planted drugs on you? No. Have you ever been accused of a crime you've never committed? I don't think anybody on the panel has ever gone through anything like that. I bet it's what a thousand people watching. I bet you nobody in the chat has ever had any police do anything wrong to maybe one or two people. This is a great country. Go to how about this, Courtney? Do me a favor. Go to Nigeria and see how the police treat you there. Go to go to customs well, at the not, airport in Nigeria and see how the, I'm, I'm, how, how those countries treat you. Oh no, that's a different. Yeah, well, I'm just, I, 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 we got to be careful. I'm, 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 we're Nigeria. talking about the, we're talking about the U.S. Right. And you said okay. that there was nothing right. keep it governmental okay. or anything in the government that wasn't necessarily implemented that didn't affect us. And so I just brought up that um, redlining, which still happens today, is also. So there are some things that we do need to work out. Hey, can I can I address your um one of your um your stop and frisk comment, Courtney? And I'm just say this, I, I I feel it, but at some point, when a behavior consists, I mean it is 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 indicators. I mean, come on now, I I used to talk to my brother about smoking and driving all the time, right? Guess what he used to do? Still used to do it. So if you're a cop and you see a, a, a box Chevy that be smoking, got their, the tailpipe scrubbing the ground, <laughs> the, 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 the whole car fogged out, and they got an expired license plate, well, that's against Logic, the we gotta be guilty. That's that's hold against on, the law. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies. Hold yeah, on. That's why we can't get nowhere. Wait, hold on, Logic. No, no, don't hold up. Let me finish. Okay. I'm just saying we Please gotta be Logic honest. finish. No, I'm just saying we gotta be honest. Look, I never been pulled over by a cop that I haven't been doing something wrong. And then I'm telling you, and then now I know when I'm in a situation. When I'm riding in one of my partner's car and it's a fucking hoop dude, and he's smoking in that bitch and he got a gun in that bitch and I know he a felon. <laughs> That's true, Lord, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to hold you up, Logic. No, you don't got to well, hold Logic is speaking facts, though. No, okay, truth. okay, cool. Let me let you cook. Let me let you cook and I'm going to come back on the back end of that. Give me that. Give me that when you finish. Let's deal with reality. If we, we know that we see this shit all the time, just like when you go to the hood, you lock your damn doors and you check it again. I went to the hood today to get my hair cut. I left my car. You know, the first thing I did, I'm wondering, I said, did I lock my door? So you know what I did? I circled back around just to check that I locked my door. When I got home, I didn't do that. We got to understand behaviors happens in areas. We never right. address the problems. So now if you're a fucking cop and I'm just saying, do I think stupid shit happened? Cops do stupid shit? Yes, I think they do. But I did the same thing in Afghanistan. You know what I did? I looked for indicators. When I was fucking out that bitch at fucking two in the morning and y'all was asleep and I was on the MRS and I'm looking and I'm identifying indicators that would let me know something ain't right. The same thing cops do. If you don't want cops pulling you over, goddamn, get them niggas some money to get their tags renewed. If you don't want to pull them over, right, get no, no, stop. Okay. If you don't want it, if you let don't me, want them to do it, then fix the behavior. Because every time I go home, I see it. And I see niggas like George Floyd getting pulled over by the cops with dope in his mouth, with crackheads, a car full of crackheads. Everybody you see. That all this shit that y'all got this social justice for, they niggas doing dumb shit. And then you can call it what you want to call it. I be a coon. It can be triggering. But until you deal with the absolute facts that the only reason stereotypes is made from what actually occurs. If they didn't go by stereotypes or indicators, 
then guess what? They'll just let niggas run rampant. And did you see what happened in Minnesota when they let niggas run rampant? It turned mm-hmm. into a war zone. You over there with the damn logic. I I know, logic, logic. Please, please, nobody else say nothing. <laughs> because I was patient. I wanted bro to get his shit off. So I don't want no ladies to say nothing. Please, respectfully. Logic. You full of shit, bro. What is Red Dogs? Red Dog is a Atlanta SWAT unit. Ridding every ridding, ridding every uh drug dealer out of Georgia. What the fuck was Red Dogs known for? Kicking the niggas' doors. They was a drug unit. No, they was a drug unit, and they was running down on everybody. What's because, your point? Because, because they fit the indicators of what you was talking about. It was innocent people that got fucked up behind the Red Dogs. Bullshit. Now, mother, nah, hold on, Logic. I'll let you speak. Please don't interrupt me. <laughs> you asked me a question, nigga. I asked you what red dogs was and you couldn't you I asked you a question and you couldn't answer. Cause you got a motherfucking corrupt ass sheriff in Clayton County right now that was a part of red dogs. Right? Buying military tanks to run down on civilians. Cause black people deter- deserve that. They wouldn't bring them civilian motherfucking tanks in the white communities. They wouldn't bring them tanks in the white communities. So wait, logic. Are you saying you don't know Victor Hill got military tanks that they no, run through? They ran through Clayton. Wait, no, no you, keep, you keep asking me goddamn questions. Don't ask me no questions. Make your statement. Nah, let me let me let you answer whatever question you think I'm asking. No, I'm just saying if you ask me a question, I'm gonna okay, answer the question, logic. Bro, go. Just make don't don't no, ask me a question. No. Make a statement. Make answer a statement. question. So what was somebody talk. Question, bro? I mean, God, dog, my bro. Like, listen, man, I'm listening to you, and I hate when we do this because this is what I'm talking about. We can't advance because then it's black people do this. Black people are y'all all curly. Y'all fit the profile. The fuck? I don't fit no profile, nigga. Have I been pulled over incorrectly? Yes. Every time I've been pulled over, ain't been on some, some up and up shit. You fucking crazy, bro. Every time they pull me over, like, I, like, are you serious, bro? It was, they check my license, they check my registration. Oh, send you on your way. That's it. No, bro, what the fuck did you pull me over for to begin with? Bro, look, check this no, out. No, Logic, don't do no, that. No, check this out. This is check what y'all do. No, nah, this is what y'all do, and we got to keep it a bean. Okay, do you remember the jump out, boys? JR, do you remember the Jump Out Boys? Do you know what they was known for? If you fit the profile, the Jump Out Boys would drag your ass, beat the shit out of you because you was in a certain neighborhood. If you go to L.A. and you talk to the niggas in L.A., right? It ain't even got to be that they was doing anything. They was just in a neighborhood. They would get their ass beat. And shout out to Nathan. I think Nathan Daly is doing the Lord's work. So this is not me casting aspersion on cops. But I'm saying we can't do this shit. So we like... No, but what I'm saying is we can't sit up here and make it seem like black people are doing negative all the time. And every time they get pulled over, it's justified. It's not always justified. Every time I got pulled over, ain't been justified. You can't pull up behind, like, oh, get the tags right and this, that, and third. They are, man, most times they pull up behind you, they already ran your tags, bro. You already know who you is. Do you know when I was in Michigan, in Canton, in a predominantly white community, when the cop pulled me over? Because I didn't understand when you go in Michigan, they shits run a little bit different. When the cop pulled me over, she already said my name. How the fuck do you know my name? You already ran my tags. How the fuck you walking up to the car saying, good evening, Mr. Woods? Uh, I'm not tripping. I'm not saying. This is what I'm telling you. I'm not saying. It don't happen. Right? And what I'm also saying, Logic, we can't sit up there and no, say... No, no, this, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not saying it don't happen. But the percent that it happens Bro. is probably... What, just wait. It's probably like one, one or three percent. Okay. But the shit that I'm talking about happening... Okay. Logic. It's ninety like percent of the time. You Logic. bought up the boy. You bought up the cop Nathan Daly, right? Salute to him. Right. Salute to him. Who drug him? Was it a white man or a black dude? 
Come on, bro. Just, it's it's a question. He got drug. I don't know who drug him. It was a it was a, it was a nigga. Like, dude, it, no, it was a nigga. Okay, cool. I did not now watch it. Now what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess who doing drive-bys right now in Atlanta? Okay, oh, cool, no. logic. Okay, cool. You okay? Cool. No, no, so no, 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 no. Okay, oh, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like hold I said, if, hold, if on, you, hold on, hold on, logic. Hold on, logic. If you are gonna talk to me, talk okay. with. Let's let, okay, let me take it right to where you at there, my nigga. When I got to Atlanta and I was in Buckhead partying on Far Road, right? Who the fuck was doing the drugs out there? Did those people get who was openly walking on the street drinking open containers? Mm -hmm. doing drugs was them yep. niggas or was them white folk? Mm -hmm. Did they get did they get apprehended right and prosecuted at the same yep. way that niggas do? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what? And I, I'm, I'm gonna end it off on this. Did they logic? Who? No, they didn't. They okay, didn't. Then. Okay. No, nope, no, nope, not okay. I was in my elevator the other day and I saw a nigga drop a sack of dope, right? I see drugs in this building here. And this is you gotta it's thirty six hundred dollars and up to get in this building. I see drugs, I see prostitutes, you'll see these little bitches yeah, downstairs waiting in the concert, hold up. But you know what you don't see? Don't do that, Logic. No, you know what you don't, don't see. Do you know what you don't see. You said last night, and I don't agree with you. All right. You know what you don't see when they using drugs and they doing all that shit. You don't see crime, my nigga. I disagree they with you. They go and smoke their weed. They go and chill. They do what they do. When lie, we Logic. do it, it's a fucking war zone. You a bullshit lie, bro. Can okay. I, can I ask a real other question? I'm done with this no. conversation. We can talk about that white, white dude. Can I, you bullshit really, lie, Logic. Really, can I ask you a question, sir? Go ahead. I may be inclined to answer. Okay. <laughs> On this planet right now, there are 60, not six, but 60 plus black countries where everybody's black. Everybody's black in Liberia. Everybody's black in Guyana. Everybody's black in the Caribbean. Everybody's black in pretty much damn near every African country. If America is so corrupt and bad, my good sir, have you ever oh, considered yeah. moving to a nation oh, where, where, where everything is ran by black people like yourself? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm just on. asking a question, sir. Chaotic. Okay. Okay. So let me this. Mm -hmm. I will visit any country. I'm here in America. I got rights to America. My people built this shit for free. Let me say this to you, bro. When you do shit like that, we you derailing the whole shit, bro. Because like no build New York time. City. Hey, listen, listen. When you say shit like that, bro, at no point in time did you hear my conversation that I said, oh, this country's so corrupt and I just need to leave it and da-da-da-da-da. No, no, I'm going to challenge it. Okay. I'm going to challenge it because I have the right to the same way you do. But now, here's my question to you, kind sir. Yes, sir. If this country is so great and yes, you believe in its ideals in the way that you do, I do. why haven't you been able to reproduce and replicate your model of to, of what it is to get black folk to greatness at scale? I, 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 I do. I do. I I, I I I I am uh, utilizing the opportunities here to better myself, which I have already done. Well, you're 37. Uh, you should you should kind of be there by now. I don't have to start a organization. To I didn't get, say you did. I said why haven't you been able to scale that? Sir, again, the only person that I need to worry about is myself. Oh, and my wife. no, hold on, for, go. hold on for a second. Everybody in this country there has had go. free, yeah, sir. Everybody in this country has had free hey, education. You, you can, go, with you can go to any college you want Good. and major in anything you want and become, Ooh, I got you. I know what it is, and become anything you want. You're right. The police are not pulling over Macy Jameson, who's a black astronaut, and knocking her on her ass. The police are so, not pulling over it. sir. You sir. just sat there and said they pulled sir. over Skip Gates. Like, sir. stop, bro. Every, no, they did not pull him over. He was at his house, and the police came because somebody called the police and said he was burglarizing his own home. However, however, we don't know. We don't know what. We don't really know what happened with that. But all I'm saying is that what I'm hearing, sir, is you're saying that these different counties are corrupt. The sheriffs are corrupt. If it, if these places are so corrupt. Why not just live in your own country with the people who, who are all black like you? Why not move or to Nigeria where everybody looks like you? Or I could live in my own community, right? Okay. Live in my own community, Please. like Malachi York did in Edenton, Georgia, sure. right? I could do that, right? Yes. So why would I have to move to another country when my birthright is here? 
Well, sir, Why is you're that your extreme okay. instead of wait, 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 okay. as black okay. men. Wait, as black men building, why wouldn't you give me the blueprint? Because you seem to have all the answers. I don't have any answers, sir. Well, I'm a, no, you do. I don't, sir. I, I always say this. I'm just some ape living on a rock floating in infinity. Oh, I have no man. idea what you, the hell is going on. No, no, no. I say this all the time. Your, you've been espousing your views all night. You've been pontificating Mr. and giving Mr. us Rilla. all game all night. Mr. Rilla. I am just asking a question. Mr. Truth. You said that the police are, I mean, absolutely corrupt. Specifically, what, what specifically I, in Georgia, sir. Is what I pointed out. Sir, why haven't you called the FBI? Because the FBI has dominion over those. Oh, specific- Victor Hill is under indictment. He's under federal okay, indictment. So, okay, sir, but, but sir, there are th- sir, there are thousands of counties in America. So if one out of thousands are corrupt, sir, that doesn't mean that the entire country is corrupt, sir. Just get out of that county if it's that bad there. Go to a better are you county. listening to yourself? Sir, I'm listening to myself because I talk about these things all the time. I don't so think... Tell me, so, so what are Red Dogs again? Sir, I, 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 sir, you made me no, aware no, no. of that. I had no idea what that was until you said that. I was that. talking to Logic specifically okay. on something that he would understand. Right? No, Logic. You're muted. You You're muted, Logic. Fuck all that sir. shit, Logic. Fuck I, all that shit. The Red Dog Wolf, Wolf. It's not going to change. Mr. Rilla. I'm not, talk, I'm not talking about... I'm, I'm Logic, go get your sushi. I'm talking Mr. to Chaotic right Mr. now. Mr. Rilla. Mr. Rilla. No offense. Mr. Truth. I'm, I'm being serious. You are I indistinguishable. You are indistinguishable from a Ghanaian... From a, a, a man from Democratic oh, Republic of Congo, there is nothing keeping you back from learning Lingala and going to Congo. You know living that? there with everybody who looks like you, there's no, there's no uh, police you know pulling you over because you're black in Congo. Why, why don't you go I over there? Why would I do that, sir? There's 60 nations on the planet that why are completely ran by black me? people. Wait, wait, wait. It's so bad in this. Why are you here? trying to convince me that I need to do that? And sir, when did I'm I say it was so bad? You anything, you could, sir. America is the greatest country on the planet. We have the highest GDP. Hey, listen, Our companies bro, are I get it. you a conservative. I get hey, it. I hey, get all your talking hey, points. Hey. All that's cool, bro. It, it's good. Uh, Real love. This is what I'm going to just say to you, man to man, right? And I don't even want to fuss this, this pro-black stuff. I'm going to just say this, right? If I, if I dropped out of high school and then I was fucking up, right, would you not tell me to get better? One thousand percent logic. Okay, so this is all, this is all I'm saying to you, player. So now, and I go get my get my GED or I get my diploma. I'm you told me to get that. I listen to you, right? I'm gonna salute you because I had an issue, right? Then I ain't making enough money. Ain't you gonna encourage me to go to school? Logic, you know this already. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. The thing is, if we really care about each other, we gonna acknowledge the problems. Because that, that's what, that's, that's, and like I said, even if the system is what y'all said is, let's acknowledge the problems. I got you on that. That way, no, I'm just, I'm being serious. I that's the too. only way we can fix it. And it, and I said this, I used this analogy before, right? I said, if you got a junkie backyard, right? Your backyard is full of trash. If your neighbors throw trash in there, guess what? It'll be hard to identify, right? Because it's trashy, correct? This is the challenge that I have, Logic. No, no, no. Wait, 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 okay, wait. Yes, wait. it would be hard to identify because it's, it's not, hard to I'm, I'm doing yes. this. I'm, I'm making this point. Yes. The yes. reason I say that, if we clean up our backyard and somebody outside our community throw trash in there, would it, it not be identified? Correct. That's all I'm saying, player. I get you. No, Logic, we on the same point. We just don't always agree, and I'm cool with that, bro, because the thing for me is when we get to having these conversations, we talking like black people all the time do all these things, but we could easily... It, listen, if the police was really about ridding drugs out of the communities or the communities or whatever, they could go on any PWI campus and get a haul. They won't do that. They could go to any community in Chicago. They can go on the north side, show enough go in the boys town, show enough go in the Greek town, show enough go into, uh, I won't say the village, but they can go into these villages because K said we can't say the word, but K know what I'm talking nope. about. Mm-hmm. White kids aren't shooting and killing each other. In well, bro, 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 bro. You bro. know that, Rilla. Rilla, you bro, know listen. that. Okay, okay, go ahead. So you, so you okay. This, this, okay, this, go this, ahead, Rilla. 
Because if, if, if they use drugs, Rilla, if they can use drugs, one at a time, y'all, one at a time. Listen, if listen. If they can use drugs me, and get drunk and prostitute, yeah, let me let me make no this cake. Crime, let me bake this cake. Good. Let me bake this cake because, listen, see, uh, chaotic for what you're saying. Do you know how many people are sitting in jail right now on nonviolent crimes? Or nonviolent, just drug offenses. Yes, I worked in the court, sir. Yes. I, okay, I'm then. Not... So why are we having this discussion? Like I'm talking oofy goofy. I'm saying something very simple that you should be able to comprehend. And the, and the conversation really should be, yo, if the system was really about cleaning up drugs and this that, and the third, whoopie woo, they would attack the rural area areas. They do. The but Rilla, Rilla, you, you miss it, Rilla. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because, really? wait, wait no, no, hold on, hold on. I just really? want to hold him to confirm this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. From Indiana. Hold I just on. want to hear him say this. He oh, no. says they do. You just made your so statement. They attack, they, they attack the problem in the trailer parks the same way they do in the hood. Right. Look, because see, this not even a conversation. Listen, listen what you just said. And you're going to walk off. But yeah, I'm going to say it anyway. In the black. Oh, yeah, because you paid the black. I'm going to say it anyway. You know what? The white communities do do drugs. And they get oh, raided too. In the black community. They don't. Okay, hold up, bruh. The black you just the black community, the white communities do drugs. They got them buy pussy. They do all that shit. But guess what? Don't follow that. Violent crimes don't follow that. So guess what? If you if you in the we can't even hear you, but y'all know what you're doing. But I went to you, a PW. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I want to because we got the uh, yeah, police uh, follow the violent crime. All right, I don't want to talk about this shit no more. Yeah, I went to a PWI. Really, I hold went on, to a PWI, on. and I can tell you a lot of white boys used to get knocked in their dorms. And there's people in the chat who went to the same school with me who know me in the chat, and all they got to do is say yes. I went to school with chaotic, and yes, I'm telling you, there were raids with them white boys, and they were getting busted on campus. That's do you all, identify as black? Ma'am, I identify not only as black, but I take offense to the, the, the your tone and your question. I'm 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 I I'm not only am I black, ma'am. I I'm pro black. Ooh. Oh, he should have been on last week's show with we talked about pro black. But but see, this, but I find this question well. to be funny because you're trying to imply that I'm pro white when in fact everybody on this panel. I'm is not implying anything. No, no, I asked you a you question. You okay, Don't what, tell okay. me what I'm implying. I asked you a question. Okay, then what's your second question? Based on your rhetoric, if and you do you identify as any of the things that you said black people do? All black people aren't what I'm saying happens. These things do happen uh -uh, in our community, uh -uh. though. Sir, do you identify with the things that you say Man. black people do? All no. of the things that you said. No, okay. everything I'm saying, no. So what are you talking about? So then, are you then saying that n black people aren't a monolith, ma'am? Answer the question, sir. We make up, very intelligent, sir. Please, that's a yes or no question, ma'am. Are no. you saying that? No, no, no. There's no monolith, but I, what, okay. but I will say that's all I want to know. Black men make up three percent of the U.S. population and commit half the fucking murders. So if I'm saying that, hey, man, maybe there might be a problem with violence in the black man's uh, uh, maybe it might be a problem with black men in terms of violence. You can't sit up here and say, that, "Oh, you're you're being toxic." Are you a, are you a murderer? Are you like this? Why can't I say? Why can't I bring that point up? Hey, hey, chaotic. Hey, hold on, yeah. hey, y'all. I'm, go I'm gonna go to a hey, white panel. I'm out here. Hey, what's going on? Six, welcome to the show. What you got? For How y'all doing? Hey, hi, six. Hey, six. Who's that? I have six. a quick question. Hello. I have a question for the brother on the end. Um, what is his name? It's chaotic. Agent chaotic. Of chaos. Where, where are your parents from? I, I, you know what? I'm so tired of answering that question. Uh, I, I, you Why? Know, that's, a private, that's a private question. I, I, I'm so tired of answering that question. Because what Why does are it you matter? Tired of answering it? I've asked because it to I'm you one time. I'm tired of everybody asking me that question. Like, what does that question mean anyway? It means a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm just simply you asking, know. what what is your background? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, 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 me. okay. They're from Japan. Okay, now, now, now. What's what's the next question? Okay, so if your parents are from Japan, they're not from Japan. But go ahead. What's, if if they were, what's the question? Why are you defensive 
and I've asked you one question. Because I, I get that question so many times on, on, on black panels. Why do you think opinion. that black people ask you that question? I have no idea why. I, you know what? You know what? Th this is what I love about white people. They don't oh infringe God. upon okay. my rights. I go I'm going to interrupt you right there because yes, I know point, because that's what black people one do. One thing that I do people. know is that you're definitely, your parents are definitely not from America. So this is the problem that I'm having. I would not go to your country and try to tell you what it is and what it is not. If we are here, we've I been here our whole lives, our parents are here. You cannot now come here and then say and gaslight us and say that you wouldn't we love walk down the back alley and that we are behind you. Keep it real. And that Let's we stop. don't get mistreated in the you justice system walk down because back you had a job at a courthouse. It just you would not walk it's down unintelligent down a back alley. and it's disingenuous. You so, would not walk down a back alley with two Negroes behind you. Stop. Right, not, right, stop hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Logic. Let them talk. Logic. You now, know, now, 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 you would not walk down a back alley on, with two can't black hear, men behind you. You talk. know it. You don't live around black people. You live in. A, you probably would not you live on a cul-de-sac in a sir. suburb. You don't live around you black. You are Stop. extremely you drive emotional. A white right. Why yeah. are you so yeah. because, emotional right now? What, what, why, like because, it, why this emotion that you're exuding is is indicating a bigger problem that you have. What is it that you are trying to fight or convince us of right now? Okay, Lapeef. Okay, Lapeef, can we do it like this? Can we just do... Thank you, Six. She, she asked a question, then I answer, and then I ask a question. She answered. Can we do it just like that for a minute, Lapeef? Well, honestly, I don't... I'm not, I didn't come question? here to necessarily have can a direct dialogue. Can I answer, your first, can I answer you. your first question? I think we've heard can enough. I answer of, your first question? get okay. your okay. mindset. The point okay. is this. It's, 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 it's fascinating that you go on black panels, they ask you a fucking question, and you can't give the Sir, answer. This is a problem in the black profanity? community. The only people who restrict my I thought you said you were a Carlton Banks. Banks. It's not Banks. It's not Asian people. It's not Asian you people. You need to calm down. Particularly black women. Your pocket protector is in a bunch. You niggas commit okay. a lot of crimes and you know it. You are single mothers and you know are so right. tight. Right, okay, yeah. You wouldn't park your car in the hood and I keep <laughs> that door unlocked because you know a nigga will take the Listen, damn car. Listen, I'm to not going to put you in a locker. I know we you have PTSD. Go on mute. We need to stop I'm not going to take your lunch money and your pocket protector is in a pretending here. childhood like just trauma just, just made an appearance. Race. Carlton, no. I don't know what happened Carlton, to you as a you kid, call me, but you, know you are truth. safe you here. Know I'm the truth. Nobody is going to take your lunch money <laughs> here. No one's going to put you in, the in a locker. You don't live around niggas. Quit oh my God. Are you having a breakdown? Pretending that you're so yes, black. He is. Oh, oh my God. Yes, that you're black. Okay, you don't is. like niggas just as much as I don't like niggas. Just as much as okay. Divine. Okay. Like niggas. <laughs> Why are you here, Kayla? Like you don't live in the hood. Why are you here? Oh my God. You know what, you know what's your hood right now? I bet you go outside of Dakota second. You got a 12 bedroom house. You know, I'm I'm really Turn glad your that you're exposing your right true feelings because your everything you said has head really right come now. down to what you're saying now. Your BMW. You are not no hood chick. You speak intelligently. You are educated. You know damn well a lot of crime happens in the black neighborhood. You don't live around niggas. Are you I finished? Do for the black community, anybody does. I'm I taught in a public school. <laughs> How dare you disrespect me and ask me where my family's from? I this is very that. unbecoming of you as a man. You need to not. gather yourself, please. This is we not live in the town. You don't live in the inner city. I thought she said you were a gentleman. And he feels disrespected because Six asked where I, his I family don't want I literally came on here and did not bring anything to you. I and just you, don't understand. Your I mean, camera on six the goddess. Show us the hood you live in. Show us all your ghetto gang banging friends right now. Why do you I have so much you don't energy live around women. niggas? Your next door neighbors are neurosurgeons. Stop lying. Stop capping like you're some. Oh, I'm. You're I'm a black. grown no, you're man. Six what is? Goddess, are you okay? Lying. We've all been to your Instagram. He's not lying. lying. You live in a mansion. You live in a 12 Oh, room. you've oh, been on my oh, Instagram. Oh, okay. Six, I cannot stand you, Six. I can't stand you. 
Sorry, I had to play a little. I see wings. I think that he's having flashbacks from high school. Something. He's having some kind of memory come back. You don't know anything about me, ma'am. You need treatment for PTSD, and I'm being serious, Carlton. All I know is this. You're caping and you're lying. Listen, Carlton, I've come on here and I have not been able to say 10 words, Mr. Banks. Your hood, I ask you there. one you know question. Why? You don't live there, <laughs> and you are losing your mind. You don't drive a hoopty. You're lying. You drive a BMW. Oh my God. Show us your car. Cam Everyone, right let's now. just let Carlton finish. Show me your car. <laughs> your <laughs> pocket <laughs> protector you ain't got no damn is sliding Toyota out Corolla? of your jacket. Show us. You your need Toyota to straighten Corolla. your pocket protector your and retighten your suspenders. They're falling off of your shoulder. And your tidy whities are in a bunch. You need to pull them oh, out of your ass crack. There are is. no lockers you around. You are yeah, safe here. Me. We're not taking your lunch me. money. Take hey, a breathe oh, in, oh, 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 breathe oh, out, oh, please, oh, sir. Ahead, you Blue. are go about go to pop oh, a lung vessel. Oh, and I know I that you're not from America by your hairline. I know for a fact. That hairline is a non-FDA hairline. I don't know why I added you. That hairline says it all. So I knew from day you're definitely not American. Hold on. I wouldn't put that as non American. You are. You came from. Chaotic, where are you from? I hate you. I hate you. God damn, hold on. He's having a piece. He's having a post-traumatic yeah, breakdown. Damn, hold on, ma'am. I just got one thing, so we can at least get a uh, get some of this conversation. What did he say that was incorrect? So now he can address it. Okay, like I said, I did not come I'm on here to, to have out. a direct dialogue with him. Okay. I came on here to simply join the conversation in totality. Now, what I was asking when this conversation started is, what is our goal here? Is our goal here to say that black people commit more crimes or that white people don't commit crimes? Are we here to try to say that white people treat each other better than black people treat one another? My first question, because I've come in kind of late, is, what is the real goal and intention here? With everything being said, are we trying to say that as long as black people commit crimes against each other, that we are doing worse than white people are? Mm -hmm. Is the goal here to say that until we completely stop committing crimes, that we cannot complain? Yeah, what is yeah. the goal? Like 80, you like, like 80 questions in there, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I, she, I don't. She, she all she did was ask him where his parents were offensive. from, and he just, I just want to, I just want to know where mind. your parents are from. No, but, I, but look, it, 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 see, mind. that's why I say we're adults, we don't attack the facts. His parents don't have nothing to do with um, his. No, if we are no, speaking on the American justice system rhetoric, and his background right. is not American, yes, that is factual, and yes, that is a factor in this conversation. If I am not, if he's, if he is from Ghana and I'm not Ghanaian, I cannot go on his panel and speak to him about the Ghanaian justice system. I'm not from there. So me asking where he's from is actually a valid You have experienced that system. He experienced the American No, experiencing a system and coming from generations to generations from a different country is a totally different experience. This clarity Day that and he was and the reality is he knows it makes wasn't a difference. From here. He knows That's it makes a flipped. difference. And do you mm -hmm. know how I know that he knows it makes a difference? Because he won't answer the question. Get this triggered. woman off the panel. She is a she is everything was wrong with the black community. No, she, you oh are everything. God. She that sits is up wrong here. She because talks about oh, it is a why, why, why this about black people? Why that? On. I bet you don't live in the hood around these so-called black people that you're taking up for. I bet Sir, you got the hell out. I bet you don't live around. You don't know me at all right now. 
Show we are speaking about the right facts now. right now. I bet you, you know nothing about me. You I think that you because I can home. articulate I that I'm not from the hood whip. and that I'm rich and live I in a mansion. I bet you you don't live You don't know hood. anything about my background or where I live. You don't have any relations with those people you're talking about. I do because I was a school teacher. I taught in the public schools for over a decade. I would never let you teach my child. What school did you teach at so we never ever No, 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 no. You hold on because you don't live around these Sir, that you're trying to take until you no, recover you, from no, this PTSD attack us, you're having, I'm not. Ha it, I'm not talking to you any now. further. Prove it now. I am no longer show, giving you consent to speak to me because you are aggressive and you are and emotional no, 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 and you no, no, are no, having no, no, an mental breakdown and you are scaring me, sir. I'm scared. Yeah. Please stop That's talking cool. to me, and That's I do not give you cool. consent to speak to Get out of here, then, if you don't want to hear me. Get out. Hey, Bye. Get out. No, I don't have to get That's out anywhere. JR Everybody said, I can be you. here. This is not your panel. You cannot kick me out. Get her out do here. not speak to me anymore. You are too no, no, aggressive. No, 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 no. You disrespected me first. You asked me about my I parents. did not disrespect you, sir. My stop my lying. How is this disrespectful? I did not disrespect you at all. Do not my speak to me any further. You, you know. are no, being aggressive no, no, to me. No, no, no. I am my a woman. You are right, being right. an aggressive. No, you are no, being the aggressive black man. You were just No, no, I ain't about being a black man. I got you. Wait, wait, hold on, chaotic. Get her out of here. Six. No, six is staying. JR is controlling from behind the scenes. So now we're gonna move to scam likely. Scam, welcome to the panel. Six, you're free to stay. We're good. Oh, I know I'm free to stay. Carlton yes, Banks cannot kick me off this. Ma'am, 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 six. I'm already okay. mad. I, I didn't defend her. I didn't talk about her. Wait, hold on. Carlton hold on. Banks. Hold on. Hold on. The reality is this. Hold on. Hold on. What's wrong with Carlton this Banks? is the reality. One the, this is what it all comes you down to. Name, call him a name, call you. You're a single mother. How about that? Okay. Yeah. This you is what it all comes down to. Mother. Okay, thank you. This is what it all comes down to. What it all comes down to is that every crime. Can you, Go sir, ahead. can you shut up? You're a Every single mom. crime that is Get married. Show us your always wedding a ring. crime of proximity. Show me your wedding ring, ma'am. Sir, show, show me, me your, show wedding me your birth ring, certificate. <laughs> my God, we're to be in the same room with this woman. Show me the only your thing passport. You got going for yourself is you're tall. That's I it. mean, clearly you've been stalking me. You know everything about me. You know I got a baby. You know I'm tall. You know my Instagram. You love me. Your you be on my page so every God, day. What do you clearly, think it means? I don't know you. I've never heard of you in my life. Meanwhile, yeah, you're care. looking at my you're pictures every day. Not. You know how tall I, I am. You, you know where I live. You love your me. Mouth, am I the kind of black women that said no to dating you? In high school, yes. and that's why the minute yes. I came yeah, on this man. panel, you hey, attacked me. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Black hey. girls like me never gave it a time no. of day. Girl, so that's why the adult. minute I came on here and asked you one no question, girl, you an went into a post traumatic breakdown. I'm sorry. So, my point that I wanted to make when I came on here, I'm sorry. Six, six, can you imagine? Yes, six, Rilla. Wait, one second. I'm just saying one second. We're going to let you finish. And then well, we're gonna Rilla, I just want to make my point. I, I really I haven't been able to really speak to what I got on here. Because I have triggered her. Chaotic is the right name for him. I'm really sorry that women like me never decided to date you. But I never knew you. I'm sorry. I didn't know you. I really apologize. No, it's all I, good. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask you for this. Six. Get her let out you of finish here. your point. Chaotic. I'm going to ask you to stand down. Sorry. Respectfully. Sorry, I'm going to mute. I'm going to He's going to finish her point, and then we're going to move to Scam, and then we're going to move to Jay yeah, Prince. Submit to that man. Respect. Uh, uh, T, <laughs> I'm going to put you in timeout, T. Okay? Six is going to finish her point, then we're going to move to Scam, and then we're going to move to Jay Prince. Go ahead, Six. Okay, so what it all comes down to is this. Crime in general, 70% of crimes committed by any person of any race are committed against their own race. I remember when I was shopping for a Jeep Wrangler, the minute that I decided I was in the market for the Wrangler, all I started noticing was Jeep Wranglers on the road because I was specifically looking for this car. Now, all of a sudden, it seemed like I saw them everywhere. The way that this system goes is this. The police are nothing but an evolved form of a slave catcher. 
So this means that they are predisposed to seek out and capture black people. This is the foundation that they are built on. Now, it has been, this is factual. There has been studies on this. I can pull receipts on this if you would like, that black people are simply more likely to be looked to, to be committing a crime. If you go looking for something, you will always find it. Look at this most recent interaction that we're talking about with the Courtney Taylor and Christian Abum Saley. Courtney Taylor will not go into the books as a murderer. So does this mean that white people murder each other less than we do? No, it simply means that white people, due to the system, their crimes are not registered the same way ours would be registered. It is not about what is actually happening in real life. It's about what is reported. It is factual that white people are able to commit crimes and not even be arrested for them, not even be charged for them. There will always be instances where a black person may commit a crime and maybe they will not be charged, but it is a very rare occurrence to sit and say that as long as black people commit crimes against each other, that we are somehow undeserving or as though we are lesser or not as good as other races is not okay. We sit here and say that white people can get together and have fun and not commit crimes against each other. 90% of serial killers are white males. Almost every single mass shooter is a white male. These are white people that go in and kill each other senselessly. No race should sit and create the unrealistic expectation that we are not allowed to commit crimes against each other. Crime is simply a thing of proximity. So it's not well, fair for us to sit and something. say, oh, well, black people commit these crimes against me worse and white people don't. At the end of the day, you are not in the white community. You are not aware of the amount of crime that goes on, but they are simply not arrested for it and it's simply not reported. When it comes down to it, we cannot sit and say that we're only getting pulled over if we have a suspended license or if we have a light out. That is literally not true. And it's so easy to sit and say that because if you can't see past your own front porch, just because something doesn't specifically happen to you does not mean it does not exist. I know that diabetes affects majority of black people. I don't have it. I've never had it. But do I know that it is a thing that affects us as a whole? Yes. Just because it may not have happened to an individual does not mean it's a thing. I always wonder what is the goal when black people try to convince other black people that racism doesn't exist, that the justice system is not in balance towards us. What are you looking to gain from that? And Man, what do you do when the situation happens where Man, it is you just, and that on, not on, Because the reality is it doesn't happen to any of us. Finish. Fucking dumb. Let she her just, finish. I don't give a nigga. This is dumb. Let her finish. I don't give a fuck if it's dumb, Logic. Can you please? She said she got these stats. Drop Logic. Logic. Breathe and go eat your damn DoorDash no. sushi and this calm the fuck bad. down. Let her finish. I'm asking, can she, no, she can finish. Okay, I'm, let her finish then. I'm just saying, ma'am, can you please drop the stats in the back chat? I would like to review it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, you can go check out my most recent video. I dropped all the receipts, articles in there. I'm not about to sit and type that in here. I have it all in there. You can go look at it. Why you would so have to be a lot of ass. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out, one. sis. It's I'm like the, the amount of triggering. I'm, I'm really trying to understand why. I, I'm confused. It's because you're triggering. Everything I, I you said was true. No, it's I mean, not. It 90% of serial killers don't know. Some way because hey, I can't believe the serial killers are not yelling white. and cussing. That's not true. And why are you screaming Wait, and yelling and cussing at a woman? Because you are insufferable, 60 Goddess. I, I would have to be on blotter I've ass been on this AMP panel for five minutes you. And you. I'm insufferable. Let me ask you one question. No, she clearly, asked girl, he no. stalked you me. You came in disrespecting me, so I'm gonna disrespect you. I'm I did not disrespect you. And you're not going to disrespect me. I can promise you that. Well, you're absolutely listen, not going listen. to disrespect me. We're not gonna, you're a listen, single hold mother. Hold you're 35 hold years old. Hold Get out of here. Take care of your child. Hold on. Hold on. Why is he? Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Wow. When it's your channel and you host the panel, 
You can do whatever you want to do, bro. Yes. Sir. All right. Right now, right now, I'm moderating this shit right now. Okay. I got you. All right. Six, I, I appreciate you. Stay up if you want. You're more than welcome. Please, family, be respectful. Like, what the fuck? Scam. What you got for us, man? Welcome to the show. Chaotic thinks because he's in the upper left corner that he he thinks that because he's in JR's little spot. <laughs> right that he's JR's JR's and that and he just because insulting people left and right tonight. You, ladies, and he started you. off with it when you like he came at me when I first got it. on here. Like, why do men sit and talk your page? Family. They sit and talk everything and about you it. and then claim they don't like you. He talking about my height, like my age, my it. child. I Meanwhile, like I don't know anything about you. Like, like, sir, you're, you're clearly obsessed with me. Who said I didn't like you? I said you're, you're obsessed. I never said I didn't like you. You're obsessed. You just called me insufferable. Yes, you're, that a, you're obsessed, obsessed with me. Bro. Bro. You are a nag. You, you nag. You are literally you're obsessed with me. You're in love with me. I'm not in love with you. You're absolutely in love with me. First of all, you're a single mom. I would never be in love with you. You're in love with me. You're obsessed with me. Stop, stop. Clearly, you're obsessed. Thank you, Logic, for that. Listen, okay. Six. Thank you. Please stay up. Chaotic. I'm asking y'all for grace, please. We got to get through these calls. We got to get through these calls. We Y'all see the time. All right? I got to work in the morning. I want to fuck around with y'all. <laughs> scam, what you got for us, man? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Scam. As always, brother. What's the word? Oh, man. Am I going to be able up? to get eight words out? Damn. Yep, nobody's gonna interrupt you because Lodge is gonna set the timer up for you in a uh in a second. Lodge is gonna hit you with the timer. Oh uh, well, there is no black community, it's dead. Um, all this chaos that I see, this is actually I don't even have to say that many words. This proves what it is. Exactly. Does anybody want to participate in this? All right, like, what put, you got your mother, put your family in the, in the, in this. Are you serious? I why identify are you, as a, why are y'all here? Why are you here? You're participating in it right now. Matter of fact, you like about? the channel. These, these women cannot listen to you. So Three you seconds. Have oh. You have been talking Five. about how black Six panels seconds. are, and you knew that everyone here was black. You, you, you came here, here anyway. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. I'm just letting y'all know. Scam is 18, 19, 20 seconds in. He's got 120 seconds to get his points out. Mm -hmm. We on timers right. right now. <laughs> it's a shame. But it's usually the women talking over the men, and it's usually some dudes talking some old stuff and whatever. But when I go to the black community, which doesn't really exist, I look around, all I see is wigs. <laughs> wigs and more wigs. But I look around, Come on. all I see is wigs. All of three is weeks. Wow. Good night, everybody. Wow. I, awesome. Wow. Sam, you stayed up for that, man. I would. I had points, but they just wouldn't stop talking. They just wouldn't. It's but let me ask you this. So since when, as men, did we start navigating how we conduct There ourselves? is no we. We are well, done. The men? Men are done? No. Men have decided we ain't participating in that. So we're not going point, independent so, because okay. we can't work with this. This is, is this? death. That's a heart attack waiting. Okay. Can't nobody work with this. Look at it. Would you take twenty thousand dollars and invest in this? Do you, can you build with these people? Well, I'm, I'm like the one said that men should be building with men. So that's why they're jumping ship and going independent. This. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. If that's what it is, scam. Uh Simp Panderson. You got too many names for me, brother. Let me move on to um Jay Prince. Uh Logic say your time is up. Reset that time, Logic. Let me Good go night, ahead. Oh, Jay Prince, we staying on this timer, bro. All right. Nice shirt, though. Oh, uh, thank you. I want to go back when y'all was Hold talking on, with your old uh uh Joe Tory looking at with that shirt on by. We look at you, you're gonna roast me already. Look, you done took up 20 of my seconds, man. I get 40. No, nah, no, nah, look. Um, I want to go back when y'all were saying, uh, with the um, what women want from a man, and y'all got on the top about the safety when they got off that. 
I think that uh, women want more safety before provision. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a little side note. Like when I was with my girl that I was with like for five years, right? She's real beautiful and everything. I got her tattooed, or whatever. In our first relate in, in, in the beginning of our relationship, she should be treating me in all kind of way, making me feel like you know, like I, I'm should be grateful to have her, right? And I didn't like have that. much. I, I didn't have much then, right? But we went to the club, right? And this dude was sitting up there, was trying to holler at her, and she kept saying, "No, I got a man. I got to do whatever." But he got disrespectful. Then I hopped in, and we got violent. And she see in that particular in that particular uh, incident, I won with the little physical battle, whatever. Every since then, she was more submissive to me, to the point where it been times like in the beginning of our relationship, I didn't have a, a dollar. We lived in my van. And she still, men were still trying to holler at her, and she still stuck in that van with me and was telling shooting men down in the beginning of our relationship. So yes, um, I believe that women uh, <clears throat> women will rather have a man that's willing to uh, protect them and make them feel safe more than provision because women get, women will rive with you and help you you know build. <laughs> To get to wherever point that y'all need to get to, but she need to know if, if a if a woman got a man and men don't know other if other men don't know that her man will ride for her, she in a dangerous situation. Uh, ladies, if y'all get with a man and other men don't know that your man is crazy, crazy as hell, and don't and won't play about you, you in a dangerous situation. You might as well let dude go. All right, Jay Prince. Now I gave you extra twenty seconds because you said I took some time off. Damn, I was finna get to the last point. No, no, no. You got your own time of the night. Sit your ass right there. <laughs> Sit your ass right there. I'm what y'all think about that though? What you think about that, really? Uh, uh. Nope. We on time is tonight. I'm gonna be in Milwaukee in uh June for Juneteenth. I think I have an opinion, Mister. Juneteenth dead. I have an Milwaukee. Opinion. They Juneteenth. Okay, they they done know. shot up Juneteenth so many years. They don't really people don't really go no more. Oh man. Okay. All right. Go ahead, K. Out it. Go ahead, K. Jay Prince. Salute to you, sir. I think we've spoken before. Uh, no. The solution. I'm a solution based conservative content creator. Um, the the solution is is to stay away from niggas, uh, particularly black clubs, uh, because you go to these clubs and these things happen. Um, People are disrespecting. You said a man was disrespecting your uh, girlfriend, correct? Right. And that's typically what happens when you go to these places. You know, the best thing to do, and I, and I know you're grown, but I'm just saying this, and I said this earlier, uh, a nice walk in the park. I don't know if you're by a beach. Something safe where there's other groups of people around because there is a major problem that goes on in these communities. Mm -hmm. And I know I know uh, people are going to get upset with me. They're going to pretend like they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But you yourself said that you had to get violent with another black man because that black man disrespected your wife or a significant other. And this is this happens all the time. And, I, and that's all I'm saying. I, I, I do consultations on this with 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 the black problem. And we are a violent culture and we need to address this. But salute to you, sir, for taking up. For Why are we? Why are we? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on guys. Yes, sir. I got you. Jay Prince. I know how you do. Jr. We, we might need to look at getting him a contract to get him his own show because I know he'd be wanting to cook. And, and I get it because the, the question that I would have for Chaotic True yes, is sh I need so I need you to show me where you implement it. These solutions that you speak of and they work. Don't do it. it's rhetorical. It's rhetorical. Oh. We can come back to it in after hours if you're gonna stick around for after hours. Jay Prince, if you want to stick around for after hours, we can get it to it then. But right now, we're gonna get to Tamikia. Tamikia. Hey. Did I say it right, Tamikia? No, it's Tamika. My bad. Hey, Tamika. Why are you not cammed up? You the youngin, right? I am. I am. I am. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's late, y'all. Yeah. It's really late, y'all. It's like two o'clock in the morning, y'all tripping. Uh, um, people gotta work in the morning, but I did need to get on here. Um, is it chaotic? Dang, six drop down. I'm so yes, sad. Yeah, salute, salute to you, by the way, Tamika. How are you doing, sir? Well, you know, I, I live in the greatest country on the planet. Um, I believe that. I, I'm in all health, and um, I'm, I'm doing awesome, just like any other day. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, I just wanted to know why did you think it was okay. 
to come undone in the manner in which you did with six on this panel as a grown man. Okay. Okay. Hear me out for a minute. Let me ask you your first question. I know when dealing with black people and their questions, you're going to ask me a question and talk over me. Not you, but I, that generally happens. Six, the goddess, if you go back, came on this panel. She didn't say, hey, chaotic truth. Hey, how you doing, brother? Awesome. Good day to you like you did. You came on very pleasant and nice. Six, the goddess didn't. Six, the goddess said, where are your parents from? Where it is from? To me, that is offensive. It is offensive because she is implying something. Now, she didn't say what she was implying, or she didn't say it, but what she is implying is that I don't have a right to critique the very same community that I've taught in, that I worked in the courts for, and that I've done all types of community service engagement for uh, with my fraternity and with other social organizations that I've been a part of. There is a major problem in the black community. I don't care about what happens in rural white communities, in Asian communities. I'm not Asian. I'm not white. I care about black people. I don't have to worry about white people uh, gunning me down or doing anything to me. That's black people. So what I'm saying is that I have solutions on the black problem. And one of them is when I said, or I don't know if you've been listening to the entire uh, show. Yes, one of, problem, one of the problems saying. is that black people should bra embrace conservatism. Conservatism being, going back to how blacks were in the past, uh, the, the the importance of nuclear families. The Wrap it up, bro. It's the not yeah, I got you. The importance of not doing drugs and alcohol. And the importance of women especially being domestic. Even if we just did those little snippets, we will be a step closer to eliminating a lot of the social ills in our community. But Sixty Goddess didn't want to hear that from me. She came on, where your mom, who your mom, right, who, right, where they right, right, That's right, not right, at all right, what right. I said. Can, 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 can I stop lying on me? No, 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 Willa, 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 I'm sorry. Willa, I'm sorry. He lied on me, so I get to defend myself. No, no, you good, you good, Excuse me. All you gotta do is go back and listen to it. No, 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 no. Family. You're not gonna lie on me. Family. I did not come on Family. here and talk about who your mom is. I got you. Six, I got you. No, I would like to speak for myself, please. Any woman I would like to speak for myself, please. You gotta relax, bro. You gotta relax. I would like to speak for myself, please. You will say okay. Now if we're gonna speak wait, on what wait, actually six. happened. Wait, that's one finish. thing, but wait, you're not gonna wait, come in here. Wait, you're not gonna lie on me. I came in here and I asked you, where are your parents from? Why did you cut off to me? She wasn't done, ma'am. Pause. Pause. Everybody pause. At some point, y'all gonna have to let me, like I've been asked to run this, y'all gonna have to respect that and let me run it. I'm asking y'all respectfully. I'm gonna give everybody their time. Tamika, Thank you, you deferred your time to, 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 to Chaotic. He took up your two minutes. He actually took up, like, we gave him an extra 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to give Six an opportunity to respond. We're not gonna do a back and forth on this one. Six is going to respond, and then we go into Nathan. If y'all want to tune in for the after hours and finish it there, then we can. But we got to move this along. Whatever other callers we got left, because we coming up on five hours, and people got to go to bed. They got to work in the morning. We do the after hours, and then um, we get it in that way. JR, is this the last one? Oh, Lord. Why did you bring her up here? I, I was nice to you, Chaotic. I just want to make that point. I did not cut you off. I didn't do any All of those right. things that you said, but why is she on this panel? Hold on. Hold on. She She's she's entitled to be on the panel. She supports the show, but we're going to let Six. Logic, if you can start the two-minute timer, we're going to let Six respond, and then we're going to get to Mr. De Nathan. Okay? Okay. Uh, Chaotic, I need you, if you have a point, if you have a point, I need you to just put a pin in it. I don't think Six going nowhere. So I just need you to put a pin in it, and we'll go back to it in after hours. I'm respecting, sir. I'm on mute. Thank you, sir. I'm a piece. Go ahead, Logic. Go ahead, Six. Okay. First of all, I will not be lied on. I did not come on this panel and disrespect anyone. I did not come on this panel and say, who your mama is? I came on this panel and I said, sir, where are your parents from? So I just want to make that clear. I, didn't, I don't know this man. I did not come on here and disrespect anyone. 
Second of all, I think it's very ironic to sit and say that it's black people who are violent when white people have literally went around committing genocide, mass shooting, stealing people's land, and are the number one serial killers in the entire world. It's the irony. But it kind of just shows his mind and where it's at and how he perceives things. Because even when I, as a black woman, came on here and respectfully asked, where are your parents from? The way he heard it was, who your mommy is? So it goes to show that even if we are conducting ourselves in a normal manner, he has his mind made up already as to how he will digest it, which is why I wouldn't really even continue to entertain this conversation with him but i want to make it very clear that i was lied on and i did not come on this panel and say who your mama is and that's all i will say i only debate my equals everyone else i teach if you are uneducated on how all this works and you already have your mind made up to hear things in a certain way and that white people are good and we are bad then I won't have any conversation with you. But I want to make it very clear. I did not come on here and disrespect anyone. And do not speak to me any further. I do not give you consent to speak to me. You were extremely aggressive towards me. And I'm scared. And I would appreciate if the other men on the panel would enforce my saying I do not consent to him speaking to me any further and help me enforce that against him. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So wait, Can wait, I wait, 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 wait. Because I said at the outset... Uh, I'm, asking, I'm asking for men to be disciplined because I said at the outset, I'm going to allow her to respond because you invoked her name. Yes. And then if you have something else, I'm asking you to put a pin in it. No, no, it's not about her. It's not about her. I, I do have okay. to. So I, have, I, have I do want to get to Mr. Daly. Okay. Again, I'm real quick. Wait, wait, hold on. Logic, restart the timer because I'm going to give him 60 okay. seconds on this. Okay. The fact we got to use timers though. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it 60, 60 seconds? seconds? Okay. Again, and I'm going to respect the request if america or any other western country is so bad there are 60 plus african and caribbean nations where black people are the dominant population some countries have 99.9 percent .9 black bantu african people like Liberia does, for example. So if America is so bad, so racist, so oppressive, leave this great capitalistic country that has a great infrastructure, great education system, you could be anything you want to be here, leave this country and go live in one of these beautiful black African or black countries that people supposedly love and adore. So go there. I digress. Got thank you. you. Thank you, brother. Got you. Got you. I want to get to uh, Brother Nathan. I want to get to Brother Nathan real quick. Welcome to the show, Brother Nathan. You are now rocking with the greatest. <laughs> man. <laughs> you for the panel, man. Jesus Christ. I feel like I, I, I stepped into World War Five up in here. Y'all going back and forth. This shit is wild. Um, you know, I came to kind of make some corrections on some of the um, information that was being put out. Uh, statistics that um, was being talked about in reference to policing, reference to the violence in our communities. Um, I don't know where Six Goddess, uh, what's her name, Six? Well, I don't call nobody gods, but uh, wherever Six went, um, her information was grossly inaccurate. And I just believe that if we're going to be educating our people on facts and truth, we need to make sure we have the accurate information and we need to make sure we have a proper discussion about it. Since this, this, this channel, the Peace Channel, is a very powerful channel, you know, it commands the attention of a lot of our people in our community. And if we're going to talk about information regarding the black community in reference to police relations, uh, deaths, we need to have accurate information. Um, and so everything that I heard her say was, was grossly inaccurate. Um, and I How? Think I think it's something that needs to be discussed. I mean, we could talk about it one at a time because there's a lot of information. If you want to start with one section, we can we can pick it apart. We can start. Maybe maybe you and Six can team up and y'all do a YouTube discussion. It sounds like a far show. Approach her in the right manner, and I think she'll be down to have the conversation. She's really cool. I watch her channel and I support her. And Nathan, I like your perspective. I think it'll be an awesome conversation for the culture to see. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I could definitely Nathan. do that. Mm -hmm. Nathan, what was something that you heard? Because, I mean, there was a lot of stuff that was said. That was so actual fact. That... 
so 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 i know this isn't my channel but you guys to be honest and be completely honest i'm very transparent it's very impossible to have a conversation with people arguing and going back and forth so if someone's talking i just ask that if i'm up here let's all just be respectful because we can't educate anybody if we're going back and forth and cutting people off all right when we have these discussions and these conversations emotions need to be out of it i can show you guys where to find the information how to look it up yourself cdc fbi facts but until you know but honestly guys we cannot have this conversation with with people and their emotions because it's a difficult conversation to have all right so um <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hold on one second, brother. Mm -hmm. Um, logic. I know people were cutting in on him. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna offer him grace. Can you reset the timer, Nathan? I want to give you an additional two minutes, respectfully, <laughs> to address one thing that you heard that Six said, and nobody's gonna cut you off. Sounds you good. Address it, and if anybody has something to add or to, I guess, counter or whatever. Just, I'm just asking that you put a pin in it really quick. Logic, is you there? Logic, you off your you, square. I know. Just, All right, hold on. One second. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot. There was a couple things. She talked about, I think I heard something about slave patrols, that policing started from slave patrol. Mm -hmm. That's not true at all. That's absolutely not true. I challenge everybody to do their own research. It's not true. Slave, slave patrolling actually started in the South. Policing already existed in the North. It had nothing to do with that. When the South learned how to police, it was already taking place in the North. The first police departments were New York and Boston and Chicago after that. And then as policing went to the South, the slave patrols who were actually slave patrols, they were people who volunteered to catch slaves. When their police departments formed, the slave patrols signed up to be police officers. That's the origin. All right. I have a video on my channel. I have the receipts under the video and you can do your own research. In reference to, I believe someone said something about the homicides in the black community. Um, Chaotic said 3% of black men. No, black men make up approximately 6% of the black community. We are about 13.5% of the population. When it talks about violent crimes, black men commit the most of the violent offenses in this country. We commit almost half of the violent offenses in this country. Who commits the most crime in general? That's White people. Yep. White people are 60% of the population. They commit the most crimes. Blacks commit approximately 50% of the violent offenses. We kill each other approximately 6, 000, approximately 7.5. 7,500 homicides on average a year committed by black people. White people kill themselves approximately a year, 4,000, and they're 60%. I think, I think Six said something about proximity. Proximity is irrelevant. Proximity has nothing to do with the amount of crime that black people commit against themselves. It's far too high. We're only 13%. So I don't know why people say that, and I don't know why people say disproportionate, because crime is about crime and, and the effect of crime and policing has everything to do with behavior. So again, you know, we have to be very mindful when we throw these numbers out. Um, in reference to that, I know there's a lot of stuff said. There's just a lot of information. Like I said, we need to correct uh, that data and that statistics. And in reference to policing, black officers started policing in this country in 1867. All right, so let's be clear. The first, first African-American started policing in Alabama, and then I believe Louisiana had the largest police department than Texas. All right, so we got we to gotta understand our history before we start speaking. I suggest we bring up people who are qualified to talk about it so that we don't confuse our community about information and spread unnecessary propaganda. That's how we get shot by the police, because we think that the stuff the media is teaching us it's fact and it's not. And just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. So for any conversation people have about what black officers have done, I mean, what, what white officers have done to black people, I can show you two other situations where a white officer has done the exact same thing to a white person. All right. So we just have to be careful. We have to be mindful. It's one thing I talk about all the time on my channel. 
Um, so if anybody has any questions, I can I can answer anything directly. Appreciate you, Nate. Are you, you willing to stay up for a second? Oh, absolutely. OK, thank you. Bro. Question, Nathan. Do you think mm -hmm. that um, there is there are racist practices in the criminal justice system? Absolutely. OK, I was just checking. Yeah, the problem is the problem is there's racist people everywhere. And white people are 60 percent of the population. Black people are 13 percent. We, we don't even have our hands in businesses and professions that we should have our hands in. So the more that we don't step up and actually put ourselves in position of power, we're basically saying we're allowing white people to do the job for us. I get insulted. I get dragged. They call me names. They call me a sellout. They call me a slave catcher. They call me an Uncle Tom for being a police officer. I know black men and women who will be great police officers that want to patrol our community but choose not to do it because they feel like they're going to be ridiculed and disrespected by their own people. So, again, you know, we have 700,000 police officers that patrol this country <coughs> of 300 and what, 50 million people, right? And on top of that, 700,000, there's 12 percent of them are African-American. So, again, we don't have enough black people who do this job or want to do it. Fear of retaliation. Right. We glorify our gang members. We glorify our drug dealers. We do not glorify the positive things in our community. So nobody wants to do the job. You know, so if, if we're not we're not present. No, nope. I appreciate that, uh, Brother Nathan. I just, just if you're going to hang out for a second, please do. I just want to acknowledge uh, Jedi Mike um, pulling up to the panel. Jedi Mike, man, we so proud of you, my G. Um, welcome to the panel. What you got for us, bro? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... That, uh, thank you for having me. But yeah, I was kind of sitting back here watching just the, you know, craziness of what's been going on for like the last three hours and stuff. Um, but again, like the sentiments or whatever, I'll just share what's going on. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous going to a point that we are continually divided. Um, I agree, share with Tamika. I think that on that particular topic for you, Nathan, and knowing what you do on your platform, I think it'd be better, probably a better space to have that with six to hopefully try and break that narrative. Um, hopefully have a conversation. I know she's willing to have that with you. You know, I also watch her, her content as well. But yeah, that's just kind of like merely my two cents on that. I got a question. So I want I want to add this point, real. Check this out. In the chat right now, they call him a pig, right? And so, so wait, let, let, let me get it. Is let me let me take this shit off. That's what he is. All right, your pig. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He good. He good. He good. He good. He good. I got it. I got it. You a pig? And you a dumbass nigga. No, you the dumbass niggas. I'm telling you. Fuck you, you puss ass nigga. That's the dumbass nigga shit. You dumb as fuck. This okay. Man, you, this man do what your sorry ass couldn't do. And well, you 12 I'm with him then. Fucking pig. You a 12 with him then. Okay, yeah, bitch. Guess what? <laughs> Yo, logic. Guess you what? was a bitch. Fuck that whole shit. This is our problem. Well, I know how you don't call that man a pig. How, how come you gonna keep me with me though? Yeah, and he, he probably did more in his fucking goddamn life as a cop. Did you? Did guess what? You a fag. Logic. Wait a minute, Logic. Yo, you got yo, to come go. on, man. Come on, you bro. You got to go. Hey, you got to go. Wait, let me let me say this. Let me say, know, this. Man. let me say this. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sense, Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. And let ridiculous. me say this. Let me say this because I know Jay Prince what? still listening. Let me say this. Let me be clear. That was no, bro. That was just no logic. Hold on. And that's why I was asking. Let me handle that part. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm a man. I can handle. No, you are, but I'm talking about the part. No, bro, 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 I did 22 fucking years in the army. Facts. I didn't got shot. I didn't jumped out of airplanes. I didn't did all kind of crazy shit. And for some sorry ass nigga to see and say somebody to do something, I agree with you. And his ass won't do. I agree with you. For him to call somebody a pig I and agree. for the chat to be dropping pigs. Mm -hmm. That's that. That and 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 that's what I was about to address. I just would address it different than you, logic. That's all I'm saying. So no, let me say no. this. Let me say this. Wait, wait, you logic. Gotta, you gotta go give. Go, go, go ahead. I, I, let me bro, say this. I had look, I had niggas die. 
I had niggas die. Hey, and niggas get called pig. Niggas get called coons. Hey, listen, listen. Let me say y'all, let me tell y'all niggas something. In the chat, man. You know what? Because I know this. At the end of the day, all that race shit go away. We deal with common sense. Everything that Nathan said was the same thing man chaotic truth was saying the whole night. Everything he said, he got them took all our talking points and put it in a five minutes. And they can't deal with facts. So now since this man said this, now they're going to discredit him by calling him a pig. You got chats in there saying, good old boy, he's a pig, he's a pig. You dumb as hell. You dumb as hell. Because if something happened to your house, your car get broken into, something happened to your mama, who the first person you calling? The police. With your 12 ass. And I'm going to tell you something. I know plenty of good people in Chicago that work for CPD. And, 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 and Cook County Sheriff, right? I got a couple of them. I know people in Atlanta, APD, Cobb County, right? Apparently, I know two people on DeKalb County now, right? For y'all to sit up there and say, pig, yo, we so fucking, we fucked up with this 30-year mentality of fuck the police. You complain and then don't contribute to the solution. So it's easy for your goof ass to sit up there behind your keyboard and say pig. And you don't even know the work that you ain't even did the knowledge on the work that this man was doing. This man was drug on 285. That's what the fuck logic was talking about earlier. The person that was drug on 285 by a black man, that's the person sitting right in front of you that you say in a pig. And you know what he could have did? And I said this on this show. He could have walked up, said, all right, niggas, y'all got it. I'm out. I got my retirement. I got myself, I got all, I, I, I'm good. And you know what he still say? I'm trying to translate. I'm trying See, to translate. Uh, and bring, real, hold real. on, Logic, hold on. You can put the time on me. You can put the time on me. No, I, just, I, just, I just want to address something I saw, right? Real quick, right? Oh, I ain't looking at the chat, man. No, no, no. I, want, I, just, I got to address this, right? I saw Six of Goddess got in her feelings because he disproved her points. And somebody told him he was a cop. And she said, oh, makes sense. Well, they can have a conversation, Logic. See, this is... Can I please I say something with you? Can I, really, can I... Hey, hold on one second, Chaotic. Just, okay. just, just one right. second, please. I need 50 seconds. That's all I need whenever you... No, 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 I got you. And Logic will set the time or whatever. You can do okay. that. But what I'm saying is what I'm trying to really get my people to understand. Like, y'all y'all really, y'all really don't know, man. Y'all don't even know how many black police officers in Chicago retired this year. You know what type of deficit that put us in? For people to be able to police the community that my grandma live in still, the people that I'm in, the people that I love in, in the city of Chicago, and we complain about what white officers do in our community, y'all ain't signing up for the job. You'd rather run around here and say, 12, fuck 12, fuck police, pig. You rather hurl accusations at this man that you don't even know the work that he's done or how much he's sacrificed for the betterment of our community, which is one of the things that I connect to and get skewered for, right? Like for me, I get skewered for, for, for having a heart for my community. This shit is crazy to me that you keyboard gangsters, I ain't even looking at the chat. You keyboard gangsters and keyboard warriors would talk all this dumb shit without no information, no fact. You don't even know who the man is. And you would disparage him as opposed to saying, man, what is it that you do, actually? Let me learn your story. How can I benefit? How can I uh, support Blue Phoenix? How can I support what you're doing? If you're going to be the translator... Chaotic, I'm going to let you go, but I'm just saying, man, this shit irks me because this is part of what keeps us divided. Not only are we in this fake-ass gender war, but now we still waging this 30-year fuck the police. The sentiment, and I heard you break this down before, Nathan, and I'm not trying to ride your coattails or nothing, but I heard you break it down before. The sentiment around that time, there was some valid concerns. There are valid concerns now. It's still our valid concerns, and we can address that and have that conversation. But this whole concept around fuck the police, let me tell you something. Hey, man, one of you gangsta-ass niggas come around here doing some shit that threaten me and my boot thing, nigga, I'm telling. I'm telling on all you. I'm a taxpaying civilian. I'm telling. The first person I'm going to call is the police, and I hope the person that shows up looks like Nathan. 
Go ahead, Chaotic. I gotta say this, and I and and I, I, yeah. Look at South Africa after apartheid, when the military and when the police were reduced, the South Africans, the black ones particularly, and even to this day, are extremely violent. In Liberia, when the police force was taken away, and Charles Taylor, uh, you guys can look this up, when Charles Taylor and his son took over the country, there were horrific acts of violence that I, I, that I had. I, listen, I thought I've seen some things in my life. Just check out the civil war in Liberia and see what happens when the police and the military leave the country. There are other African nations like this. There are South Asian Af I mean, there are South Asian countries where you reduce the police or, you, or, or the military is dissipated. It's utter chaos. The same thing in America. A lot of black liberals, such as a lot of the people that have been talking, they want nothing but to destroy this country. So how do you do it? You take away the police and you take away the military and you disrespect the very same people that stand opposed to protect you. And that is a black liberal problem. You hear so many black people disrespecting the military in this country, this country that has made our people wealthy. We black people experience more wealth and resource here than anywhere else on the planet. But to sit here and say that this man is a pig, I'm appalled by it. But it goes. Can I respond? Can I respond? Give me a second, sir. Give me a second, sir. Give me a hold second, on, sir. Hold on, Jay Prince. You'll have a chance. Was done. The chaotic. Again, everything Nathan said was respectful, and I'm glad that he condensed it and made it simple. Mine was chaotic. I will admit that. But he said the same thing that I was saying. This man put his life on the line and he got caught a pig. It's it's appalling. And that's why people like Candace Owens, people like uh, Officer Tatum, people like Jesse Lee Peterson, who people clown. Black people don't like them because they are speaking facts. They are speaking logic and critically thinking. And they're pointing out black idiosyncrasies. They still put pigs in the chat. This is crazy. I'm taking. I'm taking. You don't, I'm taking you don't run shit, Logic. You don't run nothing. Hold on, hold on. Hey, shit, you put on, hold on. Up, nigga. Logic. 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 I'm taking care of the chat. Logic, you gotta relax, man. You can't control I'm that. I'm taking oh, care bro, of the chat. I just know oh, this shit. This shit is real, man. It okay. is. Look, no, I'm just saying. And then watch this. I'm gonna say this. Not only that, but when that woman was up here and and the chaotic the truth was arguing they was arguing back and forth me and you tried to stop it multiple times we couldn't control it right she started name calling then he started name calling but did anybody hear that she said she feel uncomfortable yes i heard her say it several times she said it several times. You are being super aggressive. I am uncomfortable right now. I do not feel safe. She said it several times when she got yes, back on the panel. She said it again. That's why I came up here and said, No, 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 baby, baby, baby. Why is she? What you know what that is? See, you think you thought I was talking about something totally different. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You just proved my point. Mm -hmm. And she went in the chat and said she was just playing. Did you know that, Tamika? Just playing with what? In what regard? She definitely came up here and said she was uncomfortable. That he, feel, that Tamika, he feels unsafe. Tamika. So the I, you, yeah, you, the I, you bit the trap, Tamika. Yeah. So Tamika. the idea of that is that women can use their femininity, being a woman, yes. to say, I feel uncomfortable, I feel safe, yep. to make the man an aggressor. Yep. And that's, that's exactly the idea. Actually, 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 can I say no. something in response to? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, baby, hold up. It was my point. She weaponized this on a panel in front of two thousand people. She weaponized her feminine energy in front of everybody and used it against this man, and we saw it. I agree with you, but Logic. No, but you was coming up here. On some totally different energy, sis. Mm -hmm. You just I, said it. 
I came up here on the energy that when she was up here weaponizing her femininity, whether you believe she was being sincere in it or not, you could have still stopped the conversation, pointed out that she was weaponizing it, but also checked him too. She went was listening to us just like we he went to us. We tried to do that, though, Miss Tamika. We tried to do that. We tried to do that. And so, and so this becomes the thing. All of us can sing together. We can't all talk together, man. We yeah. can all sing together. We can't all talk together. And everybody is so anxious to get their points off, have these gotcha moments and get these viral clips off. Like, and I'm not saying that was the case with her or whatever. I'm just saying all this shit that I'm hearing about my, my man Nathan right now, like, and I know logic by it because I know for a fact that motherfucker will run down from the rooter to the tutor what he sacrificed being in the military. And it really ain't no difference. I'm, I'm saying, and I'm not saying this disrespectfully, but I'm saying between police and the military, we're still talking about prevent protection of the people. We're still talking about servants. Still talking about people committing their lives who don't have to. And for people to be disrespectful, call somebody a pig, Fuck 12. It's going back to what Logic was saying. And I agree with you, Logic. You said, yo, if you if you're a law-abiding citizen, I agree with you in a sense, Logic. I'm not backtracking on what I said earlier, because that still stands. But I agree with you in a sense. Most times, I say nine times out of ten, if you're a law-abiding citizen, you ain't got shit to worry about. You get pulled over, you run your license, you give them your uh insurance card, and you be on your fucking way. It's only when you got dope in the car, you got the whole tied up in the back, and you got the you smuggling whatever you smuggling. That's when you're concerned. But see, Rilla, how can we expect our men to be protectors when we violate the people who protect us? I agree with you. All That's these protection cool, conversations we have. Not cool. Look, this, this, this man got violated to his face. Jay Prince had the nuts to sit here. And say this to this man's face. And it don't was know what he went through. I agree and with you. And then now he thought he thought that I'm gonna say like this: Jay Prince ain't fucking with you, bro. Cause see, that's a big violation. I agree with you. And I and, and I tried hard to fuck with you. When you violate a man like that, and you scared to do what he do. Mm. Hey, look. Let me say this, and I hope. Um, I hope Nathan don't um uh, shit whatever. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what I sent you earlier. I hope you don't mind. Just off the strength of the show that he was on last night, I already saw it in his face what he was going through and what he was dealing. With. I seen him get on panels plenty of time and people just disrespecting to his face like he ain't shit. Uh, hey, look look at the puss ass nigga in the back chat. Wait wait hold on hold on hold on logic no, hold on. They don't see it logic. Yeah, they don't oh, see it. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't address it. Don't address what I'm it. Saying. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I had to send Nathan on my heart. It was on me to send him words of encouragement. Yeah. I told that man, I appreciate you. We need you. Keep your hand to the plow. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Like, I support you. We riding with you, right? My man said I needed those words at this time. Now, he could have just brushed it off, but I'm sitting up there like, you don't even know how that messed me up, Nate. Because I was sitting up there like, man, why would he need to hear that at this time? I knew you needed to hear it, but I just think it's jacked up that you, that even the fact of me sending that, the fact that I seen it on, it, I seen it last night, bro. Like, this shit got to stop, fam. Because if y'all defund the police and ain't no police and you goofy niggas left the police yourselves, yeah, this shit going to be on some, um, what's that shit logic? What's that uh, purge? Purge anarchy for real. That's what I said. It's gonna be purged for real. Yep. And there's so many examples out here in, in different countries with blacks, especially. <laughs> you know, um countries, we can go different communities right yep. now with this purgings. Look at Detroit. I hate to say it, but look, look what happened when, when when instability arises in the government and there's lack of police. Listen, man. Let me let me say this. Let me say this to you, Jay Prince. I respect you. I think you're a street dude. I respect all that. Let me tell you something though. If you're a street nigga doing street nigga shit, expect to get hunt, expect to get street nigga consequences. Right. You can't be running out here 
calling folk pigs and this, that, and third or whatever. Woo, woo. Now, if there's there's dirt that's been done, and I get it. Like I said, I've been pulled over, and I felt like I've been profiled before. I don't hold that type of disdain for the officers of the law. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. It's like when Logic was saying, I don't agree with what Logic was saying in totality when he was saying, like, yo, probable cause and this, that, and third. And I, listen, I don't agree with it, but it is what it is, man. Let's get some more brothers that look like us on the force. Let's get some more sisters that look like us on the force. Why? Because when they see us, they know what it is. They know what it is, whether I'm going to work early in the morning or whether I'm coming home from work late at night. They know what type of time I'm on. They know I'm not sitting out here doing nothing nefarious, whereas other people from other communities, that's police in our community, who don't live in our community, who are not familiar with our community, they might not have that same, like they might not know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they look at it, they don't see it the same way. But see, what, 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 what? See, this is the difference with cops. Because when I went to the army, at least I was just around all army people. I was in an army community. It was easy for me. But imagine a cop, right? Like a cop, you got to go out there and you got to be in the community. And I, I don't get it. Like I said, it's it's all this pig talk, and you saying we need to protect our community and people need to do it. But when when cops looked at it as as, as shit, especially black ones, and guess what? You got a point. It is some shit, black cops. But goddamn, it's shit people everywhere. I mean, do we not have that same logic to understand that? Hey, I goddamn. 10 people in the United States, two of them are going to probably be shit. Logic. They're going to be cops. Logic. Out of 10 cops, you might get two of them shit. That's logic. 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 Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am, you can. Okay, so I just wanted to come back on because you brought me up. And I wanted to ask why when I said, hey, this man is, when I came on the panel, I came on and I asked him a question, okay? He could have simply said, um, I don't want to answer the question. Instead, he went off on an entire rant. We are going to sit here and act like he did not get aggressive, get loud, start yelling. This man got extremely aggressive, then started attacking my motherhood, talking about I'm a single mom, I'm did all this. So then when I have to defend myself, then all of a sudden I'm playing the victim. This, if this man did not get aggressive towards me, imagine him speaking that way towards me in real life. Imagine me as a woman having this man yell and scream and go off like that in real life. So if I sit and say, Hey, this is making me uncomfortable. He is going, he is being irrational. And then at this point, I'm checking out because I'm not about to sit and go toe to toe with a man. I've never done that. And I'm not going to do that. OK, so I don't like how you're painting this picture as though this man was totally respectful and calm. And I just decided to be a Karen and act like I'm I'm, you know, he's about to come through the phone and slap me. The reality is. The way that he was speaking was unnecessary. As a man, you don't need to speak at a woman that aggressively. You just don't need to do it. This has nothing to do with being a Karen or using my feminine. Six the Goddess. Okay, so I thought we weren't going to talk about me, but let me real quick, just 10 seconds. Six the Goddess, you can rest assured that I would never in a million years have a conversation with you in real life. You, again, if you listen to the first 10 minutes of me coming on here, you would already know. I mean, it's your behavior, your decorum. Absolutely not. I wouldn't even talk to you in real life. Yeah. I mean, if she had that question for me, I was finna address it, but I'm not going to address it if she's not up here. So I would definitely address it. And then the replay will prove everything. I, I sat back and I watched everything that happened, sis. And I saw your question. You came up here and you said you got smoke for him. Your words was the brother all the way to the left of the panel. That was your exact words, sis. That is not disrespectful or aggressive. I don't know his name. I'm asking his name. Yes, but this is what you did, sis. I, I can run it back. You said, you, you came up here and you said, 
Uh, well, I ain't really got nothing or whatever, but I got something for the brother all the way on the end of the panel. No, and I said I have a question. I said, hey, I have a question. And we can, I mean, it's on camera. We can run it back. Yeah, what I, I said I, is, I, I have, I have said, a question. I, I, I said, what is the brother's I, name to the right? Ma'am, ma'am. And, you see, you see, and I said, where, can I ask where are your parents from? Please oh, explain ma'am, to me ma'am, how ma'am. that is disrespectful. That's exactly what I said. You, you don't got to repeat it. I, we, we heard it. I saw it. And when can you, you did, explain how that's disrespectful? Ma'am, it's just like this. I coming up on your panel, right? Or I'm come on the panel. And the first question I have you, I said, six, you got any kids? When it has nothing to do with the conversation. If we're having a conversation about parenting and you ask me if I have kids, it would have something to do with it. But we're ma'am, having a discussion. You please, logic, let me answer your question. Mm-hmm. You're having a discussion about the American justice system. I'm asking where you're from. That question had something to do with the subject. How was that? What color are your panties? Oh, hold on, chaotic. Hold on, chaotic. No, ma'am, seriously. What ma'am, color are your panties? Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, wait, ma'am. ma'am. No, no, seriously. Yes. No, I want to ask a question. What color are your panties? Hold on, hold on. 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 Let me answer your question. Right? First, you asked him where he was from, which really had no merit to the conversation because You're speaking he, on the American you, government. Ma'am, can you let me finish though? It had nothing to do with the conversation because he already stated that he was born here in the United States. So now then you went on. And asked him where his parents from. So you was looking to prove some type of point. No, I came on. The first question I asked was, sir, where are your parents from? I did not ask where he was from. I said, where are your parents from? I had just came into the conversation. That's what I'm saying. It seems like I don't know what had happened prior, but I had just came on to the conversation. I said, where are your parents from? That is not a disrespectful question, but, and it does not warrant aggressive this, behavior this, this in problem, response. Ma'am, is you yeah. was listening. I saw you in the chat coming in on the top. When I, JR texted me, I got off of there, and I was trying to get on. I don't know what he had said prior to those minutes between me getting onto the panel. When I came on, I asked him, where are your parents from? You're still not describing how that's disrespectful to warrant him to be so aggressive. Yes. Like, why can't we have a conversation? Why why can't we have a conversation? So no. why is it that his behavior towards me is completely ignored, but my response to his behavior has become the real problem? But ma'am, if you don't understand, they're just like we having a conversation about uh, men and female and relationships. And I said, hey, six of goddess, do you got an ass job? Like it really now that would have nothing to do with it. But if we're having a conversation about the American justice system, asking it where someone's background is is relevant. Is is he could have been from Paris. Logic. Hey, no, let answer no, this question. Ma'am. Hold up. So hold are up. you saying can I make a, st- can I make a statement? Question. Can I make a statement? Right. Because why hold you on, don't hold on logic? Can I make a statement? Because um the point Lo- I'm sorry, is, I wasn't done asking my question. But what you logic. what you're about to say logic. is irrelevant because it's not pushing the this. conversation forward. Is if we are hold having a second, conversation six, about six, the government six, within a certain six, country, six, asking if second, that person's six, background six, is from that country six, is not relevant to the conversation. No, it is not, and I'll I'll explain to you why. I wasn't talking to you. I'm sorry. I'm I aware really that would like you're not, but you're not. But I'm I'm the one that's qualified to have the conversation because I've done the actual job. I worked in the criminal justice field. I, I really came on here because Logic had said something about me, right, and I was simply trying to since, ask him Logic, man, about Logic, can I ask you something since since you're moderating oh, this oh, channel? Oh, 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 only, only one turn to an argument. I'm going to just say this to you, Six Goddess. I'm going to just say this to you. Hey, look, I have nothing against you, I, and it, I'm, I always call it fair straight down the middle. That's it. I have nothing personal against you. I saw it. I called it out. I still think you got them. You cool. But... okay. I just I got you're still I got, not explaining how what I said was aggressive and you're still not explaining it was why not, his, his cannot, response was not prove uh-huh. that that had anything okay. to do with that topic. If you want to be Am honest, I, you took a shot at him. Am I bothering you? You bothering me? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, we could talk about how women weaponize the use <laughs> of them being afraid against other men and get That's them in trouble. 
We can discuss that. I'm sorry. And then laugh about it as if it's funny. I'm sorry. I'm talking to my man. I'm sorry. No, I wasn't talking fine. to you. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> um, so so okay, can we discuss Can we so discuss good. the criminal justice system? I think it's a good topic. We can segue in. Yeah, we can yeah, we move on. I'm and, good. you know, if you got to deal with your man six, you're more than welcome to handle that. I'm feeling like a woman to make me a sandwich. I'm hungry. Y'all got my sushi cold. <laughs> La Pizza and got my sushi just, cold. If she just did that, go make a sandwich for her man and get off the panel. I don't understand why she just won't do that. No, bro, bro, come on. Let, 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 let her be, bro. Let her be. Let, let it be. The reason the reason why I think it's interesting is because the, the reason why I think it's interesting is because I'm also a foreigner and I've worked in the criminal justice system. So based on her logic, she's basically saying that my statements aren't valid either and I can't speak on it. I've worked in the black community for 13 years. My whole family's Jamaican. So based on her logic, what I have to say and what I do is not valid. And that's why I have to push back on that statement. So to, to your point, logic, regardless of where chaotic is from, how ridiculous his statements may seem, if facts are facts, they don't care about your feelings. Six. Hmm. I think her man getting that sandwich that I want. <laughs> yeah, move on. Let him let him do his thing. He's a good man. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> People like to leave with their insecurities. No one asks if you had a man at the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It has to be a white guy or something. There's no way in hell somebody <laughs> black. Oh, 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 this is amazing. Man. No, this is insufferable. Like I'm telling you, she got me out my square. I'm just saying, it's not necessary. It's insufferable. Not chaotic. That, that's, 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 Courtney, I gotta call it like it is. I mean, even okay, with me, but you're, I mean, you're doing it. It's yeah. absolutely uh, white man. insufferable. You have to be drunk. No, wrong right. Right. Okay. That's the same thing I told her by asking about your parents. Thank you. What, what race her man is don't got shit to do with the topic. No, I said I would hope that. Okay, I'll probably thank you. Yeah, uh, no, this is amazing. amazing. I, 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 I don't say whatever they want to say to me, but then when I respond, I'm the problem. No, I can't believe I know, that. Ma'am, I called it. I called them out for that. <laughs> I said it had nothing to do with it. Did I, not, man? <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've been calling pigs and police in the back. Chat. <laughs> I've been uh, timing out everybody. <laughs> oh man, I feel the too pain. It's all good, but uh, Nathan, I really got there. Want to um, just hear your shit though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff that I want to. Um, I think it's it's truths need to be bought to a lot of stuff. Um. Because I know a lot of the techniques that we used to use in the military, I see y'all use in the police force. And then with this whole um, George Floyd situation, um, I got a a picture with me wrapping up an Afghani. Right. Use that same technique that was trained to me. Yep. Same technique that this guy got life in prison for. We was trained that way. So, I mean, I don't want to get all into it now. I know this. It's all over, but yeah. I would love to have a conversation with you, brother. No, no, absolutely. I think the biggest problem we saw today, we got that that shooting in Grand Rapids. You know, the issue is the officers aren't trained well. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't train, they don't train as much as as the military. That's the biggest problem right there. You know, the officers are doing too many jobs that they're not qualified to do, and they're mm -hmm. asked to do things that, you know, first we're picking officers from the bottom of society's barrel and giving them all kind of power. A lot of people don't realize that the majority of this country supports law enforcement. They can't do any wrong. So, you know, that's one of the big issues. There's too much, there's too much pandering for officers. So, you know, the training is bad, right? You know, I, I trained for six months in my department, but the average is like three months for everybody else. Um, a lot of officers don't, yeah, a lot of officers don't have any type of self-defense or combat tactical training. So if an officer can't use their hands, they're going to use their gun. You know, if you put an officer in a position to where they're scary and they're, they're afraid, then they're going to use their gun and the law is going to support it all the time. Because at the end of the day, the law always looks at you can't resist arrest. Right. So that's one of the biggest reasons why a lot of us in our community get shot. You know, there's always those small, those small cases where officers just bad at their job 
and you get shot or whatever, or the officer's lying or the officer's racially profiling. But overall, the majority of the shootings are justified, you know, and each shooting has to be examined individually. The one in Grand Rapids, you know, it looks tragic, but we have to separate the morals from the law, right? Morality versus legality in a sense. And sometimes when you look at the moral aspect of the shooting, it doesn't look good, you know, according to society. But when you look at the law, it's justified, you know? So we have to make sure we understand a lot of us in our community, we don't even know our own constitutional rights. So you could be violating, you don't even know it because we don't know the law. But see, I think that's a good point though, because a lot of people don't think about it like that, is that the military go to war, but yeah. we always got time to come back and train. Correct. And we and we constantly training in comparison yeah. to a police after he finished his academy, he's go out right into pretty much yeah. war. Yeah, and every day. He's constantly in war. Yeah. So he don't have that training. I mean, right. in my opinion, I think that uh, if you want that that type of you gotta you gotta put your money where your mouth is. You gotta pay for it. It's expensive. Yeah. You so, you got you gotta you gotta incentivize it to make it. It's ways that we can do it that I yes. think that I mean it's a, the big agenda. I don't think they want it to be, be white. I believe that. Well, Nathan, you, Nathan, you, oh, Nathan mm -hmm. you said that you just said um, that the training is bad. You also said that the police are picked from the bottom of the societal barrel or whatever. You said both of those things. Mm -hmm. So if that is the case, based on what you just said. Why is it far fetched for people to believe and see that police often do things that are not justifiable, um, especially as it relates to like racism and things like that? You just said they don't get good training and that they are the worst people, like picked from some of the worst people in sight. You said that. So then, how can you then turn around and say these things are justifiable? Like, what? Please make that make sense. I think I think you I think you're conflating some of the things that I said because they're all they're all different, right? So, what's justifiable is actions committed under law, right? So, for example, if we take a shooting, for example, all you need are certain boxes to be checked to be justified. If you don't know that, then you will look at a situation and you will make an emotional argument. You will look at it and say, "Well, morally, this doesn't look right." But I can tell you by the law, the way the statute was written, this officer is justified. For example, right? If you take an officer's taser and point the taser at the officer, the officer by law has the right to shoot you and kill you before you pull the taser, before you pull the trigger. So, if you okay. have it, uh, you, okay. What are the wrong things? Let's maybe from your point, maybe we'll go at it from this angle. Mm -hmm. Because you said that the police are hired from the bot. You said bottom of the barrel. That was your words. And you said that they do not get good training. Mm -hmm. So what are the effects of this? If you don't think that any of the effects are, you know, <laughs> I mean, what are the effects that you would think if you're saying that the people who are doing this job with so much power aren't trained and are picked from the worst people? You said those things. So what do you think are the effects of that? There's a lot of different effects. There's a lot. There's a multitude of effects. This, like goes back to say, this goes back to say that there's a lot of issues with law enforcement. We need, we need higher quality, better quality candidates to do the job. When, you make it, when I made a statement saying we get picked from the bottom of the barrel, meaning that how easy it, is it for you to find someone who has a college degree Right. Who might be making they could be making 70, 80,000 in a job. Why would they want to quit their job to become a police officer? Right? right. So what I'm saying is who wants to come out here and risk their life? There's not a lot of people. So the police departments open up their applications for any and everybody. And OK, so, so what are some of the effects of this lack of training and lack of good candidates based on what you're saying? What are the effects of that? Like if somebody asks me. That oh, so, what saying. so what so what'll happen is what you get is you'll never get rid of corruption, right? You'll never get rid of mistakes. These are because we're all human. That's what crazy. I'm saying is the problem is they're too much. We have too many of them. 
You'll never have a police system where it's going to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. So all the problems we see now today is in reference to poor police practices. So what I'm saying is we need to change the practices to reduce the negative outcomes that we are having. You'll never get rid of them, right? So when I say we're choosing from the bottom, meaning we need better application pools. We need to incentivize people who are willing to risk their life. Who would want to risk their life to do this job, right? Not a lot of people aren't willing to do it. Yeah. So again, people, people, even if you pay them like, hey, how much does it cost? I know some people who don't want to be teachers. I heard you're a teacher. Some people say they can't take the stress. They would never do it because the kids are what unruly are some, in their back. I just would love if you could tell me what some of the negative effects of these the things current, that you have stated. You well, said well, but like specifically. Hey, 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 do this, you're not listening. Hey, this, hey, I'm uh, listening. Uh, you're just dodging the question. Right? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to get comparison. It. Hold on. Oh. I'm going to get comparison, Kay. Look, watch this. Have you noticed most cops are overweight? I don't know how many police officers are overweight. Oh, come on. You, I mean, you see fat cops all the time. If they was the... On average, the police that I see are not overweight. A lot of cops and sheriffs are overweight. Again, I don't know how many police are overweight. Okay, so I'm going to say something like this. Like, I think that it should be stuff like um, physical fitness. Because now... If you got a, a a cop that can't run after nobody, yeah, he might be more inclined to pull out his gun. It, it's just certain things like being in shape. It's all them different things. And also, they need to use a set because it's crazy. The military got a higher standard. Yes, dealing with terrorists than the police have dealing with civilians. It should be something. We have escalation of force. We have rules of engagement. Cops don't really got that. No. So you know, if I if I kill somebody, court martial, or you know, I have to see him prove that I went through my escalation of force, that I obeyed by every rules of engagement, and then I'm being pulled off until my investigation is complete. You know why that is? You know why they do it that way? They're, why there's a lower standard? Because they one, I feel like they don't put enough confidence and the ability that officers can do better than what they are already doing. I think that they use the excuse of fear as being the threshold for using deadly force instead yes. of skill set, right? Um, and so, to K, to answer your question, it's a very, very broad response. That's why I'm, res I'm responding in the way that I'm responding so that the people who are listening can understand all of the negative effects that you see currently, the ones that you yourself believe are the problems with policing, is because of policing practices today. And what I'm saying is that the practices need to change and the standards need to be raised or raised in order for us to reduce those issues that you feel policing has just in general, the nation and within the black community. Something as simple of, as getting more black people to do this profession and black people to work and patrol in our own communities would actually turn a lot of these situations around. Right. So something as simple as raising the requirements to be an officer, raising the standards, higher pay, better incentive. Who wants to make fifty thousand dollars a year or some departments are paying forty thousand dollars a year to put on a gun and a vest and answer dangerous calls of people being robbed and being shot at? Who wants to do that? You're not going to do it. Jay Black said he definitely not going to do it. I know a lot of black people who don't want to do it. The pay doesn't match the, 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 the risk. So, so again, to your point, the issues exist because of poor policies and poor practices. Any, you can pick a problem and I'll tell you a solution for it. What Matter are fact, some of the issues? issues? You're saying, you're the saying current, why they exist, but what are some of so them? Okay, but there's so, there's so many issues. You tell me Just one issue. Few. No, you name a few. We can start with corruption. Distrust within the community between officers and the community. Can we just start there? Yeah, we can there's start there. There's a disconnect between officers and the communities that they serve. I like. I think objectively, we can all say that. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Um, an issue of discretion. Okay. When it's when you want to make a call, when you what you should do during that call. I think that's an issue with a lot of officers. I think to solve that problem. Um, 
And one of the biggest issues is police officers are responding to offenses and crimes that they probably shouldn't be responding to. I think we need to reimagine how to use policing in our communities, right? But so I would say- on that, But to push back on that, because I know it gets into the realm of mental illness, Okay. there are social workers and there are first other first responders who will not respond without the presence of an officer. So there has to be something else we can do to mitigate that. True. And what I suggested for one of my reform ideas is that officers need to be wearing, right? You can have officers undercover. They can still wear their body armor underneath. They can still have a weapon concealed, but they could be wearing medical, uh, medical gowns, right? Scrubs as they are with an actual trained professional, but in the disguise of a nurse themselves. Because again, we know in mental health situations, a lot of those patients or people going through a mental health crisis are triggered when they see a police officer's in a uniform or an officer's weapons. And so there are, there are solutions. I have solutions. So okay. you're absolutely correct with that. And I've worked, I've worked with them and I've been on calls with them. And okay, it is now, dangerous. Mm -hmm. well, now, what about bias? Because that's something I think... You'll never, you'll never get rid of that. You'll of never get rid not, of that. But, of course not. But I think you, when the hiring practices, you can test for bias. That's, that's part of the reason why I said, and I'm going to let you do one at a time so I can clear them all. Right. That's the reason why I said what's important. We need better hiring practices. There are according, like, for example, if you want to work um, for the federal government, it's usually about two years of application process. So, again, it needs to be more stringent. It's not stringent at all. It's very easy to be a police officer. They let everybody do it. So, again, it's a lot of power. Again, this should be the hardest job to get hired in. The pay should match the level of work and danger and risk of doing the job. So, so of course, who's willing to risk their life at $40,000 a year, right? What, what kind of person you think you're gonna get? You have people who all they have is a high school uh, diploma, right? And not to say no shot against them, but okay, you have people who got GEDs becoming police officers. It's, it's, I'm not saying no shot against them, but is that who you want wielding all of that power that police have? No, I agree. I mean, I, I believe it's what Sweden. They actually have to attend university to uh, about three years. Department. It's about three years before you can be a police officer out there. Right. So why should that not be equivalent here? The officers here need better training. The training is the training is not good, you guys. Well, what about what about what about in um, Korea, where uh, you actually have to do two years of military. service? Correct. So it's military, whether it's uh, the the lower version of police officers, like you have to do it. So now it's like, if you call cops a coon, that means everybody a coon. Cause guess what? You was once a cop too. Correct. And it, it's like, the thing is, is appreciation. It's easy, for, it's easy for us to judge because so little of us do it. And Correct. a lot of people don't have a skin in the game. That's why you can call military people cowards. That way you can call police officers pigs yes. because a small percentage of our population do it compared to, like I mentioned, Korea, where every male will have to actually do that civil service for, I think, it's two years. It will make a difference. It'll change the landscape of our, our policing. It'll change the landscape of our military. And then now everybody will have skin in the game. People only don't people only dislike the police when they mess up. You know, that's the problem with the profession, right? You love us when we save lives and you hate us when we, when we when we ruin them. You know, even if we're ruining the lives of people who did it to themselves, make it make sense. Well, you know, no, on no, not you, but uh, like Logic, you know, the other day you had an Atlanta police officer who rescued that kid in the car. The car was carjacked by a black man, right? Everyone is praising this officer for saving this child's life who was carjacked. Right. Carjack from a woman, a black woman, a black man carjacked a black woman, you guys. In our community. So, again, you know, I've gone in houses and caught black men kicking in a woman's door, climbing through a woman's window. Right. To sexually assault her. I walked in that room. I walked in that house and saved her life again. But doesn't that speak to what? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna ride out, man. I enjoyed the conversation. Always. The thing is, I'm gonna just say this before I leave. Chaos is needed, cause in the midst of chaos, a lot of truths reveal themselves. And, and 
you know what I'm saying? You can look at this show and see as being as chaotic. No, it actually proved a lot of points that we normally made that a lot of people don't want to address, admit to it. Mm. I, I enjoyed you, um, chaotic truth. You crazy shit though. But uh, hey, Nathan, yes, hey, sir. easy. Yes, sir. Right, yeah, good night, man. Miss yeah. K. Man, fuck all that logic. Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> What were, we, what were we saying? What were we saying, brother? I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I just didn't want to miss the points you were making. Um, but I was all I was going to say was that I was just speaking to what Six said earlier about proximity. I think crime is linked to poverty, and when we think, am I echoing? I'm sorry. I can hear you. I know I hear myself. That's why I'm like, am I echoing? Do y'all hear it echo? It's I echoing. It's echoing. It's going ahead. Yeah. Or somebody. Okay. Are you guys so, muted? So what I was saying is that somebody, what Six of Goddess was saying is how crime is, uh, a part, it's proximity, and I think and I associate that with crime is linked to poverty. And there's hold on, a hold on, pause one second. Hold on one second. What do you mean? What What do you mean? The what's the relevancy with crime is proximity? What do you mean what by you that? Were just, the examples that you just gave, you were talking about black people committing crimes within the black community. And I was referring to, I was making the comparison of the value of police officers in our community. Right. The value. Right. I'm not talking about crime. Crime is proximity in relation to ethnicities committing crimes against one another. That well, is that's proximity. What she, that's what you said earlier. That's what I was Right, but that's but that's not why I made that comparison. I was saying that I said that to say the correlation was the value of having police officers patrolling in the black community, the value of having a cop, right? The ones that we are saying we're calling pigs or the ones that we don't like. Who would have been there to save that woman, right, who was carjacked by another person, a black man? If we don't want the police in our communities, then say that, right? Well, I don't, um, like I said, I don't agree with that. I haven't, I have not heard a uh, persuasive argument into the abolishment or defunding of the police. Uh, just for the sake of it, I have not, I haven't been convinced. All I'm just saying is that you said she you came in here and you said that she had made a bunch of false statements. But one of the statements that she did say was about crime and proximity. And you just confirmed that is accurate. That's no, all I, I, said, I said she I said she said a lot of things that were grossly inaccurate. I didn't say that she was wrong. I said she wasn't accurate. So, again, semantics, but I mean, no, 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 it's not semantics. Inaccuracy is a real thing, right? She was she she was she was shooting in the right area. Better yet, more like she was on the right train but not on the right track, right? That's not semantics. It means that what she said was not accurate. She was almost there, but she wasn't quite there. And it's easy to confuse the two, right? So again, the truth is proximity, but depending on what we're talking about. If you conflate two things, it confuses people. What she was saying was the amount of violence doesn't matter because of proximity, and that's not true. She was comparing whites and black, right? White people are 60%. Black people are 13%. We murder more of our people than the majority murder their people. That has nothing to do with proximity. Right. So, again, it's easy when you're talking real fast. Right. You might come off and sound more intelligent than you are, but wordplay can confuse people. And so it's important that we put context to the statements that are being made or people will think the truth is irrelevant. And the truth is we kill a lot of our own. It has nothing to do with proximity. Right. Because we're a smaller group of people. We have more contact with the police, right? People say over policing, they make all these statements. But when you start looking at all the facts, everything starts to make sense. The crime that we commit in our communities is high. Well, I mean, I agree with you, but I don't I think there's just a hyper focus on black communities and black people, because if you go to poor white neighborhoods, it's still the same. But we're not talking about poor white people. We're talking about poor black people. No, we are, but people. I think that's but a lot of times that's the argument comes in. It's always this focus on black communities and black people. But it's like if you're gonna take those, if you're gonna make those statements, 
that it compares to the rest. It's just it, and like I said, crime is related more to poverty than it is race. And a lot of times when you hear these talking points, it always seems to be focused just solely on race. I don't think that's fair. I understand. I understand what you're saying. I think that if we're talking about black people, then let's talk about black people. Right. Depending on what the conversation is, white people don't need to be a part of it. So it all depends on what we're talking about. If we're talking about black issues, because the title of the show is, is the black community divided, then why are we talking about white people? They should never come up in the conversation. They're irrelevant. They're irrelevant. I think people like to do that because they get triggered, because they feel like we're always beating up on black folks. Well, accountability hurts. It hurts. And we need to stop comparing ourselves because we have more than enough stuff to worry about. You know, and that's not a shot at anybody, but I, I do understand what you're saying. But a lot of times people try to bring up white people as a way to try to escape the things that are going on in our own community. White people, there's more poor white people than black people. There are more white people that white people commit more crimes than black people. OK, so what? They don't live in our communities. They don't share our problems. Not only that. Right. So, again, so it's just kind of one of those things. Our, one of our top leading causes of death in our community is homicide, right? It's, it's cardiac issues, mm-hmm. right? We die more from putting food in our damn mouths. Could you imagine? A lot of our top three, our top three deaths are all avoidable. We're wiping our own selves out by the food we put in our mouths. And then this little finger right here is killing us the most. And then abortions, if you want to add that. We, <laughs> we wipe the babies out. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 what's destroying our community. Why are we still at almost 13, 13.5%? Where, where are our numbers? If you look at our chart, you guys, listen, the powers that be are doing a good job. We're not growing. Yeah. We are we declining, grow. Nathan? We're, we're declining. Mm-hmm. And we, we can't keep our You're families right. together, right? Poverty is linked to broken homes, single parent homes. So, I mean, there's there's a there's a correlation there. Why are we talking about white people? They're not in our communities killing us. The damn sure not feeding us. Right. (laughs) They're not feeding us. You got kids that are six years, six to 12 years old and they're already pre-diabetic. But I think that's also a lack of education and lack of resources. So and who's responsible for that? The powers to be. Powers that be. I see the parent. Mm, I think no? it's generational. I, I mean, I agree with when it comes to as a parent, you should definitely. How many times are going to keep blaming generations that don't exist? Right? Yeah. It's the, the powers. It's the powers. Yeah. Generations it's- that have continued. I mean, if you don't, you were right. We got to take initiative. To step up to the plate and break that generational curse, but let's not def- let's not deflect the fact that it's there. Well, uh, let me tell you this though, because when I go on Instagram, I see a bunch of folks dancing and doing cartwheels at the age of six, seven, eight years old. Again, I think it's priorities, right? Yes. But again, at the same time, you could say generational, but then I'll also say that we don't own any schools, we don't own any medical centers, we don't own any grocery stores, right? But we are, I mean, come on, we're our problem. I mean, you just, on this panel alone, look at the back and forth. Yeah. Look at all the it's, disrespect between men and women. I have a question. Is it the powers that be that is causing the most deaths in the Black community, being that it's health-related? Is that the powers that be, or is it us? I believe it's both, because, again, the lack of it. What I'm saying is when I say both, a lack of education within our community, it's, it's pretty normal. It's pretty like, I, I'm in grad school. It's funny you say that before you finish that because education's free, right? My country, you got to pay for school. So when I hear people say lack of education, when I hear people drop out of school, you're dropping out of something that's free, right? And this is why people get upset when foreigners come here and they take advantage of free shit. But if you when I said but if you look at it, look at our school system, look at the public school system. Yes, let's talk about that. Public school system here in Atlanta, all Democrat ran 
90% black on the board of education. You can look it up. We had a mayor that was black. She just left. We got a new mayor now of Atlanta. He's black. Everything black, all black, everything. And we still have poor black outcomes. All Democrat run. You guys love Democrats, right? No. Uh, so no, again, no. we have people. So Nathan, who, what are you saying? What is the what are, what are you saying? What do you think about black people? What are you I what are you doing right people. now? I'm okay, so question. all these things you're saying, I'm just trying to see what he made a what, statement about edu he made a statement about education and he said that our education is flawed, right? I'm saying absolutely. that the people, the people in charge of who can fix it are black people in charge of the education, the board of education. So why do we still have poor black outcomes and poor black education? If black people are in charge. There's no white people in charge of the Board of Education here in Atlanta. Why do we still have illiteracy rates? Why are kids can't graduate? Why are kids dropping out? We have a, and she's a teacher. She can tell us. Kay's a teacher. She can educate us on it. She cammed off. Yeah. But, but again, the, the truth hurts, man. Listen, we can all chew lies. But can you swallow the truth? <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. So again, she cammed off, of course. We can pull up the Board of Education for the city of Atlanta. I can pull up the grades and the scores for the schools. And you will see from years after years after year, it's all ran by black people. So don't tell me about white supremacy. Don't tell me about what white people are the powers that be when the black people are controlling and making all the policies. You get what I'm saying? It's not you, brother, but I'm just saying. I'm we are in control. I'm, you is... feel me? We're in control of these cities and we don't care. We're not even doing the work. We're yeah, collecting a check. I agree. No, no, I'm hearing you. No, I'm, yeah, I, I, just, I'm conversation. Just, I don't know if that's coming up. No, 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 you good, you good, you good. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, I hate when we blame white, not you, not you. I'm saying I hate when our community blames white people for things that we're in control over. I think Nathan, a lot of what happens a lot of times <clears throat> is we're, we're, we're content with symbolism. Yes. I agree with you. Again, I lived That's in Atlanta true. for 20 years. I was there when the scandal broke um, with them. Uh, the Atlanta, a not APD, what was the school teacher scandal broke, but it was passing kids they were um passing grades or whatever that was the oh course. yes 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 yeah yep. and some and some people went to jail over that yes they did yeah so I'm, I'm i'm familiar with that and i think we get wrapped up in symbolism the symbolism you know i think about here in chicago we celebrated what would have been the hundredth birthday of um the i don't know who camera that or who yeah like, but I can't see his name. Well, if you're not on, on, you know, if you're not talking, just mute up real quick. But the honorable late mayor, great mayor, Harold Washington. Mm. And he was a mayor for the people here. He advocated for the people across the board. It was the first time that we saw uh, on the south side pavements get redone. Streets got redone on the south side. Uh, my grandma house <laughs> got new grass. They laid new grass out. And this was like in the 80s, man. We hadn't seen anything like that since. And, you know, that's somebody that delivered on their promises. Whereas um, in other situations, we're still celebrating the first black this, the first yeah. black that. And we're content with celebrating the first of, even in 2022, right. as opposed to, okay, cool. Got that done. Check that off. Right. Now let's hold feet to the fire. Right. Now you gotta deliver. Ricky said something the other day on the um on the King talk, right? He said, uh, <laughs> he said for people that you know threaten them online or whatever, he's like, I'm gonna make you live that, right? Mm. I wonder what would happen if we were electing these politicians. I wonder what would happen if we make them live that. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know. You know, the thing is, the problem is, and what I say on my channel all the time is that instead of complaining, how about we start grooming the people? Because yes. again, people are like, people are saying, just because their skin is black don't mean they, they, they stand yeah. for black issues. Absolutely agree with that. 
it's up to us as a community to start grooming our own people that we want to put in a position of power. It's just that simple, you guys. Because other, other than that, what's going what's gonna to divide us is money. People get bought out all the time. You know, they get bought out all the time. They prefer to take a check. You know, so it's just one of those things we, we have to um, we have to start holding people accountable. Us as a community, we need to stop being, you know, we're so we fall off the the we fall we fall out of course so quickly. You know, the other day someone was like, hey, whatever happened to that situation with the Bumble, the Bumble date, you know, with the girl who was killed, you know, she invited the guy over after meeting him for three days and then she mysteriously died. Right. Whatever happened to that? People were up in arms about that. And we forgot about it. People forgot about a mere lot. Right. No one's talking about that. Right. No, people don't know that the officers, they got this. That whole thing got dismissed. You know, we lose focus so quickly in our community. That's why things don't get done. When people say, how are we going to fix this? People talk about police reform. I say, y'all don't stay on code. You guys don't stay on code. You know, I see you guys try to do a little uh, anti, you know, we're going to boycott Instagram for 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 a day or so, black out your social media. I'm like, what does that do? Right. During the protests and the riot, you guys, you know, listen, a lot of us went out there, and protested. They burned down cities. They burned down Atlanta. Right. They protested. They did all this stuff. Not one law. Not one law was passed. Nothing was done. So what was the purpose of that? The whole point of protesting and rioting, because it does have a purpose, is to bring awareness. And then after that, there's supposed to be a follow-up, a list of demands, right? Hey, if we don't get this, we'll do it again, right? You guys, what was done, what was accomplished? And then now we're seeing the benefit of Black Lives Matter. You got people buying mansions, people asking questions now about where the money goes. You know, we get finessed. We fall, we fall off the course. And we can't stay on code. You know, that's why these things keep happening. School reform doesn't get done. Health care reform doesn't get done. Police reform don't because we can't stay focused. Guess what we're doing the last three weeks? Talking about Will Smith. Right. And, and under the, the guise of that, there's a lot of things that happen that you missed. You guys are still a war going on. Mm -hmm. Right. Inflation is up. The stock market's on its way down. The housing market's on its way out of here. And we're talking about Will Smith. Here we go. Right? I mean, we can't stay on code, you guys. And it's and it's done by design to keep us distracted. All right. Uh, I just got depressed when you said that because I looked at my portfolio earlier and it was Mine look nasty too, bro. You ain't the only one. Oh, it's trash. <laughs> you ain't the only AMC, AMC stock went up though. Crypto is still doing good for, for and listen, you guys, yeah, you need to start investing your good. money. You know, I teach, I teach, I taught my entire family how to trade. You need, we need to do these things, you guys. Listen, they said if you want to create black wealth, what do you need to do? You need to be creating a will for your family. You need to have a will. You need to have life insurance. It's another one. You need to own a business. You get tax write-off benefits. The car that you have, buy it under your business name, you guys. Right, lease it under your business, that we can write the, the payments off. Nathan is not a uh, certified oh, financial planner. This is not financial <laughs> advice. This is just, this is his advice. Advice. This is not financial <laughs> advice. Right. These, uh, but this is nice if you guys do this. This is, this is, this is nice. All I'm saying, you guys, expand, expand your, your mind, do some more, you know, do some research. These are things we can do to make, to build wealth into our families. You know what I mean? These are the things that our counterparts do that we do not do. We don't do it. You pass away, you got nothing to give to nobody, but some debt, a lot of y'all, you know? So um, those are a couple of things. It's not financial advice, but here's some good things you can do, you know? Well, I think people don't understand that the reason why people keep saying insurance is because you'll have a transfer of wealth. Yes. You can impact a generation. Correct. Um, you know, with one transition, uh, with one transition of the elder joining the essence or whatever. Correct. Word it. Um, that's usually how it gets done. I see JR decided to. Uh, <laughs> 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 we must be about ready to land this plane, man. 
Nathan, like, I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Nah, Jedi, I'm, I'm so proud of you, man. I'm we'll so, be talking, man. We'll be talking. I hope you make it to Houston, man. I, I want to celebrate you and honor you. And uh man, I'm just I'm I'm glad you back in these streets. We needed your voice. We missed it for a little bit. So yeah, yeah we'll and be then, talking about that, man. And then also I know um, the gentleman was was saying that there is a mistrust with the community and the police department. So Nathan, I know your initiative is to rectify that. Can you yes. talk about that real quick before we head out? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that. So mm -hmm. you guys I have a nonprofit called the Blue Phoenix Initiative. If you guys want to check out the website, it's risebluephoenix.org. And so part of the part of the mission and the initiative is to repair the relationship between the black community and the police. Um, it all starts with communication. The reason why I started my channel, you guys, if you want to check my channel out, it's real Nathan Daly. I have a lot of discussions about police issues. Um, I break down police related encounters with citizens. We talk about the law. I educate my 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 viewers on how to properly encounter them, how to have successful encounters with law enforcement, the things we need to be doing and need not to be doing, how to understand law, how to read law, um, and then how to get these laws passed um, in your area so that you can have better outcomes. So I'm working on a reform package that I plan on presenting to the governor here in Georgia. I plan on implementing these things um, statewide. And from there, if they allow me to pilot these ideas, the whole objective is then to um, replicate it in other states. Um, so I understand the inner workings of law enforcement. I've worked in a lot of different areas over the past 13 years. I know why the things are broken. I know what the real issues are, and I'm going to hit it at the core. Um, and I believe with the support of everybody and the support of my community, you know, <laughs> how, how difficult <laughs> it may be sometimes. Uh, I understand why you guys are frustrated. I know a lot of us have had bad experiences. I know there's different degrees of it, and I completely understand, and I know that there's solutions for it. Um, and I just ask that you guys just be patient. And before you judge, I just challenge you to go to my channel, look at the content before you make your judgment. Um, and if you see something of value there, please get behind it. Please share it and spread the message. Um, and that's all I can say at the end of the day. Someone is willing to step up and have the fight. I agree that things need to be changed, and I'm hoping that we can all agree on that. And, you know... You have someone you can funnel ideas through. You can ask me direct questions. I'm not afraid to answer anything. We can have an honest discussion. And I think that's what our community has been missing. Someone who can be genuine, straightforward, and accessible. Um, and so we can either work together, right, or, or not. But the outcomes will still happen whether we participate together or not. So, again, thank you, Courtney. Um, you know, brother, I, I can't see your name, but I appreciate you. I think those are great questions and I need the challenge. Kay, thank you for those questions. Those are good questions. I need the challenge. I think it's good for people to see it because there's, um, there's definitely answers to everything. And I've done a lot, a lot of research, um, so that I can tackle this problem. Uh, Jedi, Jedi Mike, it's always a pleasure, brother, to see you. Absolutely. Pleasure is mine. Yes, sir. Chicago Rilla, you know. I appreciate you, man, and, and thank you again for coming on and doing that show with me about the Black Fathers. That was a powerful, powerful. Mm -hmm. So my auntie said, what's up? She said, ha, that brother's so deep. I was like, yeah. So he's from the streets. He handled business. So uh, JR, I appreciate you letting me um, jump on, man, and uh, spread my wings, brother. I appreciate it. All right, no doubt, man. Glad to have you. Yes, sir. All right, anytime, you guys. Um, All right. Just let me know. Bye. Have a good night. All right. Good night. Bye, Nathan. All right, family, that's going to uh, conclude the show. Uh, last minute notes as we close. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, subscribe. Thank you guys for the support. Again, if you haven't got your tickets already to Houston, go ahead and get your tickets. That link is pinned to the top of the chat. Um, if you want sponsorship opportunities, we still got a couple of spots left. Uh, you got next Thursday, and then you got the visibility doing the live show. So, again, thank you, uh, my panel, my team. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. You guys enjoy your night. Appreciate you guys sticking around and yeah, we'll do it all over again. All right. Good night. Yeah, yeah you uh you got your 16 ready for Houston. I got 17, brother. <laughs> you got 17 ready. That's gonna be an off bar. Court, uh, you got 16 ready, Court? Like I'm gonna do that, hey, baby. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be dancing. I've been practicing that anyway, right? I think I got it. Oh, y'all gonna TikTok it? Am I? 
Hey, listen, man. If y'all flying in from Houston, it's going to be – check your emails like JR said. Uh, man, we about to test city. Yeah, man. definitely check your emails. I'm sending out updates through there. It's a secret society, so that's the only way you're able to get the information is uh, mm-hmm. by being there and via email. So make sure you check your email so you guys can actually know what's going on. On that note, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> Appreciate that uh, super chat there, Mr. Rogers. Two hundred dollars super chat. Thank you. Salute to you. I see you, Gail. Thank you for moderating. Thank you. This Chicago. Good night, Brittany. I see you. I see you, big bad boy. Green gang, I see you. I see four. Let me acknowledge some of these uh, super chats. Uh, uh, Elephant, appreciate the $100 super chat. Grand Rue, five dollar super chat. Sensi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Four ninety nine. Grand Rue, five dollar super chat. James, five dollar super chat. Off the rip, four ninety nine. Gene, just a super chat. Guru T became a member. Shout out to you. Welcome to the Green Gang. Bob, 1999, real 83, 999. Batman, 4,011, $2. Me, university, university, $10. Batman again, $10. 
Bonus five trucking ten dollars. Thank you. Shaq Wick nine ninety nine. Percy astronaut five dollars. The wheel one ninety nine. Rod eight seventy four ninety nine. Dapper Dimes one ninety nine. A different shade of purple ten dollars. The real nature ten dollars. I know there's a bunch more that came through. If I didn't get to you, still we appreciate you. Uh, you guys enjoy. Enjoy your night. I see you, Janelle. Stephen Day. Teddy 504 Green Gang, Captain Forbes Green Gang. Yes, sir. How y'all enjoy?